decent weather. Good, great standards. turnout tonight, by the way. I was going to mention uh, first, I don't know what it is, maybe spring break. A lot of colleges coming over. 100%. Uh, fantastic turnout tonight. Got a lot of Ooh. got a lot of great players here. Just some of the best, the most skilled Smash players in the world. Smash players you who probably always won't see get the a ledge. Single SD in this entire week. Not a single dropped combo. No, nope, nothing. nothing. That's just how good they are today. Just like these up airs, for example. Look at that clean 74 into death. Wow. No, not at all. Almost died at 73. That's Lucario for you. You're playing a dangerous game, living life on the edge. And it looks like that might pay off. 71% in turn. Now you've got a Lucario that's not dead. And could potentially make it back and kill you. Watch out for any uh, Force Palms wow. or Up Smashes. This little conversion aura into Up Smash. Didn't look like it actually comboed. I wonder if it did and he just got the raw up smash. Yeah, we're just up smashing, just hoping that things work. If the opponent isn't shielding, then it was a read. But if they were shielding, it's conditioning. A down or a shield. It's pretty good. Yeah. I like it. We've seen a, we've seen quite a few Lucarios around here, Quinn being one of them. Uh, the other one is passing me at the moment. Uh, can't think of their name, but... Uh, We've seen more Lucarios than I'd say uh, at least 25% of the cast, which is saying something. Yeah. Uh, DVA is the weird region where we get to see a lot of uh, Bowser Jr., Lucario. Do you actually think MDVA is the weird region? I don't have a good enough understanding of other regions. Do you genuinely think that? I think the fact that Smub is one of our best players along with Oolong, a Wii Fit Trainer Ridley sort of duo for one and two, I think that says a lot. Oh, like that forward smash and forward neutral. Smash read. Who would have guessed that Quinn would recover to the stage? Yeah, after? Not, not a great recovery there from Quinn, and I think he knows it. You can see the way he's sitting. Yeah. Uh, gonna get eaten up going too aggressive on the stage. That's kind of like Pikachu syndrome. Yep. If you ever see that? Don't see many Pikachus anymore either now that I think about it. There was actually one a few days ago over at uh, Extra Credit 100. Hmm. I think uh, Trevson69 was their tag. You know, very classy folks at Xanadu, as always. Gotcha. But I'm thinking that Quinn's eventually going to start going to the ledge again because Lucario doesn't have a bad ledge game with their uh, Aura Sphere B reverses. And it's, crazy. it's a mix-up, going aggressive and not going aggressive. Yeah. It's the same thing with Quick Attack, although Quick Attack's a lot better. Yeah, because Pikachu is a lot better. Allegedly. <laughs> but okay, so the main reason I brought up the whole do you really think uh, th this region is weirder? Because to me, when people say stuff like that, it reads like when people say, wow, the weather around here is so crazy. Yep. One day it, it's cold, <laughs> the next day. It's not cold. It's our typical conversation starter, no matter where you're from. But you agree that's kind of what's going on here when people say stuff like that? Yeah, because believe it or not, our players are pretty solid. We still play the game. We're not over <laughs> here playing Minecraft, Rock, Paper, Scissors. If I had been Rock, Paper, Scissors, we just give me the set 3-0. Yeah. We still play Smash Bros, but it's just the way that we decide to do it is a little unorthodox. You ever see that one? It was like a Seattle melee scene graphic. And it was, it was peach, puff, puff, peach, puff, puff, and then a fox at the end of the top eight graphic. I didn't see that, but I could already it imagine like, it with man. a retweet that says, get me out of this yeah, region. Yeah, I know. That's nope. a struggle. Whoa. Oh. Tried to, he tried to wait on the recovery, see if uh, one drive would go aggressive, go low. He didn't. Perfect patience. Eats him trying to get back to the stage with the air dodge, even game now. And we were just talking about mixing up recoveries. Look at this combo going That's a crazy all the combo. way across he wanted the stage. To kill. He almost did, If only too. you had Aura, that would have killed. That was crazy. Yeah, I didn't know Lucario was built like that. I told you guys, these are the best players here today. We might have weird character choices, but our combos are only stranger. Speaking of which, let's trap situation. Let's... Okay, got the Aura Palm to start the ledge trapping once more. Let's see if Quinn can uh, close things out with this second stock and maintain the lead this time. Oh! No, nope, couldn't get it. He needs yeah. more percent. It's actually what he needs right here. 
make it a lot easier for him. That first combo definitely would have led to at stock if there was just a little there bit more, maybe even 50%. So with almost 90, this is a surefire way to kill if you don't do palm at the corner. You would get forward smash for that. Ooh. Those moving mix-ups we were talking about before finally coming in clutch. Now I feel like an aura sphere to the ledge is a perfect answer to this situation. And apparently Quinn thought so too. Yeah, keep notes. Oh, <laughs> double aura up air. That's See, nice. He's got good stuff tonight. He's really cooking. I'm loving seeing it. I think a Kalos was a very well placed counter pick for that sole purpose. Oh yep. my god, oh barely dodging death with that up smash there. This is where he can <laughs> rack it. Rack it up. You're at 100. Mm -hmm. Just kill off this, honestly. This is the Lucar. Oh my ah, goodness. That's too much. Thank goodness it wasn't the second hit of the Bowser Jr. Dodge Ram simulator. Speaking of Dodge Ram Simulator, that animal is no you longer Dodge on Ram <laughs> Simulator. Deer in the headlight simulator. Right, yeah. my raised Dodge Ram with That's LED headlights. Ford F-150 simulator. I need the back camera. I have more troubles with the F-150s. Ram owners, I'm not going to defend them, but you know. Well, I drive uh, in uh, Virginia, so oh, okay. it's more of a regional thing. I got you. Maybe, maybe it's a Ford country up here. Yeah, over here we have we got more urban. Virginia's got people driving two hours, and they're still in Virginia. Oh, speaking of still in it, almost at kill percent for both. Oh no, definitely at kill percent for both of us here. But we're still in the game throughout that aura sphere. I hope we won't need that. Oh. Oh wow. my goodness! Up and once again, just shield. doing it. Up smash killing so often in this set. And Quinn couldn't close it out, but that's okay. The solid play will come in clutch later. I just know it. Quinn, Quinn was playing great. I was loving it. I was loving seeing what he was doing. Uh, it's just the uh, – he didn't win. Yeah. Did, did you notice that? Smash Ultimate's the game yeah. where you get the coolest combos on your opponent, yeah. and then you lose the game. Yeah, man. Remember Cola? MKLeo? Not one time? Yeah. It's true. I think that forward smash would have killed at the ledge. You got to just win sometimes. Yeah. Hey, what's your name, man? Oh. <laughs> Tags Glory, name's Justin. Glory, I kinda, Glory. Your name's Justin? That's right. That's what wow. the J stands for. I Jodo. knew something good was about you. Yeah. It's a good name. I appreciate it. Yeah. It was not at all in reference to the other Justin, the first Justin, if you will. Uh, the first Justin? Yeah. The one who sings a lot and has a member that's uh, Lance Bass. You ever heard of that band? Hootie and the Blowfish? What are you mm, talking about? You're close. You're close. It's a boy band. Lance Bash? Oh, uh, Justin Timberlake. That's He's right. He's from NSYNC. Yep. Mom but was then, a big fan. There was also a Justin uh, Bieber. Mm. Yeah. See, that happened as I was born. So that's mm. when the mix-up occurred and everyone's I, like, you Honestly, a Justin's a pretty great name. Yeah. I, I've got to say probably one of the top ten names for sure. It's solid. I think it means something about being good and just. I think it, it, it's about Emperor Justinian. Ooh, that's yeah. a deep take. Emperor Justinian. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? Uh, he, not him. He wasn't very good. He oh. killed a lot of people. <laughs> he was a pretty bad emperor. But cool name, cool yeah. name. And he had that the Emperor Theodorus. He was, you know, he was a two-piece kind of kind of lad. I see. Yeah. Usually, when I think about bad emperors, I think his name's Nero. That really comes to mind. I'm like, oh, whoa. Oh, he was fine. He was fine. He's okay. He's got bad PR though. He was good on foreign policy. It's really what I was about of him. Right. Yeah. You like Glory, looking, you, huh? you you play Pitt, don't you? I do, which is interesting yeah. that we're talking about I the know, Roman you know. Empire, not the Greeks. The Greeks. Yeah. yeah. I, I know you because there's not many pits around, uh, so so I'm, I'm I'm a big pit supporter. Also, uh, one of my good friends, uh, Playground, mm -hmm. who used to come here, he was a pit player. Yeah. Yeah, and he he used to he used to watch your games and go, uh, man, I suck. <laughs> well, he shouldn't do that because I've seen him play, and I say you're he's, doing the exact same things as me. You just gotta believe. Yeah, that's why he's sitting at home now. Shout outs to you, Playground. Hey, shout outs to Playground. He's he's actually doing really well. He bought a really expensive racing sim. That's what we like to see. Yeah. And, and play. And then he bought a really expensive car. He's just killing it. Yeah. He went you know, he had the nice racing sim and he went, What if it was uh, what if it was real? Now what if we took that? Yeah. And we brought it what if Mario was real? Think about that. What if Mario was I would not want that. <laughs> that at would all. be terrible. 
three hey. foot man following you around. Speaking of characters I have respect for, that's going to be my segue right now. Uh, <laughs> well, first, Roy. I actually do like Roy. But uh, more importantly, Sheik. Mm. Got to be my favorite character in the game Intense for sure. Intense respect for Sheik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, big ups uh, to Sheik. Uh, F FTP, don't know, don't know FTP too well. I don't know either of these players. I don't, and now that you mention it, uh, Guapa, Guapadopoulos. There Guapa, we go. Guap First try. Guapadopoulos. That's a good name. Yeah. That's a, that's a mouthful even. That's a melee player's name, unfortunately. I don't know what he's doing here. <laughs> Wait, so this is that same melee player or just they share the same name? I, I, I just feel like it has the spirit of a melee name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of spirit of melee, this Sheik neutral is going hard. I don't know when the combos are going to end. That was pretty nice. Tech chase on the platform. Right. Drag down up air to down smash. I didn't know that was real. Do you know what Justin is in Spanish? I think it's Justin. Oh, you're so close. Justino. Oh, Justino. Dang. You got to add an O or an A to the end of everything in Spanish. Otherwise, they won't know what the hell you're talking about. That is completely true. I remember <laughs> talking about my friend. Uh, this is, uh, I think, a Resident Evil re a reference. Mm -hmm. Got a character named Luis. Luis. And he just butchers it completely. Character dies. He's like, Luis. Luis. <laughs> and it's the, they play it completely straight. The sad music plays, and everyone's like, wait, did he not? Get his name right. Which Resident Evil was that? I think it's one of the Leon Kennedy sagas. Okay, so I love to... I love Leon. I love the Resident Evil Seven. That's one of my favorite games. I love that game because it's actually really bad, but <laughs> it's also one of the best games. Games that are like bad but completely play into it. They just take yeah. themselves completely seriously. Are my favorite types of games. Yeah. Love me some Leon. Love me, love me the villagers in that game. Yeah. Captain. <laughs> They taught That's me a lot one. of my vocabulary in Spanish. They taught me at least two words. The important ones. One, I, one I probably shouldn't say on stream. <laughs> don't worry. Twitch, they don't know how to moderate things they can't understand. Speaking of can't understand, this is some clean neutral that is still going even at kill percents. Needles in the face. What an interesting option. Oh, and that might be the end of the first stock. Or I guess in this case the second one. There it is. Nice needles. It's crazy that move used to be full screen. Did it really? Yeah. When? Uh, back in the old days of Smash 4 at uh, uh, okay. Extra Credit 100, I was educated by two people at a Smash 4 setup. They said, here's what Bayonetta was like. Roy was bad. And Bowser could full screen grab you. Yeah, I remember that one. I don't remember. I, I, to be honest, now that I think about it, needles being full screen isn't that crazy. All right. Oh, my goodness. Should probably make more moves like that. Yeah. I what agree. was that one move in uh, Project M? The Ivysaur could do mm, like that diagonal that's beam. That's hyper beam, like, or solar yeah, beam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, just make we need more, more moves like, like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just dumb, dumb moves. Except they're good. They should be slightly good. They shouldn't be Ganondorf dumb move. I'm going to punch you, and no one's going to get hit by it. Speaking of getting hits in, I just don't see Swapadopoulos <laughs> hitting that often. But when he does hit. It leads to things like this. Like that. Now FTP's got this. He's yeah. got him right where he wants him. He's in disadvantage. It's where he needs to be. Uh, uh -huh. that's, not, that's not a good I don't roll. think that's where uh, FTP needed to be at all, in my he, opinion. He's shocked because when he rolled, he thought he'd get on the other side. He actually got pushed a little bit by the animation, mm -hmm. and he ended up on the left side, gets side beat to death. It's the classic Smash Ultimate-ism where... You think you're on one side of a character in the game says, actually, let me correct that for you. Have fun. Happens to me all the time. Oh, and speaking of happening, uh, looks like I got to play my set, so. But y yeah. you're in this? I'm in this. Oh, my goodness. I simply Get don't have responsibilities. Get the heck out of here. I thought you were a commentator. Quinn, you want to take over comms for me? Get, Never mind. Get the heck I'll out of here. here. Good luck I, holding I, it down. I oh. used to have respect for you. I didn't realize you were a player. I'm a two-timer, as they say. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, best of luck, I guess. Just going to be me for now. Can you believe that? Here I thought I was sitting next to a, just a good old good old commentator. Turns out this dude's still playing the game. Embarrassing. Good guy, though. He'll probably be back. All right, so just me for now. Guapalopolis versus FTP.
Guap. Up 1-0. After a very close game one. Tried to go full read on the F smash, didn't get it. Tracker coming across, too aggressive off the ledge, gets punished. This is the worry, uh, you know, FTP, he came out hot in game one, kind of slowly watched himself burn, and then uh, you come into game two not playing refreshed. Oh boy, here we go. What's up? Uh, nothing much. What, so it looks like I just joined in on Guap Delicious. Guapadopolis. Guapadopolis, got it. Yeah. Uh, versus FTP and Guap is up a game? Yeah. It's like a tro uh, Chipotle uh, metropolis. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, the it. streets are paved with avocados. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I hop in here and I already immediately notice that Guap is up an entire stock. I'm not too surprised by that. Honestly, Do you know like, either of these players? Because we were talking about uh, I, I actually know. know both of them. I know Guap has played uh, both Crab and Roy for a very long time. Mm -hmm. FTP, I'm not too sure how long they've been playing Sheik, but they are a Sheik Sephiroth. And uh, FTP mainly only plays at the uh, UMBC Nichols. Gotcha. Are these both UMBC guys? No, I believe Guap is just already past college. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why he's starting to struggle here, I guess. Um, uh, the reaction time yeah. of being old, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's starting to struggle. You can see it. He's got to close this out. I, I, I am rooting for FTP here. I root for any Sheik that uh, has the guts to get up on stream. He had a really strong game one and then just let it slowly melt away. Yeah, that's kind of Behind shameful. here, yeah. I'll be out of, I'll be out of uh, shield take, taking that. Spamming there on the shield, not the best. I mean, we're getting a decent amount of percent in, but that's just not going to happen if you just keep letting Roy up you out of shield like that, because that's already a lot of percent you're taking. Again, that's like, like that. 20%. Well, he's trying to pressure the shield, and he's had absolutely no luck. Yeah. You got to start baiting it out, but it, I mean, when you're already down to your last stock, you're not really thinking about that. Yeah, I'm trying to see if we can get something up the top here, but up there's not going to quite do that yet. I mean, you're at 106 now. Anything from Roy is basically sealing that stock, but nothing immediately. And that down smash is not going to take it on the half of Sheik. I know something like a needle bouncing fish would work here, but with Sheik, it's really hard to finally secure that stock once you're at this percent range, mm -hmm. because everything just stops combo. And once you're out of that like, little combo range, you're just killing the straight move, and that's what Guap just did too chic, meaning that Guap is not going to set 2 0. Well put. Guapadopolis 2 0 over FTP. That's a shame. Unfortunate. Uh, it's just like my Marsh Madness. No, none of the picks are going my way, man. Unfortunate, man. Yeah, you know. yeah. You see, You see that TO over there? Yeah, Nick he's, District has the. He's not paying attention at all. He doesn't care about this. Oh, yeah. He, mean, he's paying attention to Vermont versus Duke right now. He couldn't care who, uh, who wins today, even though it's going to be Boat. Yeah, it's going to be Boat. Who's he, he couldn't who's care that Boat's going to win today. Yeah. And uh, speaking of Boat, we definitely are not seeing Boat on stream right now. This is... <laughs> I, don't know, I was like, who, who yeah, would be a I funny like, one to win today? Oh, yeah, Boat so we have Cheddar versus David Jones. I know Cheddar. I know Cheddar plays Wolf. I have no idea who David Jones is. Do you mind enlightening me on yeah, that? Yeah, Davy, Davy Jones, he was on here, uh, I believe, last week. When he picks a character, it'll all come flooding back. It's like... Uh, Putting a face to the name, you know? Gotcha. Once he picks this character, I'll, I'll know all about him. Yeah, and I believe that is... Raw is law, that's right. He, uh, I, I remember thinking that was a hard tag. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's going to be David in the player one seat. and Cheddar Still not flooding seat. back <laughs> who he plays. I, I know he was... I feel I have a feeling he was at uh, extra credit this past Sunday, but I'm not sure. He was here last week. I know that for sure. Falco. Falco. Of course, I remember that. So we got a good Spacey's match coming in. All right. So Falco versus Wolf. One of them is like Wolf, but he's not an animal. He's a bird. Because birds are not animals. They're government drones. I'll just let you know that. And it's basically air, air wolf, but also not Spacey's. Am I right? Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Everything you said, I understood. Definitely. I understood what I was saying, too. I'm just kind of rambling here. And we're going to get right into Briggs the first Briggs is not game. here, so we can't get into a discussion about cheese. 
Oh, yeah. Anytime Chatter's on here. I ask him a cheese. Oh, he's here! <laughs> oh, yeah, my God. The, yeah, Brig, the, the reason uh, I'm up here is because Brig is here. Like, oh, that's, that's, okay. how that, that's how that works pretty much. All right, Brig, you don't have to say anything. Uh, it's just good to know you're here. Yeah. And immediately, while yeah, turning back <laughs> into the game here, we've got uh, Wolf almost sealing it right there. That would have been absolutely nasty of a percent to close out the stock. But unfortunately for Cheddar, Falco was not off stage, so that down air just does not send anywhere other than no. up. But that back air will send right off the side of the stage, just like that. Cheddar had a ru uh, rough week yesterday. Who did he lose to? He, he had a tough loss, I, I would say. I think he got upset. On Tuesday? No, on fr last Friday. Okay. I'm only here on Fridays. Okay. Cause that, that's the only week that matters. Yeah. As thing. long as I'm here. Hey, but also, but also, uh, Xanadu hosting a lot of different tournaments throughout the week. They do, really? Yeah. Yeah. Like what? More Smash Bros. But yeah. Now, getting back <coughs> into this, we have. Uh, what else do they do at uh, Xanadu yeah, other than Tuesdays and Fridays? Uh, they have got the extra credit on Sundays. Which extra is like credit. Ultimate rivals. Then uh, FGC stuff on Thursdays, mainly on Wednesdays, you know how it is. Nice. And we've got the grind right here for all of those tuning in. Lots of good players like the two we see on screen duking it out. And it's actually a fairly close match. I mean, it didn't really seem like that at the very start, but we're back into the even 90% range. Just like a strong hit of back air on either of these guys will actually seal the stock. Seal the stock. It's actually going to kill me, both of the results. I'll look yeah. it up now. So that up tilt's going to be taking it, and that's leaving Cheddar at 107% with the opportunity to get some extra credit in here, which we we'll see at which we see 24% being taken. But David is just able to get to the up throw up air, and since Falco can actually get all the way up there, that seals right off the top. Immediately, we're coming in with another nice 38, 47%, 55, excuse me. And that is going to be a very quick string that does a lot of damage. And that is going to be putting Cheddar in a He's disadvantage position. Oh. But, oh, it drops the combo. I don't have the confidence to go down there. There, I don't think it would have killed, but you mean, come on, raw is law. Oh, yeah. Just putting that into the name. F tilt. Oh. Yeah, we're just seeing David live at like 120 here. David needs to seal the stock yep. now, but I spoke too soon, and that's going to be Cheddar sealing the stock at this very moment. And that's Cheddar taking game one. And it still is uh, Guapdopolis and FTP in the lower third, but it's okay. I, I'm I'm here on the stage at home saying, yeah, that was this is Cheddar and David Jones. Uh, we love our streamers. Shouts to Brig. And... Uh, yeah, so we're, I, I don't really know where David would go here. I mean, that game was fairly close, cause, so we could just run it back. But I'm not too sure. It was a big cup. Sorry, he's got a big cup. That's, that's my analysis. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just I a big I cup. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even notice that. That's, big that's, cup. I, need, I need myself one of those. I guess, I don't know. I, I'm really against that trend that happened for a couple of years where uh, uh, grown men we're walking around college with gallon jugs of water. Oh, okay. The gallon jugs is like the that's a little. That's a little. You tacky. remember the gallon jugs trend, though, uh, don't you? I don't really, but the only real it was a, it was a like real thing fad. I had, the only real thing I remember of that was that one time I think it was Oolong was just here mm -hmm. drinking a gallon jug of water on stream. Yeah. And there's like a funny screenshot of that somewhere, but that's that's all I remember. It no, it did, it did infest. Uh, Xanadu for a while. I'm not going to name names, not to shame, but some of you were walking around with gallon jugs, okay? And you weren't going to drink a gallon. The stomach's not bigger than a gallon. What are no, we doing no, here? I would, okay? though. I would, though. You drink a gallon? I, I would. I drink two. You drink two gallons yes, of water. Yes, I don't absolutely. buy it. No. I'm not a doctor. I just don't th <laughs> see that's metaphysically possible, okay? Yeah, but what's metaphysically possible here is the fact that Falco just got hit by Wolf Laser and now just, just completely disregards that because you're able to get some advantage state of your own. And that is going to be 93-93 uh, both ways. Not the exact same percent now, but uh, David is putting in the work here. 
I feel like, I mean, David's a, a good player. I feel like this is a matchup Cheddar's just good at based on the way he plays. He's, he's kind of an up and down kind of wolf. I don't know how to translate that to you. <laughs> so when he's, so like when, when Cheddar is on, he's on, but like, when, but when he's like not doing too hot, I can run away from him pretty easily. It's, it, no, it's just kind of the way he jumps. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, yeah, if you're constantly jumping like that, you'll get hit with something like that and just get thrown off like the top last time. It's kind of like a version of Dexter's where he's willing to stand still a lot and use his burst speed. Because if you, as long as you're not running into the Falco consistently, it's tough to play neutral as Falco. It's tough to hold forward. It's honestly one of my least favorite parts of the characters. You got to have him come to you. Yeah, and it uh, seems like Cheddar, Cheddar needs to stay a little bit more grounded because you're just jumping, and that is. Uh, that was David just catching the jump with forward air rising off the ledge. And like you said, just the way he jumps, it's like, yeah, Cheddar's, it can work a little bit. But you're just jumping all the time instead of like staying grounded, getting that like F tilts or just even like throws out of shield or whatever. Just, yeah. Unfortunately for, uh, for David, Cheddar's feeling himself, and you could tell the second he threw out a down air in neutral, just randomly. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're up an he, entire he, stop. He thinks he's gonna win. That's what that's what's happening here. Are you gonna let him think that? I mean, is, no, there's a lot of work that David needs to put in yeah. in order to really get no, to see, that he's point. he's chasing well here. Yeah. Watch I mean, him just stop. Oh, he wanted another one. You're just stopping that. I love. I love that. I'll see that. I don't really see that a lot in this game, but in other plat fighters, just someone just stopping and just waiting for the opponent to do something when yeah, you're you, up. Yeah, you play Rivals. That's like a yeah. 200 APM game or yeah. something, right? Yeah, that, I, I'm in pain all the time. But yeah. That's about it. <laughs> it's like freaking StarCraft over there seeing you guys. Yeah. Great game, though. Great game. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I bring that up because, like, stop, just there's a, there's a good benefit to just not pressing any buttons mm -hmm. that I feel like a lot of people don't. No. It's, sometimes it's just better to not press anything at all than to do something that's a little too committal. Or even if it's like non-committal, if you're not going to hit it, then just mm. wait to do something, do something that you know you're going to hit. There's a lot I could say about that, but it is just kind of the way of ultimate. Uh, if you're at that mid le that okay. If you're right. at that mid-level, oftentimes not pressing a button is better than any button you could press in a weird way. Yeah. Uh, one quick move here, and that back Except is going to do button. it. that button. You want to yeah. press that button a yeah. lot, actually. Yeah, that, that, that wolf back air button. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it took me so long to navigate the stats. I didn't even get the stats before the game ended. Yeah. I mean. Shatter, 14 players. So classic get, get uh, spacey battle, pretty much. And uh, if you guys are just now tuning in, welcome to the grind. Hey, welcome. It's uh, 277. I usually don't get the number correctly. I got it correct today. Hey, I'm on congrats. point. Congrats. I have my coffee. Um, I have my dinner. I'm feeling great. How about yeah. you? 277. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so Breaking Production it is telling us that Poe is wrong. So... So Poe is wrong, so I'm going to go on defense, my phone. I'm going to go on my phone and check, actually. In my defense, I was not the person to say that. Uh, Glory, who was up here before, ruined my bit, and he so, said, today's the grind 277. I went, now I know. Yeah, so he I was wrong first. I don't first. think it's uh, 277. I think it's not okay. that number. In fact, well, I'm going to well, check. The, break, I'm gonna the break's going to hide his secrets, so. Okay, so you're kind of close, but you're also not, like, within one number. Want to guess what it is? Mm, I think we need to go up. I think we need to go up. Nope. <laughs> we need to go down. Come on. I think we need to go down. I don't know. Uh, All right. So, so yeah. More Brig, than a so one. So, Greg is telling us that how many weeks are we going to go down, Poe? <sighs> I'm going to say five. Five weeks. Nope. You're close, though. You're close. Uh, it is the grind number 273, which is four numbers down. So yeah. somebody needs to get their facts straight. And I have no idea. You, you who's clearly asking. haven't watched a lot of my commentary. I, I clearly <laughs> haven't. I normally don't really show up on the weekdays. I'm uh, normally okay. here only on the weekends. So Fact, I'm not sure. Facts, logic, uh, 
they're not really my expertise. It's not really what we do here. Um, okay. I leave it for the other people. They're chock full of facts. So, so get but, Nick up on see, here. Unfortunately for me, I like to lie to you guys yeah. because what I just said. Uh, this is the guy number like 258. No, the no is 73. That's I just lied to you guys there. So didn't somebody say to me they were like, oh, the grind 300 is coming up soon. Man, uh, yes, but no. I'm just getting like, nothing but misinformation. The, the grind 275 is coming up soon. How about that? That's yeah, in what two weeks? That's a fun number. Not really. And uh, I mean, speaking of Glory, of he's thousand, gonna be our next match on stream. That's gonna be yeah, Glory. Glory. I'm not uh, rooting for him this time. I, I said I was going to, but he made me look like a like a dang fool up here, and I I don't appreciate that. You know. All right. Yeah. So so Glory out here helping Poe spread his lies, and there's gonna be Glory versus DJ Shoryu. Uh, I don't know much about DJ Shoryu other than they did really well at the Arcadian this past December playing Ryu. Yeah. DJ Shoryu, so... And had, like, one of the best clips of all time? Like an Isabel? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know who they play? Well, DJ Shoryu plays uh, uh, Ryu, and Gloria plays... Oh, Prince. Ryu. That's the Shoryu, like, Shoryu kid. Oh, oh. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, and Glory... Glory's just good. Glory has been going to a lot more recently. I know Glory used to not really be nearly as uh, around, but as of late, I've been seeing Glory show up almost weekly, and it's a treat to see. His hit is incredible. I'm text. I'm a text playground right now. Yeah. Do you remember I mean, playground? Yes, I do. I played against playground like a million times. Yeah. What do you think of that guy? He's pretty cool. Yeah, he's a wacky dude, huh? Yeah. Right. I like. Uh, I like Pit. I tried to play Pit for a little bit, but that just didn't work. Because I'm not built enough to play anybody in this game at this point. Commentating. Commentating Pit! Exclamation point. Yeah. Okay. So, I He's could also busy. just be lying to you guys and then he just picks Dark Pit. But I'm not no, sure. No, that's... So, uh, what you used to do, you go Pit game one, right? And if you lose, you go Dark Pit. That it's like true. the phase two That's boss true. sort of thing, you know? Yeah, it's like, I'm evolving into my final form. Yeah. Well, so Ryu versus Pit, as I as I predicted. And I believe we went to stadium game one, because why would we not? We are Smash Ultimate players in the state of Maryland. Pokemon Stadium 2 uh -oh. is the makes the best games. It's about to get political in a second, isn't it? Uh, no, I just like Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And immediately off the bat, sure, you was able to get 50%. So if I, if I say I like PS2 too, you... you uh, I would agree with you. You would agree with me. Okay, that's good. That's like, good. All yeah, right, we're like in agreement. Yeah. Uh, it just it, it feels a little hostile when you say PS2. Something about the way you say it. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's sending mixed messages. Sorry about that, man. Okay. okay. I, I, yeah. I apologize. Maybe it's See, the wrong there, read on me. Yeah. There's the Shoryu right there, just like the name. DJ Shoryu. DJ Shoryu, just like uh, the other DJ I know. DJ Khaled? I think his name was DJ Nuts. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ Nuts. I love that guy. Yeah? He's. I, I miss him. I have not seen him in a while. Still around? Yeah, yeah. Last time I commentated with him, he wasn't doing the puns thing. He used I'm to not. just he used to, used to come up here on undo puns. It was yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, glory is definitely not being very glorious right now. With there the, you uh, go. Yeah. He, he used yeah, to do that. Yeah. Now imagine <laughs> that, but thirty more of those. Yeah, yeah. I I don't have the strength in me to do that. I'll be honest with you. And uh, do you have the strength to commentate? With that? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, I'm not clever at coming up with puns. Because it, it's a talent. Which, yeah, that's because I'm not funny. But we are going to get another Shoryu just like that. So that's DJ Shoryu definitely DJ Shoryu. really realizing why Shoryu is in the name. And then you're just going to die to pit fourth. Or come on. Come on. Like, you, you're doing all this work, and for what? Just to do that? Kills at 130. He's actually getting street fighter right now. I want to note that. Mm -hmm. He can't get in because of Hadouken yeah. and uh, Shoryu. Just jump over it. Just jump Your over. Pit, you have like seven jumps. Yeah, so he's jumping a lot and he's getting completely anti aired every time he does it. Yeah, that's right. Sure, you can again. I wonder if we're going to get all three stocks with the Shoryu. Probably. Uh, prob Never mind. Not. Never mind. Probably not. Because he's probably going to land a back air at least once. 
Yeah, uh, I think that's what he did. Like, definitely, a, definitely, a, in my eyesight, that's definitely degrading at every single day. That definitely looked like a back air. So. Pitts, he's telling me this is a Tekken account. Hold on. Pitts losing. Wow. Send help. Wow. Um, we're going to be going to Kalos, which, and picking specific Pokemon music on Kalos. I don't know much about Pokemon, so if this song is cool, you guys let me know. I'm not sure myself. Running it back character-wise, we're going to Kalos Pokemon League now instead of Pokemon Stadium 2. I feel like we're a big fan of Pokemon here. I would not know. I've played two Pokemon games ever, and I've only finished one of them. So, yeah. But immediately we're seeing more percents from each side and the Hadoukens, and we're just F smashing in the middle of nowhere. It's okay, it's okay. You get to show you. It's fine. It's fine. We just gotta do that like two more times, and then we just win. It's almost like you need to just do the button that's in your name and not do that. Don't get hit by that. That's pit arrow. I totally agree. <laughs> okay. Where it's like that one reversal is just able to have glory just be able to actually put the the uh, game sense into his name and be glorious for once because look you're just yeah, you're just going, going again yeah you're going He's edge again guard and everything yeah yeah just going again I like space ghost coast to coast something like that that was a good show back in the day I don't know that I'm very young I that. yeah I was too young for it too but they would always play it on reruns. The Dull Swim, it was pretty good. Glory up a stock. Yeah, so this, uh, these Hadoukens, right? They're pretty cool. It's like a ball of fire, it doesn't really understand. Sure you can! There we go. It's a good move. Yeah, it's a pretty good move. And uh, I can just tell you're just like silently waiting for the <laughs> game to end, just because. Uh, no, like, we're you in want, for pit. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You you just told me at the beginning of this set. Oh, Glory lied to me. I Glory want him to it. lose. Nah, I'm actually no, no. over. I the see. Look, let's go. Okay. After I watched him get Shuriken <laughs> five times, I started to root for him. Yeah. Yeah, because you're just kind of like, okay, maybe, maybe uh, Shuriken's a good move, and we need to do something about I that. I also like to root for the winner. Wow. And I think Glory's got this in the bag. I don't know, man. Sure you sure you was putting in the work and we could just see something that looked exactly like game one. He was doing good until uh Glory made an adaptation. Usually I'll let the, the smart people tell me what that was. See and I don't know. He started I don't winning. Know. Yeah. I'm not a very smart person if you can tell. And uh this is going to be Glory up a game. Well no Glory has a game on the board, it still says one oh. But uh he didn't switch to Dark Pit, I noticed. He that. did not switch to Dark Pit. See, because he won with Pit. Mm. He knew there was still some good within the light mm. that Pit has of being the, the, the good one, apparently. Because, ooh, Dark is bad now. Dark Pit's awesome. Couldn't be me. I never played Kid Icarus, but I think Dar I think Dark Pit was pretty cool. Because it's like edgy. And that, that, that back throw, that back air, actually, excuse me, was also pretty edgy. Just like Dark Pit, which is not on the screen. <laughs> I'm having a field day with this one. Oh, okay. You're having fun. Yeah. Listen. It's a Friday, as I always say. It's Friday. It's here for the good vibes and the forward air. Fridays are for the beers. Right off the stage. Yeah. For the beers, for the puns, and for the Hadoukens right at close range. One. He's actually okay. just catching him yeah, jumping. Are you, are you He's gone? just catching him jumping. Oh. Maybe that was the add up, too. And just knows how to catch the jumps because once, like Ryu has the one jump, and then I wouldn't say Shoryu is like the best vertical recovery, but I mean Ryu has a good enough like sideways recovery with uh, Tatsumaki. I believe that's what it's called. Well, I think most characters in this game have a fine recovery. Yeah, the only ones that don't are like Little Mac, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, and but that, that character Wolf, can go. Right? But, but Little Mac can go all the way underneath Smashville. And, out on top, so I I don't think anybody's recovery is terrible. It's just exploitable. 
He's just catching him jumping. Yeah. It was the opposite of game one where uh, DJ Shuri was catching him jumping. Yeah. What was the adaptation? Maybe he started throwing arrows. Yeah, throw, yeah. yeah, we didn't really see many arrows in game one. And then uh, the arrows took two stocks in game two. And that's how we got to this point. So, not sure. I think he's going to land a Shuri. I think so. Oh, really? Yep. Well, I think he's going to land a, uh, a forward smash. I think it's going to be really funny. Just, to, just do it. Oh, I guess you're right. All right, there, yeah, he landed the Shuri again. It's okay. Yeah, my bad. You're new on the job, apparently. A, a little <laughs> bit. A little bit. <laughs> hey, last stock, game three. Uh, back and back and forth, Glory and DJ Shuri. You can yeah. Gotta say, I'm rooting for Glory here. Uh, I think he's got this in the bag. Oh, good parry. Tried to just end it all there. Buffed okay. him off the shield. Are we going to get a sure you can again? Is that the question? Because you seem to be the prophet. I I think Glory's going to win this for sure. Okay. He's going to get a see. I knew I mean, he was he gonna got get another. Sure yeah, can, I knew he was going to get another one. But I think I think Glory's got this. Yeah. What's it going to be? Arrow. We're going to back throw here, and then we're going to arrow, and it's going to miss. I don't know. My powers they're so limited. Uh. Up oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. See. Yeah, that's the arrow. I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes you've watched 8,000 games of Smash Ultimate, and you know what's going to happen next. It's like I've seen this movie before, OK? Yeah, yeah. Glory, Glory had it. He just had the mental. He had the adaptation. He was playing Pit. What more do you want me to say? I mean, hey, it was a pretty nice looking Pit, too. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Well, I'll leave you to it. I have some work I need to do. Yeah? So. Is that everybody. playing Rivals or uh, it's something like that? Because Hitfall is tomorrow, and I oh. want to and I want to do well at that tournament. So hey, you want to talk about it? We got some time. Yeah. Uh, so Hitfall, for those in the chat that don't know, is Xanadu's Rivals Major, or I guess in this case it's more of a regional, but it's Xanadu's big Rivals event. Uh, it's it's happening tomorrow here on the VGBC stream right here, like always, and uh, we have the. Uh, a singles racket. We have side brackets like workshop and early access singles. We also have a Maryland versus Virginia crew battle of, ri of rivals players in the state. That'll sucker me any day. You I, know? Mean, I believe it's going to be a six v six. I think. Well, are you going to be playing? Sure. Are you no. that good? No, no, I'm not that good. Uh, either, I, you could have fooled me. Uh, who do you, who do you play? I think you, I think you. You're probably the weasel guy. You know, the guy that goes, no. you're probably the the rock guy. Yes, I with am. The, I'm, you're I'm Crag. Crag. I'm Crag. Crag. Yes. I'm, who, do you think I, who do you think I would play? Well, considering you've played Smash Bros, uh, Claren or Rano? Who and who? Uh, sword, lightsaber sword or the frog? Oh, yeah, yeah, the Marth one that yeah. goes like this. Yeah. Well, I, I think I'd play Raster. Yeah. Raster's good, too. Raster's good. All right, I'll leave you yeah. to it. I distracted I'll Yeah, you. I'll leave you. Don't worry. All right. Next game, no uh, no break whatsoever. Squid Plumber, John Lyons, going up against K24, K24 uh, player on the come up. Had a fantastic couple of weeks, made some pretty big upsets. Now just a, a pretty good all around player. Um, going up against some guy named Squid Plumber. Squid, Squid Plumber. If he's any good. All right, get over here. Get over here. I got. I need to have a word with you. At least a three. Um, what grind is it? It's the 273rd. Yeah. Why do you ask? No reason. All right. Good to know. Hey. Uh, great. Uh, 
Some great stuff up there. Uh, for all you at home, watch out for Nair into jab. One, two, Soryu. It's real. Yeah, you got hit by that quite a few times. I, I think four. Yeah. And then you stopped getting hit by it, and then you started winning. Did you notice that? I, it was actually a little bit of a in-the-moment game plan. You there. I, I totally believe that. I don't know. I don't even know what the adaptation was, but it was something. Yeah, it's a little thing called moving out of the way. I think uh, it might catch on in a bit. But I also noticed you were playing around a shoot a lot better. He, he was kind of eating you up for jumping in the first game, and then uh, that stopped happening. You started eating him up for jumping. It's just like that uh, first game. Squid Plumber got ate up in uh, more time than it took us to have this conversation. I guess less time. Do you know this Squid Plumber guy? Because he no. kind of stinks right now. <laughs> <laughs> As a Squid Plumber enjoyer, I have to say, the squid is usually a little bit more underwater than this, a little uh, bit. Geez, you're telling me. Yeah. That was rough. All right, I mean, K24, a, a good player. He's, he's had That a, says John Lyon. That doesn't say K24. That's yeah, a, little a little mistake there. It's OK. As Uguay once said, there are no mistakes. Kung Fu Panda 4. I thought that was Kung Fu Panda 2. Oh, never mind I don't want to. I, I don't want to get into a battle of literature here. Okay. Uh, literature? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. They wrote down the script after all. Speaking of scripted, thank goodness it wasn't in the script to die to that uh, zero to death. Yeah, script's getting eaten alive, and he, his mojo is just not there right now. I, I'm not seeing the normal squid mojo. Uh, I don't know how to find it. I don't know if you got to order ahead or it's there's an app, but uh, it's not there. Mojo's like going across a sandy beach with a metal detector. Go ahead, go ahead. No, that's that's the end of it. <laughs> I don't have anything more to add to that. You see, son. <laughs> that's the fatherly advice. There is no end to it. Women, women are like going across <laughs> the beach <laughs> with a. Rusty metal detector. <laughs> oh, go on, Dad. Nope, that's it. That's all you need to know. Just keep that in mind, and you'll be fine, <laughs> I think. Pass me the remote. <laughs> and the beer. Miller Lite, of course. Dads have some bad taste. You, you know, My dad's a more of a Guinness type of guy. He's a Guinness? Yeah, he's, he's, he really just <laughs> wants to taste the worst thing ever and just, it really keeps him humble. Oh, Guinness is not the worst thing ever. Uh, I'd say look, it's close to Heineken in terms of tier list. Look, I'm Irish, so I'm not allowed to diss Guinness. <laughs> okay, but good. I am allowed to say it's not to my taste. Take this. That's and then uh, the real Irish will say, it's better in Ireland. I go, it's so true. That's the problem with it. <laughs> They're right, by the way. It's the same with gummy bears. It's like, you have it over here, and it's like, what happened? Is this what we put out? Where are gummy bears the best? I'm unaware of this local locality. I'm going to say that they're the best in Frankfurt, Germany, which is where I had them. And I said, wow. They have uh, all the gum. I, I totally believe that. Haribo, that's a uh, sermon. Squid Mama, you might want to look away. I see you in chat. But, uh,. Where's his mojo? It's not there right now. K24 is eating him up. Yeah, I'd Playing say a fantastic if, neutral. If his mojo's at home, please deliver it to the venue before the end of this game for best of three set. That projectile actually works pretty well against uh, Belmont. I didn't notice, but it clanks with both uh, both the Holy Fire and the Cross, cross. I believe. Yeah, Luigi's an impure being. It simply cancels out everything holy. Hopefully, we can bring the, oh my goodness, uh, Squid Plumber's really, really reaching for it. I'm feeling like the game plan is not to engage, but it's instead to force K24 to do Luigi's most uh, difficult task. There you go. Oh, couldn't get it. Oh, God. That could have been Ed. Ooh, no, that could still be it. Oh, he could have died there. The Holy Fire saved him. Every time we get hit by an air by Luigi, the not, lights flash. Uh, neither can complete their conversions right now. Went down plumber. more than a whole stock. Uh, Winterside Life just gets out of it. We can still live this, but it will be by a hair. Oh. That could be it. Let's have that mojo kick in. Uh. It's a nail biter, but it looks like it could, this is how it starts, as some would say. This is how it starts. 
as long as we as long as we throw out that move that he kills without having to commit to anything. Not that one. That's the it's very committed. There we go. Squid Plumber with a sigh of relief. Please don't get grabbed. Thank you. At this point, Luigi's intense stares could kill. And that's it. K24 with the classic John Lyon dash attack. I didn't like that. You know, it's not a diss on K24. I just didn't like how that went, you know? Yeah, it's one of those moments where you just hope the player locks in. That's the advice everyone says all the time, but I guess we're getting locked out of the winner's bracket. That's that's how I'm contributing. I'd like to think we are Squid, squid Plumber. Not me, but like other people. Collectively. Collectively, we are Squid Plumber is something you could say. There is no one Squid Plumber. It's an idea, right? It's yeah, not a... It's a movement, if you will. Yeah. When we move into the we venue... We move into loser's bracket yeah. is where we move right now. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's Squid Plumber, but... Squid Plumber, it's abstract. We could always... We could always change the definition as we see fit. Okay, look, uh, coming up next, looks like we got Cheddar versus some guy named Glory. I've never heard of him, but I think I'll uh, look can, around can the venue for Can you go find him for me? Yeah. Okay. I think I'll go down... Uh, all right. Hashtag squid, squid flam, squid, squid fam. Man up. Ooh. Chatter going up against glory. That's a familiar face. Check the March Madness or scores. Oh, they might be March Madness sores the way I look at them. Uh, oh, look who's here. Both backpacks are here. All right, let's go get all set up. I'm checking basketball scores like a big dork. Nah, we're all dorks here. Hello, everybody. This is IRLC. Yeah, but, okay. Oh, no, continue. Are you good? And, uh, ooh, we're finding the winner's quarterfinals. All right, this is going to be very exciting. Uh, oh, I'm going to have my winner's quarters match against K24 in a bit. So I got, I'm just going to start yapping on here for a tiny bit. My bracket is ruined. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well right now. And speaking of which, there are dorks bigger than some. For example, oh, yeah. Nick is over there watching the games on, simul <laughs> uh, on simulcast <laughs> while TOing the Smash He's not tournament. doing his job. All right, Cheddar versus Glory. Uh, Glory, speaking of big nerds, has to play on stream, so he's going to lose his commentary spot here. Yep, sorry. I, yeah. But all I'm saying is I'm actually my guy's easier, so. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, put the butt bag back, please. Yeah, okay, got Get it. that out of my sight. I was feeling a little better about myself for some uh, reason. No, no. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just want to make, I want, like, smart products, like iPhones and stuff like that, to not be so reflective so I don't have to see my face every time I look at them, you know? Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Anyway, getting into the set. <laughs> So I'm actually very impressed with Glory's play because I only saw like game one of his previous set against DJ Show Ryu. Uh, very, very impressive player, and I did not. Uh, and he really bounced back from that entire thing. He's playing on fire tonight, uh, hitting a couple of confirms that I normally see me either wishy washy on or just the few times I've commentated him. Yeah, he he locked in. He he adapted, if you will. I tried to ask him how he did it. He wouldn't reveal his pit secrets. Ah, dang. But he he said uh, you either lock in. Or you lock out. 
so what's it gonna be? Exactly. Well, thing is though, so far he's doing a pretty good job against Cheddar, keeping it uh, even, but let's talk about Cheddar real quick. We've been, we've been, we've been singing our praise about Glory, Glory but Cheddar, uh, of course, finding a comfortable spot in Winner's Quarterfinals. I think he always, almost always makes Winner's Quarterfinals at whatever tournament he enters. It's crazy. Like, he's missed a couple of top eights, but for the most part, you see this man in a top eight qualifier, no matter what Xana do. And, oh my god, the side B will be taking it off the top? Okay. Did, I was trying to remember, you were here last week. Yeah. Uh, who did Cheddar lose to? He got upset, did he not? Uh, which one? Cheddar. Yeah, yeah, uh, which uh, Xanadu? Last week. That last grind? Oh, that would be me then. That's right, you're <laughs> the one! Yeah, I was the Kirby. Ooh, I wasn't even jab. doing a bit. I, genu yeah. I genuinely <laughs> well, forgot. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Smash hit the yeah, you whipped his butt, his behind. It was a little embarrassing. But uh, you, it's okay, Cheddar. That was, you know, that nobody, was remember, nobody remembers that. Yeah, because the VOD guy, because the guy who runs the VGPC YouTube channel did not put that set uh, on there. What? Or my set against Pink Fresh. But it's okay. That's, that's They're limited to like two videos a day now or something. So No, but they Don't did put my first. suck and cuck against, uh, uh, like, you know, like the Kirby Nutribi stuff uh, against <laughs> yeah. Fiji's, uh, Fiji's uh, Steve. So that, that made it on there as a tip, so thank you for that. That's how I want to be remembered. But there we go. Good up smash from Cheddar will finally be evening up the stock count, but at 96. And somehow, um, I don't. I did not expect uh, down B to be the move to hit at zero. No. This is a classic matchup for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Like uh, the characters or the players? The characters, because I keep bringing his name up because I, I never see a pit. Never get to commentate pit. But playground. Oh, I miss playground, man. He's no, such you remember players? Oh, uh, he's in a better place now. Uh, Not MDBA. I uh, know he's playing like other video games. Oh, that'll do it. Uh, but we must have played this matchup like a thousand times, mm -hmm. and. Uh, in my limited low-level Smash experience, it's about who dashes back better. Yeah, well, right now it looks like oh god, very it looks like Cheddar's doing that because he's now taking the percent lead after a massive deficit that Glory has racked up. So as long as he doesn't lose his stock first, this game could go to Cheddar just like that. And, oh my god, they're both playing so careful in the corner. The run-up forward air or forward throw, not enough to take it. Trying to get him with the uh, arrow, does hit it, building wow. the spaces, and that's gonna do it. Yep. Bad time to get aggressive off the ledge. You did not have the time to, to up air of all things. Mm -hmm. All right, but here we go. Does, again, 155 max rage pit. But I just want to say Cheddar pretty brought that percent deficit back. And now that Epto will surely do it. I hate my god. Keep it together. <laughs> I'm falling apart here. Bacto's not going to kill. Sheesh. 188. We are nearing 200% here. Just about anything he did, that one definitely going to be taken. Here we go, the patented low percent hit combos, bad oh air dodge boy. in from Cheddar. Looking like American cheese with that one. <laughs> don't, don't provoke for it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dude, don't. again with 0% uh, down B as the first hit. That's innovation that excites right there. That's the real pit innovation, is dash up ground. <laughs> yep. It beats everything else. Rory's like 0 for 3 on those down smash uh, two frames. I know if one of them is going to hit this set. I just don't think it's going to be this game one. Ooh, good spot. Dodge looking for the roll in, trying to be like Dexter. Good reflex. Great recovery as well. Oh. Rory fading back. Because if he held forward on that up air, he was uh, losing that game. Also, Cheddar's accuracy with the lasers have been phenomenal. I think he's hit like, hit like 10 or so. Like, look at that. He just knows exactly when your opponent's going to swing and when that fan center projectile is going to beat it out. Die. Die. Oh, wow. Good draw. Yeah. Yeah. Force a good grab, and that up will surely take it. Yes, there we go. Cheddar taking game number one after playing super solidly and making it very impressive. Oh, That's not what This is where glory. Adapts mm -hmm. and locks in. Let me tell you, if there's you were something lucky to win game one. Yeah, what? if there's something Glory loves doing is losing game one and then winning the set. And I think he is fully is capable of doing that. Ooh, we have Cynthia's theme trying to power him up. All right. This is a big cup he's holding. Do you remember? Yeah, exactly. I was talking to Glory about this. Do you remember the trend of largely college age men? Carrying around gallon jugs yes, everywhere they, go, they went. Do you remember this? I do remember this it, fad? Yeah. I remember it very well. I, I was just thinking, that gallon jug's bigger than your stomach. There's no way you're exactly. getting all that liquid in like, there. That, like, that is true. Yeah, you have to be having, you have to have constant output, we'll say, uh, in order to fully make it through the gallon jug, right?
they, they, there was something they, they, they felt was uh, empowering about carrying around this oh uh, my God. this room temperature water. Yeah, it's, it's, it's disgusting water too because it's not going to be cool. It's not going to be yeah. tasty. Also, it's always shocking to me. Like, I hope this doesn't sound mean, but how do you drink that much water and then still not have like clear skin? Because every single one of those guys I saw, they were acneed <laughs> out the wazoo, all right? I feel bad for saying that, but how are you going to have a gallon jug of water and then look like that? Get him. All right, anyway, back to the match right here. How are you not going to have perfect skin care? If you drink that much water, your skin got to be spotless. Mm. Oh, my God, we're trying to get the 360, the MLG clips out here. I think if that's how that worked, uh, billion-dollar industry would be in the room. Shambles, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. I think the whole economy of Korea would go under in one <laughs> yep. day. The whole cosmetics industry. Yeah. Dude, what would we do about plastic surgeons? <laughs> no kidding. All right, but here we go. Uh, we'll say though, uh, Glory slowly bringing back this deficit because Cheddar was playing on fire those first like uh, that first 60 seconds. Now they're looking a lot more even, only 132 to 96, 30 percent uh, separating them. Oh my God, these arrow snipes are so clean. I always love seeing Pit more than Dark Pit just because I think that neutral is one of the coolest moves in the game. Oh, uh, fourth throw. Yeah, I guess right. Ooh, great near off ledge. Cheddar able to get stage control right now. He's just sitting in center stage. He doesn't want to do anything. What a grab. Back there should take it. Yeah, Cheddar's more of a stander than Glory, and that's saying something for a pit. <laughs> a stander? A stander. I, 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 I called him. He was holding down B. How did that happen? I might have let go. I actually don't know. Uh, I called him an up and downer, but that's not descriptive enough. He's, he's really a stander. He, he's a vertical plane kind of guy, you know? He doesn't like... He's a Y-axis kind of man. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> okay. Oh my God! Yeah. Great combo. Is he gonna get the edge guard? Oh, just a hair like too Falcons slow. Are. Dude, these arrow extensions are so sick. Oh, not the back. I, I thought he was gonna do a back air after that ledge jump, but like, for the near, probably trying to get something dragged on, or maybe just a straight miss input. Who knows? Only Glory does. Oh my God! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was about to get spiked. <laughs> Would Wolf uh, Flash have killed at that percent, you think, at Sweet Spot? Uh, no. Oh, okay. So he would have been fine. Probably I was like, getting scared over nothing. Probably like 50. Mmm, makes sense. All right, forward air. Oh my god, Cheddar's chasing Glory down so well, waiting. Wow, wow Clash of the Reflectors. That's a crazy option. And he's out of there. Oh! That was so scary. Ooh, the jab. I think he was thinking it was going to jab lock. Uh, some fan events from the near off of uh, Glory, and come on, come on, Glory, you gotta get one of these down, uh, That's a great down smash two crap. frames. He's gonna go deep? Nope. Mm -hmm. Good avoidance again of the arrows. Cheddar's always getting hit by one arrow, but he doesn't get hit by the one that follows, and that's what's allowing him to uh, to recover here. Yeah, there we go. Reflect that one. Very good recovery. That was a fantastic recovery. Oh and my he's God. gonna get the tech chase. Stay back! Away! I don't know why Pits don't use F-Tilt more. That move looks good. It looks good. It's pretty awful. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was unaware. Awful move. Only worse than his... Uh, the only one worse is his up-tilt. Yeah. Hey, okay. up-tilt has that infinite, you know? Oh, my God. The arrow actually aiding in the recovery there. I don't know how it launched in that direction. Oh, my God. The, I love uh, neutral get-up spot dodge. Just the, a good panic option. I and, yeah, no, Pit Dash Act would definitely oh. take a stock, especially that back air. Glory now with the stock lead. Can he bring this to a game number three? Ooh, love that platform tech chase. Oh, and, ooh, another miss. whiff. Big damage. Mm -hmm. Or another miss tech from Cheddar. Yeah, uh, Cheddar has been missing a lot more lasers this game. I think that's been a huge deciding factor. Like, uh, Glory t might have might as well have taken like a hundred percent just from straight lasers the last uh, last game, and so far he's only taken like thirty. Uh, Cheddar's throwing them out a lot less, maybe just feeling less confident about it, and it's giving Glory more of a time just to pressure and get in. And as you can see, he's racked up almost a full stock lead. He's also played the ledge a lot worse. Mm. That's where he's gotten next to no go. mileage right now. Yeah, this is Cheddar's gonna need some insane like spike kill after he takes this stock. Uh, how is he gonna take the stock? Oh my god, he was about to lose his actually. All right, he's gonna dash attack. I still th I still read that he's gonna get a dash attack. All right, there never mind. Go. All right, even stocks, but of course the percent tells a different story. I don't know if Cheddar's gonna be ha is gonna have it in him to make this clutch happen. Trying to go for that uh, reflector of zero yet again. 
but no, Glory already doing more defensive options, just keeping Cheddar out, not letting him even get an opening, and just keep chipping away at that percent until literally any move you throw out will be taking the stock. Uh-oh. Like this one? Maybe. Go, go Wolf Flash here. <laughs> yeah, come on. Hit him with the, the back air oh. Wolf Flash. It's going to be hype. Ooh, good update. No tech chase off the down throw. All right, well, he's carrying it. Yeah, wait, what happened? Why is, getting, why is it getting even? Glory, put him away. Glory, do, do the thing. Uh, back air him. Oh my god. I don't know if he could take another uh, pit dash attack. Especially with bad DI. Oh my god, a brave man. Yep. Oh wow, there was only a minute and 17 seconds left in that game? I was not paying attention. I should have told you about that part too. Yeah, exactly. Come on, man. You're, where are the comms? Where, where's my heads up? Yeah. All right. But game this next one will be very quick, though. That's the surprise. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, once both players realize that the game went slow, they play fast. Yeah. Or at least, in practice, these two do. All right, where is our counter pick? Are we going back to PS2? They're hovering over four side. And again, just a reminder: this is this, this is a uh, top eight qualifying match, as it is winners' quarterfinals. Just to let you guys know how bracket is shaping up, and you can go ahead and check out bracket by going to start.gg slash SAX ultimate or by doing an exclamation point bracket in the chat. Oh, don't worry about that. That's all they spam in that chat. Oh, is that actually all they spam? Yeah. All right, well, you guys, come on. You can, you can talk it's, to us, too. It's, <laughs> a, it's either that or Squid Mama when uh, Squid Palmer's up. Yeah, but of course, she gets a pass for just being awesome. All right. But no, we have Dexter and Justin, who are probably going to be the stream match after this one. Who's playing? Oh, I, I take it back. Uh, Qubit's in the chat. Qubit's good. Qubit's good? All right, nice. Yeah, Qubit's nice still. to meet you, Qubit's. I didn't, I didn't know he was in there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Who's playing hot tonight? Uh, I tell you, it's probably Glory. Yeah, uh, Glory. Look at that. He, you see how warm those hands are? That's Those are hot hands, okay? Those are hot hands. Um, and K24, who K24, upset... Yeah. Uh, Squid. K24, is it like A24? It's a... I actually don't know. I think it's just K24. Anyways, he... he, he <laughs> put the absolute whopping <laughs> on Squid Palmer. It was not close. Exactly. I'm I fight him next. Do you? I do, yeah. I mean, that's a little scary. But yeah, so winners quarter finals, me, K24, probably going to be happening a little bit later. Pink Fresh and Deathless. Uh, of course, you have Glory Cheddar happening now, just about to wrap up. And then Dexter and Just Woo. This is a stacked uh, Smash and Andrew guy. Or this is a stacked the grind, so definitely check it out. Hi there. Hi, Bean. All right, but we are going right back to PS2. Bit of a change of garb, though. I love the green to match the uh, match the stage. Oh, dead. Oh, oh come on. Yeah, it, it should have been down air. Oh, really? Based, yeah, based on how close he was. Mm. But I don't think they would have died from that, right? Probably not. It would have been a bad scenario. Probably not, but uh, to quote uh, our resident Falco player, raw is law. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that tag. Or like that's the, how many puts his in game tag. All right, ooh, good up here. This is getting shades of game number uh, game number two here. This is exactly how it started off uh, with Rory just being in a huge percent deficit, gets the kill percent, and suddenly Cheddar just oh. can't find the hit. But not the same thing happening here. Cheddar with that great back here, going to be getting a solid percent and stock lead in his favor. Rory trying to bring it back, but Pitt's little one-two combo is not doing all that much. That was a wild ledge interaction. I, I, I could break that one down. That was ridiculous. <laughs> he had the read on him, the uh, standard get up and standard whatever. Yeah. Get up and uh, getting on up, but he he was just a fraction late. Spot dodge, and his next option was after missing the grab. I'm going to... Jump, turn around, somersault, back air you. <laughs> and the good thing is it about worked. Wolf is that it works. Exactly. Sometimes you can just throw that move out and then suddenly the gods decide, yeah, you space that, right? Come the chatter for more Wolf tips. Exactly. Uh oh, that was a big whiff right there. Not going to get too much out of it. Just one little fair. Dude, that's playing. He's playing great. Yeah, I don't know how Terry uh, or Thor is going to take the stock time soon, but ooh, bad DI in the down throw. Expecting a forward throw, nearly getting down throw up there, and there we go. On the neutral, get it right in the snout. I don't know why it, it came out like that. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not what you said, it's how you said it, so. <laughs> oh my god. They both just have moments where they just jump at each other. Like, they don't press a button, they're both trying to like, bait out a tomahawk or. You know, just bait out some option, but they just spend up one moment in the air. That's the best part of the game, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And when I win, generally. That's a pretty good feeling, That's too. Also a pretty good feeling. God, they're just. There's so many times I feel like Rory could be getting a grab here, but I understand the hesitation. So scary. Great punish. Wait, they're not getting the follow up. How is Tenor avoiding all these nears? 
that should set up on the platform and up air covering just about everything. Comboing into another up air. This is a big chase from Glory right now, but holding shield, getting grabbed, the down throw. Sending him off stage, trying to look for maybe a two frame. Oh no, just Glory going right to ledge. Wow, kind of reached over, gave Pit a haircut with that one. I don't know how the Guardian Orbiter did not uh, block that uh, forward air. Forward air? No. It's a lot of pummels. You gotta close this out before it gets scary, because once Glory gets you off stage, his edge guarding is so phenomenal. Uh oh, uh oh! He's got a jump. Oh, he was That's it? Yeah, he got it. Yep. What an edge guard right there. All right, Glory back in this 191%. I, this is like the third time I've seen uh, Glory live to above 160 to set. Yeah, that thing he said about uh, locking in. I thought that Nair was about to take it. If it was sweet spot, it definitely would have, but there we go. Nair to shield. Oh, just a oh, shield grab right back here. Even stocks, almost even percent. This is one uh, wolf down throw uh, dash attack away from being even. Uh-oh, here That's it awful. is. Down throw dash attack. Woo! And he catches the jump. You can, you can chase that in a disadvantage. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just the point blank arrow pull on the get up. That was sick. It's actually optimal. Yeah. Because he can just turn around if he does roll in, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, it looked really funny, but it was an optimal play. <laughs> Come on, that was funny. God. Dude, I'm, I keep hearing just the swishy noises of pit uh, of pit swords. Fair dry down into the down smash. Glory is running away with this right now. Cheddar's not gotten a solid hit in a while. Oh, that was such a good option from Cheddar, choosing not to run in where so many other wolves would. They would have eaten that back here, but instead Cheddar getting some good percent. Uh, oh, looking for the jab lock yet again. Glory not giving to him great tech. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, getting, I'm getting scared with this. Uh-oh, the uh, arrows. Dude, come on, you got to hit the down smash too right now. There's a good Good reflect. Oh my. No, just a hair away from making it to the ledge. But that's going to be Glory once again locking in after losing game one. He loves losing game one. And then taking the set. Glory going to be advancing on to bracket, landing himself comfortably in winner's side top eight. You know, that was a great match. Mm -hmm. Great match. Both competitors, I think, really brought it down to the wire. Could have been anybody's game. But I'm reminded of something that was said by a very wise pit player uh, mm -hmm. not too long ago. Uh, Pit is bad, and if I win as Pit, I am the better player. Mm -hmm. With that, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, oh, sounds good. No, I'll hold down the fort. Oh, Don't worry you, about you it, man. it, man. All right, hot set. That's so it true. It was a hot set. All right, no, always All enjoy right. commentating with you. If you do come back to the back to the hot seat, I hope I'll be able to say some more things with you. Hey, man. I'm gonna, you, you gonna, gonna commentate my set too? Uh, <laughs> Are you going to be up on stream? I'm going to be up on stream. I'm in winners, I'm in winners quarters, yeah. I guess uh, K24? K24, yeah. Wait. I'm actually very excited for that because my last set of K24, as close as it could have been. Game three, last dog, last hit. I think we were both at a, uh, 150. Uh, we, it's actually, we both cheese each other. I neutral beat him so much, he zero deaths me every chance he gets. Yeah. So there's going to be some shenanigans, that's all I'm going to say. I'm trying not to break his stream setup right now. Give oh, yeah, no worries. Oh. Oops. Uh, oh. There you go. Not that limber. Dude, I don't know why. It doesn't matter how athletic you are. If you have to unplug a cable from the back of a TV or anything, you get exhausted. All right, that's oh just a boy. that's just a law of the universe. <laughs> all right, your knees oh, hurt. Oh wait a everything. second. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you thought they switched over? Nah, there was some exciting stuff happening on comms. What the what the heck, man? I don't even like cheddar cheese or gouda <laughs> or any of those cheeses. I, I hope you know that. Or gouda, yeah. Where is that coming from? But art. <laughs> oh. Hopefully so. Pit hey, top 30. Hey, who's who's coming up next? All right, here we go. Other side, or not other side. Uh, winner of this will be fighting Glory uh, in winter semifinals. And first of all, I need to sing some praises because we all know Dexter. We all love Dexter here, but I am a huge Just Woo fan, all right? Uh, he's just such a, an entertaining guy. And yes, he plays Sonic. And yes, he does go for the timeout more times than, more often than not. I love fighting against him, all right? He has so many slick conversions. He's so cool with it. I don't know what that homing attack was, but just ignore it while I'm talking about him. Uh... But yeah, no, I'm so happy to see him competing again. It's been so long since I've attended a tournament with him. So I want to see him do well. And do well he is. Already taking out Boat, which was a very, very close game three timeout set. Uh, I wish that was on stream. Because from what, how Boat describes it, it was as close as it could have been. 
but just be clutching up and let's see if he can do something similar because he's gonna need some clutch genes for Dexter, uh, who has so far not gotten hit that much, only 24% in comparison to uh, just who's dark red percent. Or not dark red, just red percent. Oh, that was a big whiff dash attack, and wow. Oh my god, what do you do? Wolf was just standing there. He like had his scouter and just said, he just analyzed Sonic's power level. That should be a stock. Yeah. For those of you who do not know, Sonic homing attack, if it hits the ground, it has a bucket of end lag. That is go time if you ever fight Sonic. Uh, just Even if you can't get to him, just close out that stage position. Yeah, Sonic is very, or sorry, Dexter is very, very good. How did a shield break happen? Wait, what? I was looking at, I was reading chat. You guys distracted me. What on earth? All right, well, get from the gods as we caught it. Uh, Just was somehow finding a shield break. I think it might have been with homing attack. I heard that sound effect. But either way, that is a, that is an oddity to shield to see Dexter with a missed defensive play. All right, but good stuff from Just Who. But oh no, these homing attacks have been getting him so much, getting hit a lot. I don't know how Dexter is avoiding these homing attacks. And oh my god, look at him just stand there, the Grim Reaper. Oh, and that dash attack will surely take it, kicking him right in the ball, singular. Oh, and dropping the low percent combos of up air, up air, into back air. That's normally the bread and butter, but I guess just Wu being a little lactose intolerant right now. Oh, good back air. If he gets this F smash, ah, oh, too early on the first one, can't get the last one. Up throw, forward air, still a combo at this percent. If he got that sour nair, that might have uh, that might have been comboed into uh, a forward tilt. I think that's something he can do, right? All right. Well, either way, this game one is not going in Just Wu's favor. Already uh, that percent great back air. Does this move have a jump? He does, and nearly getting spiked. Oh my goodness, that would have been saucy. Oh, and no drops the uh, the side B into the fair, and yeah, big whiff up smash Dexter, two stalking Just Wu. In a in quick fashion, it is rare to see uh, that kind of match go that fast. But Dexter was just on top of it. All right, are we going back to PS2? I think we are. I think we. Yeah, there we go. Still not choosing the music, but thankfully every song in PS2 is a banger. A bop, you might even say. It goes hard. I've heard people uh, say as well. You know, all the all that stuff. A real hit. Alright, anyway. Three, two, one, oh, luckily. Oh, this thing is on. Red, blue. Okay, finally a homing attack actually working out in Justin's favor. Not getting any damage, but will be safe on shield. Uh, can't say the same for any homing attack in game number one, except for the one that took the sh that got that shield break, if that's actually what happened. Missed falling up here from Just Who. Dexter gets to be hit. As I say that though, it takes 9% from the side B back here. I don't know why. It, oh, he didn't get hit by the back here, right. I will say something about Just Who that I have noticed and something how I've like taken sets off him before. Whenever he does a uh, homing attack on shield, he always air dodges like to the left or the right. And if you have a move, uh, for example, like uh, Kirby up B or like Kirby down smash that covers both sides, he, you usually get a punish on it. I think Dexter can maybe do something too, because he's choosing a punish way too fast in the homing attack. If he just waits a second to see which direction uh, Just Who air dodges, he should be able to get a, a, a safe and easy punish. Oh, but now Just Who wise to all these anti spin dash tech that uh, Dexter is doing. He's spacing around uh, back air and dash attack really well. Up smash, high profiling the, uh, the Sonic, okay. Oh my god, that grab is phenomenal. Oh, and that Nair as well, just shutting down Sonic's approach options. That whole brave man holding down to avoid the ledge and then getting the backer after it. This is a lot more even than game one, and we have a max grade Sonic, but yet again, Dexter looking for the Tri-State Twister, and once again, high-profiling Sonic. How's it going, Sam? I hate everything. Oh, no. All right, well, don't worry. Funnel your anger to talk about Sonic. That's how you do it, right? I don't care about Sonic. Fair I like enough. Sonic. I like Sonic, too. All right. But if you don't mind asking, uh, who, uh, how'd the set go? Horrible. Ah. I played against Ryu. Ah, uh, wait, was it a show, or yeah, DJ, DJ show, show Ryu? Ryu yeah. I don't understand, what is, winner's quarters, we have what? We got uh, two Sonics, right? Yeah. We got two Sonics, two Wolves, Min Min, Pit, and um, Me. who am I missing? Uh, Luigi, Luigi, and there's one more. Me. Oh yeah, and then Kirby. Yeah. I don't understand how there's, there's eight characters in winner's quarters, and DK goes even or beats seven of them and loses to one of them. And I played to the one that I lose. No, you were. Th th there are some problems like, I was seeing here, but oh, there you go. Finally getting the, the back air. Oh my god! 
That was really good. Yeah, back to back here. Oh, yeah. Good call out. Dude, Texture just throws, he knows when to throw it out. Like, this is the years of the game that he is ingrained into his nervous system. And there we go, waiting for the punish, but uh, pulling the trigger in the opposite direction. He's not gonna be hit. Yeah, Dexter's phenomenal oh, right now. Ooh, great great Tomahawk. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's not the combo. Yeah, I was uh, it's another up air there. No, it's another up air. Oh, I see. So maybe yeah, it's you do like a, like a slightly delayed up air into back air. Mm -hmm. Sonic up is a cool move, honestly. It is a very cool move. I'm, trying, I'm looking at this gameplay and I'm trying to find like a, a moment where Jazu can get like a big spin dash combo, but I'm just not it's seeing just not it. Happening, like yeah. Dexter is just an iron trap in defense, and uh oh, dash attack! Yeah, that's punishable. That's like minus a million. Yeah, I don't know so why. much end lag after that. I mean, thank God. <laughs> yeah, deserved. But also, I don't know. Dexter, Ooh, ooh. I kind of liked it, but I can't do anything off it, so Dexter will just take the seven. Yeah. You, I don't think you get anything off preparing homing attack, can you? Uh, certain characters, I imagine. Like, I'm sure Game & Watch can up be it. Oh, true. All right, we'll say this is looking like it's going to be a fa Ooh! Back great there, back. I don't know kill. how the get-up attack didn't beat it, but not able to close it out. But as I say that, gets the up smash on the jump from ledge. Catches the All right. Air. Even stops to see what Jusu can do with it. Oh, no. Dexter's always ready with those incredible wolf aerials. That extra was inspired. Nice. There we go. Finally getting a big Sonic combo. Dexter not pressing a button, so he gets hit by the, the back air there. Oh my god, he's just running into the spin dashes, and yep. Just was capitalizing every time. Exactly, this has gone even out of nowhere. Uh, Dexter, yeah, definitely held forward a bit too much, uncharacteristically, I would yeah. say. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's a big punish. Nope. No, it doesn't get the launching hit. Doesn't work. Hit. Sonic doesn't sucks. Work. Sonic does suck. Exactly. Mid. That's what I'm These mid tiers. Even matches with Donkey Kong. Dude, that evasion from Justin was so good yeah, to avoid a dash good. attack. Yeah, we get away another, from the wall. Another great homing attack. Oh, god, no, they are working. hitting now. So Dexter shields one of them. And then gets the defensive option. Oh, oh my cross god. Up. The cross up, yeah. And that's, that's going to be it. Yeah. yeah, it is. Dexter, bit of a scare, but able to do it. Great stuff to Justin, though. That was almost yeah. very, very Next, close. we got a Deathless versus player that's going to be Deathless. Deathless versus... Um, uh, Pink Fresh. Yes, Deathless versus the player that's going to be Deathless. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I believe in Deathless, man. I he's don't. a great player. All right, no, but... So true. Mm -hmm. I'm just I, happy I get to commentate player. him, so yeah. Oh, I will uh, he's be. such a good player that I think the person that beats him two times in a row should be the 19th seed. Were you actually the 19th seed? Yes. Dude, that's... I would have put you in, like... Like, you know, 13. I mean, I'm not better than like, you. I wouldn't have put myself higher than you because yeah, I know, you but beat I the put you like off of me. Yeah, I probably should have been higher, but it's fine. Okay, to I be didn't fair, prove it, so. that was the best I've ever played against you that one set. I don't that know if I'm ever very gonna do, I set. don't know if I could do I'm that again. I'm switching back to Smash Stick against you. That sounds good, yeah. No, the reason is because Tilt Stick just encourages me to play defensive, and I'm just, it's just uh, getting blown up by Kirby, and I don't really know why, but the defensive is just not working. Mm -hmm. Kirby's, I don't know, you're just faster than me. I yeah, Kirby has some good buttons. All right, but here we go. So I'm very excited because I don't know if Pink Fresh is going mains this tournament. I think he might be just. Lucina? I saw some Lucina earlier. Yo, I'm gonna be so happy if he goes Lucina. I think he should go Donkey Kong. He has a nice Donkey Kong. I swear to God, if he goes, does Kirby, he actually have a nice Donkey Kong? He's, he, I, th I think he has a nice Donkey Kong. I, I swear I've seen him play Donkey Kong once, and I thought it was cool. Someone's gonna have to remind me. I might be just completely Donkey lying Kong. here. In which case, I'm sorry, I'm a serial liar. But yeah, I think the word's pathological. <laughs> that would be it. Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, can we see? You, uh, can we see a Conky Dong? <laughs> No, I doubt it, though. I think he is going to be going Lucina. Unfortunate. Uh, well, actually, again, I don't know, because last grind, he did win using not solo Lucina, because I was the only person he pulled Min-Min out for. <laughs> you forced the Min-Min out of him? I forced the Min-Min out of him. I was the only person that entire tournament that he did not, that he uh, switched to Min-Min for, and then promptly destroyed me using it. Sounds bad for Kirby. Oh, Min-Min Kirby, I do not think is that good for Kirby at all. Uh, don't worry, again, there are Min-Mins like, out there that make you believe they lose every matchup. I know. It's not like just because like the zoning, but it is truly just because Min-Min is so good at two-framing, and that's the real killer for Kirby. Oh, that's well, why I think Korn's a worse, if, like, a really bad matchup. If I get hit off stage by Min-Min, I lose. Yeah, exactly. I simply die, but also if Min-Min gets hit off stage against B, she dies every time. Yeah, no, but like, like that's... without fail. Exactly. If you knock me off stage and I get hit by Ram Ram, I cannot recover again. My air dodge, my up oh, I'll recover again. Sniped. What? I will recover over and over and over because again until it blast zones, but yeah. I'll never get past it. Because it's no, so same, exactly. easy to time against Donkey Kong. It's same impossible with to mess it's, up. Dude, you wait for the audio cue, the yeah. instant you hear the... the you release it. Hand, you just you release it. All right, but speaking of Deathless's... Uh, 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 speaking of corn, Deathless might actually go corn here. He's been practicing with it a lot. It's pretty good, too. I mean, I beat it, but like, it's pretty good. Bro, if you beat it in Kirby Corrin... 
yeah, Kirby Corn's not the best, but that's because he wasn't uh, using pin uh, too much on my recovery. Uh, he had, again, his onstage game was incredible, but once I was offstage, he let me get back for free. And uh oh, uh oh, okay. Death was switching, going through all the uh, DLC stories right All now. the mid tiers. <laughs> yep. All right, we got a mid off with Cena versus Clown. Indeed, and let's get to it. So Pinkfresh is rocking the gold hair mid min. Let's go. Or sorry, gold hair uh, Lucina. Yeah. There's not a single mid min art. Mid min off that no, is not gold hair. Skin. Oh, it's starting a bad off skin. with uh, small battlefield. All right. Alyssa skin is a bad skin. What? All of Lucina's skins are based off of characters from I know, Fire Emblem Awakening. Sick. This is Lissa, yeah. and I do not support that. Oh, okay, fair enough. Because Lissa sucks. Yeah. I don't know. Tiki one goes hard, though. Tiki one, well, because Tiki's yeah, a Tiki's top awesome. character. Yeah, exactly. There she is. She gets her really. Just pick the Cordelia one. Actually broken character. Mm-hmm. Right, anyway, this is Smash Ultimate, not Fire Emblem. <laughs> I've, been play playing, Fire Emblem. I've been playing Lunatic Run, dude. so. Oh, you, I can't do that. That's, that's yeah, too, yeah. That's too much of my Lunatic. heart. I've beaten Lunatic. Yeah, that's, dude, I, I, wanna, I love Fire Emblem, but I can't play the games because I get two attacks from characters. Oh, Mrs. Perry, can't punish it. Oh my god, so far Death is though with a very strong lead. Yeah, it definitely looks good so far. And now let's see the Cloud Ledge Trap, and by that I mean back here, just nearing out of it though. Yeah. Pink Fresh just uh, calling out Death is uh, giving a bit too much respect to him. Yep, nice side B there. Mm. Run off counter. <laughs> Dang it. No, don't run off counter. It's gonna be hype. It'll work. Nice parry. Ooh, Ooh catch the shield as well with the grab. I like it. Oh, this is a really bad position. He's dead. Bro. Oh no, you want, you want to get fancy with it. Y'all gotta go edge guard Cloud. Simply Gimp Cloud. That wasn't even a Gimp, that, that was, was a Gimp. Cloud. He just yeah. couldn't recover. All Lucina's ults are terrible, Stitch. You gotta, you, you better, you better stop say, talking. Wait, what Lucina's is terrible? <laughs> uh, all Lucina's ults. There's some no, they good are not. Ults. Bro, First of all, the Cordelia ult is, is good. Yeah. The Tiki, the one tiki is great. also very good. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of the list ult, but yeah. Honestly, the Fire Emblem characters just look pretty clean, so most of their skins are probably fine. Yeah. Like Robin skins, very, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll say though, uh, Pink Fresh is trying to. Oh, is uh, that a jump gone? Oh no, it's not. Oh, but he should have killed him. Dude, he's like been off the mark on these edge guards, yeah. like barely so far. Very barely, yeah, for sure. Which means somewhere Which down the bad. line of the set, uh, Deathless is going to get edge guarded to high health, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. If Pink, what Pink Fresh misses in game one, he makes up for in games two and three, if there ever is one. Oh my God. Yeah, he, he's letting Cloud get back to stage a lot. Sorry, as this just it just hurts me as a Donkey Kong player to ever let Cloud recover. Mm -hmm. He's not difficult to edge guard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this still doesn't recover. Dude, it's actually it's way worse than you think. It's really easy to contest. Because by basically by the time he gets high enough, there's not a hitbox anymore. And yeah. it honestly it recovers a little bit worse than you expect. Oh, and so that's yeah, it. Okay, dead. there we go. We're dead. Yep, you're dead. Bye bye. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That should be happening every time. Exactly. Every so time. I think we might see the corn pick from Deathless now. I think we might see the or Sora. The he has a Sora? I guess that is a Sora. He got top eight with Sora at one of these. Uh, that's actually hype. All right, let's go Deathless. No, it's not. Sora I, sucks. I, Sora's lame. I know. Sora, Sora doesn't lame. suck. Sora is broken. lame. I will admit. Sora does not suck. He is lame. I put Sora higher than Game & Watch on my tier list. That's actually crazy. All right. I can give you. I, I can, can send it to you later. I can send it to you later. Mm -hmm. I made it a couple days ago. Because mm -hmm. Booga asked me to. Oh, okay. Man, I still... Like, dude, Sora is like the only character I'm good at that I can't make hype. <laughs> I'm so, yeah, I feel Sora so bad. Has I play no Sora. Sauce. Sora I play, has no sauce. Exactly. I play Sora in front of like I win and I don't feel good about it. <laughs> if you ever pick Sora against my Donkey Kong, no, no, that's grounds for you to like just is... piss the cuffs in the parking lot. I understand. No, that, that's grounds to pick Incineroar. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, fair enough. I, I have PTSD Which is a punishment to all people ever. Yeah, maybe I'll go with that against you next time, Bracket. Mm -hmm. Of course, you'll beat it, but I don't know about that. I like keeping my 1-0s. Yeah. Oh my god, that downer yeah. was actually very, I like very that, close. I like that attempt, yeah. Nice down tilt. Mm -hmm. Up air. True combo. Not true combo. It was a true combo. <laughs> so true. Oh my god, oh he just did it. Oh my god. Okay, so Deathless was what we like to call the Leo landing, which is get really, really lazy and land right in front of them and then get an air flip kicked by Mars at Genesis 7. <laughs> no offense yeah. to MK Leo, but he do be lazy landing. Exactly. I think Deathless was expecting Pinkfresh to, or, uh, to respect just wait the, for something. Yeah. Yeah. I to think. respect the limit a bit too much, but Pinkfresh's like, I don't care that you're glowing blue. We got that. You're dead. Yep. Yeah, the Pinkfresh scene is kind of nice. It is very much so. And he goes for I will say he goes for Shield Breaker a lot. He I loves mean, that move. Uh, especially ledge like trap. nothing. There is no ledge trap. Or so throw. Just all over Deathless. I don't feel like Deathless has gotten a single neutral win this set, this uh, game yet. Yeah, honestly, it really doesn't feel like he has. Oh, wait, no, he got down tilt. Actually, that was his fan. He's definitely his advantage. Oh, man. Oh, oh good downer. Not enough to take it, though. Living at 124 as well. percent. That sucks. <laughs> this is the roll. Pink Fred roll got a pink for, I think, the third time in a row now. And not Ooh, double parry. Love to see it. This forward air as well. 
Wow, that time, I think, oh, yeah. yeah. A little bit late on the reaction there. Yeah, you can see Deathless was actually anticipating a forward tilt or forward smash mm -hmm. right there with that approaching air dodge. Able to get out of the blender, though, and now down throw side B. Yeah, that's a combo. No, it's not. I said it was. Wait, what? <laughs> There's no way that's a thing. There's no way. Well, I, I it hit on my screen, so. It did it. You know what? It was a combo in that scenario. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. We'll say, though, Deathless, he can take this as long as he doesn't get edge guarded. Get edge guarded. Sometimes you get edge guarded because you played. A mid tier. I mean, that's the contract you sign whenever you pick Cloud uh, yep. Strife, so. Yes, sir. Also, I like the I like the Genova, or not Genova. This oh, is let Genova. the battles begin? Yeah, this one, whatever the song this No, song I think is. this is. No, this, this is, is Genova. Genova. This yeah. is Genova. This okay. is Genova. I just had to wait for that line to come in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a great song. <laughs> and I love it when players pick songs to power themselves up. Yes. I, it, it's not really working to the best effect right now, but. It's closer than last in, game? Yeah, I believe in Deathless. I believe in the, the game three. Oh my god, that was so good. The patience from Pink Fresh there, mm -hmm. just sharking Deathless there on the platform. Missed punish back throw. Just up B. Yeah. Oh, but that's oh, big. Oh, missed timing. <laughs> yep, dude. Looking over. He's Don't want to call it just yet, but oh my gosh. And out gamed. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Pink so apparently down throw side B is not a combo. You can just DI out. So yes. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, thank you, Stitch. Thank All you, right, Stitch, for was... verifying that Pink Fresh doesn't know how to DI. Oh no. No, I'm All joking. Right. Pink Fresh is so much better than me. <laughs> That we can critique him, you know? We know. Yeah, we yeah, see things course. he does it because he's at the pinnacle. We can see what he misses at the very bottom. Yeah, you know? of course. All right, we'll say, though, great stuff for, de uh, for Deathless. I have no doubt he's probably going to be top eight. Yeah, that's me. So, me, K24. K24. Wish me luck, everybody. This is going to be a cheese like paradise. Like a 14 seed versus the, like, 11 seed or something? 12 seed? 11? I know K24 was, like, 14. Yeah. Because I was 19, and we played in the, in the round, which I think it's 14-19. All right, we got K24 versus IRLC coming up next. Kirby versus Luigi. After seeing all of these top tiers. Top tiers, top tiers, top tiers, and Pit, not a top tier. Which ones? Steve? Oh, Kirby, DDD, and Meta Knight? And Pit? Yeah, they're all bad. Yeah, was like, hmm, what if I was preferred and then sacrificed? Uh, Kirby was good for one game. Meta Knight was good for a game. Yeah. He was okay. And then he was okay, like, bro. Sakurai. <laughs> no, 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 no. What are you doing? He's like, okay, fine. fine. I miss Brawl Meta Knight. Brawl Meta Knight's sick. Yeah, he was actually back when top tiers were fun. Yeah, Remember that's, that's that? true. And I now our top tiers are Steve. They're optimal. Well, I mean, Kazuya is pretty fun too, but you know, command inputs. That's a certain Yeah, I don't, have, I don't have like time to go into the training room. And then Pyramid, there are like close to that, but they're too. I think Myth is fun. Jelly, yeah, you know? they are a little bit too simple. It's like, what if I. Though I do play Donkey Kong. Oh, so I don't really yeah. know if I can <laughs> say that a character is a little bit too simple. You play Smash Bros. still. That's the thing. I always like I to do. say that. I do. I have three... to play neutral. I have to win neutral. Yeah, there are two types of characters in this game the kinds that play Smash Ultimate and the DLC characters. <laughs> the kinds that play Smash <laughs> Ultimate and the time that has Nair that plays the game for you. What if I was arms? Speaking of <laughs> right. arms. Kirby's gonna have to get an arms rank, uh, yeah, to uh, do any type of damage. Both of these characters will yes. actually. So IRLC definitely knows this matchup What's because he's played like? K24. I have no idea what the matchup looks Ooh. like. However, he's played a million sets against Diz, I'm sure, because they're both UMD. Both go to Fest. I can't forget them. Should actually go to one of those. You should go to one of those. They're very fun. Yeah. It's a good time. Campus is huge. Oh my goodness. You're dead. Life is over. You're dead. Kirby. Kirby sucks. All right. <laughs> hey, J. John, J. John won that one tournament. He did win player. that one tournament after getting a bunch of clutch last eight game fives yes. in a row. Kirby has to work for it, but uh, every other character has to work a little less for it. What was I saying? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, point? Um, anyway, almost got a forward smash there. Kirby's trip for the down tilt is usually the clutchest thing about them. Let's see if we can get it again. Yes. Oh my god. I respect it. Back to camp. Yeah, let's see if that up B will actually come into play as Kirby's only projectile is the little shot that comes out. Ooh, catches the slide off the eye. Looks like it did come in clutch. It did come in clutch. So Ian, as someone I've played against him like a million times, we've played so many times in bracket, he loves Kirby up B and he thinks it's a really good move. Yeah, it I don't know if I agree, is. but honestly it is. Oh, oh, watch out! You're dead! He messed it up. Well, at least he didn't die. That's what happened at least he the didn't die. Blast on his condition. Not throw down B. He DI'd it wrong, he thought it would go through. With any other character, I'd say you need upbeat to kill in that situation. This is Kirby. Yeah. And Luigi has a frame one invincible down dude. He does. So don't try any of those almost combos. 
Kirby's forward throw. What an angle that a combo throw sends out. Like, what an interesting angle where it just slightly bounces you up, but then mm -hmm. you fall down before your opponent. Usually that's not how combo throws work. It's pretty cool. Cor Kirby forward throw is pretty cool. Yeah. Until you get combo to like 85 because you main Donkey Kong. Yep. Should have been smaller. Should have not had a frame <laughs> four air dodge. Why did they do that? So, oh my god! So do Jesus that. Christ! No kill spark or anything. Hit us back with the just smash dead. four days. Yeah, just the kill spark showed up and people died and there was no fanfare. Yeah, this is true. Now we have a kill spark that locks your di in place, and so you can't react to, you. to it. Don't and it does it. lie to you. But like when also, Incineroar hits you with side view with yeah. revenge, and it doesn't even send you into the ma into the <laughs> the hourglass the or whatever. Like that's so cool. The you have the seventy five percent doing move. You're still alive, by the way. You're still alive, by the way. Didn't it look cool? But it did look cool. Yeah. And also, for some reason, it locks your DI in place. So instead of like having the, the hit lag to react to DI, no. as soon as you get hit, your DI is locked. You should have decided better. Yes, correct. But you, were, also, you were holding forward in the Pikachu dash attack, dude. You died at 100. Fun fact about that is that it also gives you an infinite tech window. So if you ever get spiked yes. down and you're on Kalos, you can simply just hold the R button and you will always tech. Mm -hmm. That won't come in a clutch because we're on PS2, because we are uh, in DBA, but... We are cultured gentlemen That's that right. play on Pokemon Stadium 2. I love this shade of green. What are you doing down there? No! Dying, probably. What are you doing down there? K24 takes the first stock again. K24 is playing really hot this tournament. Yeah, very... He beat me, yeah. and then he beat Squid Plumber. What, really? Oh man, I forgot that Yeah, he part. did 2 of Squid Plumber and it was not close. Yeah, and Squid Plumber was locking into the mojo, but... You're dead. Yeah, K24 Good. simply locks in faster. It looks like IRLC might be getting locked out of winner's bracket. Yeah, this, this looks... Uh, as it has. But hey, J. 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 was in these exact same situations. Ooh, and nice Kirby snare. is a character that uh, can make low, it happen. Low. This is how it starts. I don't know if you can make it happen against Luigi. Well, just the time, it's time to take four fireballs to get out of that grab death percent. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank goodness that was uh, turned yeah, around. Right. You ever just have like a very clear, very like reactable, I'm going to get this person punished combo moment, and You're then you just don't get it? Well, K24 can't relate to that. Except for when they can, because... That How did that beat that? Oh, oh, oh it should have been up the eye there, right? It really could have. And You're it dead. might be. You're dead. Never mind, we don't even He's fine. need it. Lying. Oh, Shouts yeah. to Rivals of Ether, where it never <laughs> lies to you. Yeah, right. I don't know oh, how they dead. coded that, but it's just right. It's oh You're not dead. No, you are dead. Oh. Now you might be you're, dead. You're foolish for contesting Luigi. At the moment. Yeah, Luigi will say, you will always press the button and be right. And just like that. He lives. Yeah, I don't. Why does this game keep lying to me? Rivals would never. Rivals never lies. Rivals wouldn't have kill sparked. And oh my goodness, this is the most terrifying situation yeah, you can find yeah. yourself in. 155. 100. It's Kirby's knife supposed to be breathing at these percents. Oh my god, did you just try to misfire? Sure, that was supposed to be down B. Uh, I think that we're getting a little cheeky. I mean, we've seen Taunty get body situations, but I, don't see I feel it. like K24 I don't see it, <laughs> is, can, can say this one's very okay. much up. We should stop talking. We, Hold. We're spreading the curse. Don't get of down B out of combos. We are literally commentating Curse of Rock. No, I need to summon the Ian Wind. <laughs> He's my boy. I need to summon him for the victory. Wait a minute. No, nope. you're silly. You're you silly. It. You can't. You Why it. did you mash? Why did you mash into Kirby the Luigi? Kirby die hard. Almost as hard as this match was for Kirby and IRLC. All right. A team that's usually stronger, but K24 is just playing clean tonight. What's happening? He is, and he obliterated a couple of those stocks, and that's all it takes. Yeah. What if I down aired and then naired and then down aired and then down aired again? Yeah. And then did weak back air or nair or, or forward air or back air or, or zare. Or zare, yeah. Remember when we saw the or, game for the first time? Or even nothing at all. Just land after the down air and still it all works. And you will see the kill spark and death will occur afterwards. And it's like, yeah, I'm glad Luigi gets that. I I'm also the days glad. of uh, we saw zare. We're like, we've killed Luigi. We finally nerfed him. He's done. And then we saw the. Uh, Pivot grab, and it was all over from there. And then it never happened. And speaking of ending, man, I'm good at these segues. Um, my time on comms has ended, as that is, in fact, my Oh, is that you? Yeah. Lori versus Dexter. So wish Hot me set. luck. Pray for me. Kendrick Lamar, something, something. Kendrick o. Lamar. I will try to make this work. I believe in you. Oh, no, dude. Ian has to play against Sonic. Oh, no. Kirby Sonic. Yeah. Right, you got this, Glory. I believe in you. 
Have fun playing your 30 minute set of Pit Wolf. <laughs> Let's go! Rivals is better than Smash. This is their public service announcement to play Rivals of Ether and Rivals 2 when it comes out. We got hot set though. We got Dexter versus Glory. If this is anything like the Glory versus Cheddar set that we saw all of 40 minutes ago, it's gonna be a long one. We might be in for the long haul here. We have good character versus bad character, and it's gonna be slow and campy probably. Oh, Palm Master beats Squid Plumber. Squid Plumber's out at 13th place. Interesting. Game one looks like we're going to the best stage in the game. No, we're not. We're going to Smashville. Acceptable choice in Captain Song here. And as long as it's not the afternoon or the evening, this is a great stage to go to because it's not orange in the background. But we got game one, Whoa. Dexter, Wolf, Glory, Pit. And we're off. So expect to see some slow maneuvering game, though we are in Smashville, so expect to see a little bit quicker than Dexter versus Cheddar, or Glory versus Cheddar. But I think we're gonna just kind of see a lot of maneuvering and spacing in the neutral game. Oh, what a quick start there from Dexter. He's already got him in the corner. Nice and air drop down, tries to get the roll in, but Glory doesn't give it to him. Nice back air into the dash tack. But an air forward tilt as well from Dexter just to get out of disadvantage with that aerial. Hits land, or Wolf's landing aerials. Very, very good at getting out of combos, especially that in there. Nice side B there from Dexter, the little low angle. Nair ledge trap. Comes back on with the Nair. Dexter missing, I think, the parry there. Nice Nair. Ooh, good back air pick up there from Glory. Very ready for it. Trying to shark him with the up air, but not quite able to. Dexter gets back down with the Nair, and we got another sharking situation with that Smashville platform. Nice up smash there from Dexter, taking the stock even on Smashville. Dexter using this platform really well to maneuver in the neutral game. But this time, Glory taking advantage of his moment on the platform to catch him. Dexter messes up the recovery, and we're back to an even game here. For air. Glory finds himself on the ledge. Put himself in the corner, and Dexter's gonna try and keep him there. Nice laser. Another laser. Ooh, misses the punish on the roll. Nair not comboing into fair. Great SDI and DI from Dexter to get out of the combo. Down tilt, dash tack. But not able to get anything off the ledge trap. Dexter have doing a very good job getting off ledge. But Glory still keeping himself relatively even here. And a nice nair to push Dexter off stage, but this time Dexter goes high. Glory, nice tech chase with the dash tech there, barely able to get it. And the arrow as well, not quite getting the frame trap on the landing. Dexter comes back down with the nair, and the run of smash just barely not able to kill off the top. Oh my god, Wolf is the best character in the game, confirmed. That was ridiculous. So I think so far in these games, we've been seeing a lot of uh, Dexter getting the ledge traps and Glory not really answering in kind, but a great back air catching the jump get up. And then the uh, arrow forward air getting the edge guard as well. Dexter only with the black zone damages as lead. We get the up throw up air. And now we have that ledge trap back again. Nice, keeps him on, in the corner and the laser catching the higher jumps from Glory, but a fire off ledge. He's still kind of sitting in the corner here. He's trying to fight back out of it. He's not quite able to. The down smash is not going to kill. However, oh, Dexter spacing the down smash there, and Glory able to stay alive. Gets back with the Nair. Okay, not quite able to. Fair Bear just barely not connecting. Another back air there from Dexter. Ooh, but he gets through the down smash. With up air there on the higher ledge option from Glory, and the juggling begins. Ooh, a bad up smash there from Dexter. Gonna get punished here. He's got the juggle and a nice up air. No fastball air dodge. Comes down with a nair. And we kind of reset to the neutral game here. Punishing the arrow with the dash grab. 
Nice, forward air there, delaying the recovery and a good roll away from Dexter though to get off that pot. I think this kills. It does, just barely killing. Nice game one there from Dexter, but Glory definitely keeping it close. We could be seeing quite a few games in this here set. Elsewhere in the bracket, Deathless versus DJ Shoryu for top eight. IRLC versus Kimboyachi for top eight. Just Woo, for Paul, Just Woo and Paul Master for top eight. Cheddar versus Amadeus making a nice little run here with Robin. Definitely not a commonly seen character. Three, two, one, go! All right, game two. Small battlefield. Down throw dash tag. Forward tilt, yep. Nice recovery there from Glory. How does he get off the ledge here? Yup. Goes a little bit too low and gets the down smash. Dexter missing that. Okay, down or out of shield. Not gonna be able to get anything off it though. Dexter really utilizing his character's strong tools here to just deal a little bit more damage than Glory in a lot of these situations. Nice laser there for 15. Nice forward dash attack though. He catches the high recovery. Dexter with a great side B though. Gets back to the stage and the ledge trap begins once again. Up smash. Does it? connect because this game doesn't function. Nice down air there from Glory. You have the get off me option. Oh, gets another one of those reflected. Oh, just lands right in front of him. A little tomahawk from off the stage. But Dexter's recoveries have been so hard for Glory to lock down. I mean, if we see one or two more edge guards or just extra ledge trap scenarios from Glory, it could be very advantageous. It's a nice nair. Nice, gets another nair. And that's what I'm talking about. He's got to Got to be able to capitalize on the Wolf's lackluster recovery with Pitt's very good edge guarding options. Nair fair. Not quite able to get anything else off of it. Not going to be able to up smash out of shield that. But Glory not able to get anything because of the platform there. Dexter with great DI to tackle that platform and make his landing and combo game ambiguous. Nice run up grab. Catches Glory shielding after an aerial. But not really able to get much off of it other than the up air. We kind of Glory been doing a very good job of getting out of normal disadvantage. The ledge has really been the only place where he's lost a little bit of ground. He's been getting out of dis normal disadvantage pretty excellently. He's definitely not being getting juggled by Dexter. Nice fair dare though. Not gonna kill though. Gets the down smash, and that is just unfortunate for Pit. Relatively easy to time for Wolf against Pit. Nice, Tomahawk there from Glory. Oh, but Dexter baiting him into the platform then goes around with the back air and we finds himself back in the neutral game here. Dexter trying to push the advantage, but a nice down smash there from Glory. Sending Dexter off stage, down air, and Dexter misses the tech. Glory hanging on here in game two. Small disadvantage and finds himself in the corner. Nice laser there from Dexter to keep him there. That outside shot of shield has not been working very much for Dexter in this set. Glory's aerial is just barely safe enough to get around it. Nice back air there from Dexter. Nair off ledge though, but amazing DI once again from Dexter, utilizing that platform to get out of these combos. Not gonna be able to punish that. But nice laser there catching the dash back. And laser arrow the catching the dash back. As we kind of jockey for positioning here. Glory having to play a little bit more defensively because Dexter's options are going to start to kill very soon and they're definitely sending off stage. Nice fair. Uh, no fair bear though, and a nice landing fair there. Tries to catch the tech in, but Dexter going around him there. Using Guardian Orbiter as well. Nair off ledge gets forward tilted. What incredible spacing there from Dexter to get around Glory's ledge options. Roll get up. Oh, just barely gets away from that Wolf dash tack. Wolf, a relatively slow character, not quite able to catch it. Forward throw, he missed the tech, and Dexter catches up with the dash tack to take game two. Another solid game, but not convincing. Glory definitely looks like there's some moments where he can get in this. He got that uh, the edge guarding, and he's been able to land relatively well, but he's struggling in the ledge. And honestly, Dexter's definitely having a better command over the neutral game. All right, game three. Glory with the pit. Once again, same matchup. And back to we are going house preview. Town and city. Nice, goes around it. I love it. Surprised to see town and city and see him not switch elect to switch to dark pit. 
you could use that Psybe to cheese a little bit harder on this stage. An upper dash arm, not really going to kill, but also Glory hasn't gone for them this set other than to recover. What's the ledge option? Kind of gets back, but he's still a little bit in the corner. Oh, but now kind of the position's flipped here, but Dexter gets in with that forward air. Nice nair. Not able to get anything off of it. Dexter's DI on these combos is so good that Glory's not able to get big openings. Nice nair fair up air there from Glory, but gets down with the Guardian Orbiters. Get out of disadvantage free. Nice nair there from Dexter. The spacing from Dexter has just been incredible to stock. He's got a huge lead to show for it. Oh... Messes it up, but he does somehow live that. I'm surprised Dexter didn't kill him for it. Just comes back with that aggressive forward air. Ooh, out the base attack check really well. Back throw. Dexter using the platform once again. Dexter's platform uses has been excellent this set to get out of combos and get out of disadvantage. A nice parry there from Glory. Wow. Forward throw. Puts him off stage. It's the option. Nothing. Dexter comes back, gets over and with the with the back air and takes the first stock. He's near there from Glory, but down or off ledge. Out there, dash tag. Okay, reflects the laser there. A little bit of damage. Ooh, landing with the upper dash arm there is Glory. That's back in the back air, able to catch Dexter's landing option. And he's able to keep it even once again. A falling up air gets a ton of damage here for Dexter. Forward air. Oh, not able to get. Really just Dexter not giving Glory big openings and punishes. He's making really earn it through advantage state and neutral. Nice dash check though. This time not able to catch the landing once again and Dexter just gets out of it taking one hit. Nice Nair. Ooh, okay. Nice spot dodge jab there from Glory. Got him in the corner here. Is he able to keep him in the corner? No, he's not. The Nair's trading with each other. Oh, just barely missing the timing there is Dexter. Goes for the trump, but Dexter rolls through it. You're dead. Pit never learning how to read. Dies off the top with a smash. Why did we pick this song? Right, anyway. Dash check. Arrow. Dexter's recovery. Very good there. Forward air. Ooh, just barely not catching it. Great spacing there from Glory. Gets back in with that Nair. But once again, not able to get the edge guard on Dexter that he needs. A good Nair there, catching the spot dodge. Oh, he's alive. Misses the down air there, does Dexter. Dexter doing a great job here, getting the juggle. But Glory able to get back down, reset the neutral. Nice arrow there, just a little bit of poke damage there. Just tries to build Dexter with kill percent. Forward smash, not quite working. Looks like he's getting a little bit desperate, but a good back air there pushes Dexter off stage. Nope. Dexter's ledge options have just been incredible so far this set. Glory not able to extend it. And the back air goes off stage, does Dexter. 3-0 for Dexter. Very convincing set. Played a lot of really solid neutral, got a lot of the ledge traps, and really did not give Glory anything in the juggles and ledge trapping scenarios. I'm going to go head out.
Bajo. All right, what's good, y'all? Hopping onto the mic with... Hello, Semi. Hello, there we go. All right. Here Diving go. directly into it, Winter Semis. Pink Fresh, K24. Coming, how's it going? Going pretty good. How about you? Not too bad, not too bad. I think we both got here a little late. Yes, we did. <laughs> bright in time for this set. Though. And right in time for Pink Fresh to put K24 in a really awkward spot. I feel like that's yes. kind of going to be the matchup. If K24 can come back from those, then the matchup gets a lot more difficult for Pink. Indeed, indeed. This matchup's weird because... um. You'd think Luigi would never get in, but um, all it takes is one, just one opening, exactly. frankly. Yeah. And that's kind of like Luigi. In theory, this character has no winning matchups, but right. somehow he just kills everybody in one hit. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Pink's doing a good job, though, of being in the air lock, because Luigi can't grab, really, when you're that high up. For sure. Definitely one of the weaknesses of the character, but Mimin not necessarily one of the best characters to take advantage of that, given the uh, right. not phenomenal air kit. That's so smart, not throwing a second arm. Mm -hmm. Always want to keep one of those in the back pocket. Can't oh, even yes. get the Zare into the dash tag either, so KT4 really struggling. Uh -oh. But down throw into, we just getting the down air, actually. So KT4 a little bit of a freestyle there. Trying mm -hmm. to get the reset off of the missed tech, potentially. Ooh, wow, that fireball clanked with uh, the arm. Oh, that was so smart. A good DI from Pink stops from being spike. I also appreciate how Pink isn't, like, tossing out panic options in those positions. Yes. Like, he was somehow ready with the appropriate DI in that spot. Yeah, it shows his poise as a player. He's been playing for so long. Agreed. Rolls into the Megawatt, and then in a really awkward position, he's going to go off stage. Nope, just setting up the edge trap. Not recognizing that you're not getting the two frames. Just try again. Yeah, this is just... Just, just getting walled out consistently over and over here. That, that is how you have to play against Luigi. Indeed. Keep the demon away. And oh, then man. do not allow him to come back from off stage. <laughs> exactly. No drift in those positions are going to get you out of those spots. Yeah, especially if Luigi's air. Oh, just gets grabbed out of the air. Well, that's the first sock there. Finally. So K24 now in a position where it's potentially an even game. Just simply get a grab. All these two of them. <laughs> immediately. Immediately. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Good good uh, little DI option right there from Pink Fresh. Not going to get caught up with the air grab at zero. Oh. Spoke too soon. Oh, Mimmin. A little heavy there. Slightly, for sure. Definitely, that felt like another 5% pick was dead. Yeah, exactly. Please get up, Bede. Yes, yep. sir. All right, even game. Like we said, it looks like Luigi just struggles, but then... Suddenly, it's even. <laughs> <laughs> and Pink is just not willing to be on the ground right now Ow. against K24. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought that was going to be a Zare Zare. I was Zare worried. Grab, yeah. I was worried. Oh, it might be his combo? Oh, oh wow. Up. I mean, it feels like K24 kind of getting battered around the entire game, and then 40 seconds, he's taken <laughs> two stocks and has Pink Fresh in an incredibly disadvantageous position right here. Uh oh, that might be it. Oh, what? No, no down beat. I don't think it would have killed at 110, but instead the down that smash does. That was such a good down smash. What? Covering roll and just sitting there. What happens? <laughs> that. I'm sitting, I am like, I am stunned on that because oh, yeah. I'm sitting there, Pink Fresh has control, right. Pink Fresh has the tempo, Pink Fresh has the momentum, and then all of a sudden, Pink Fresh ain't got no nothing. exactly. Just one grab, and all of a sudden, everything just fell apart. And like. Script was flipped. <laughs> I've been really impressed with watching uh, K24s come up. I feel oh, like yes. part no. of it was the execution. Mm -hmm. Like, K24 has gotten so much better at following DIs out of down throws so that it's no yes. longer just, oh, mix them up and get out of the combo. Right, no, he will follow your DI and he will kill you off of it, Agreed. like, no matter which way you go. But final D, this is, now you've got Pink Fresh angry because Pink Fresh just counterpicked. Yes, which that never, that very rarely happens with him. And for final D to be available too, that's kind of surprising because this is kind of the min-max, min-min matchup. 
Yeah, I know, right? Well, it makes sense because Luigi, you can't be in the air and sit in platforms against him. So I can see why it's available, but... But now this, we're kind of seeing the problematic aspect is that yes. no platforms available for Pink. Oh, oh no. no! You got your lunch no. money taken. Dog only had five dollars in his pocket. K24 taken the credit cards, the license, everything. So tragic. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this matchup is even. <laughs> Nick District has things to say, and we might have to talk about that afterwards. No way! No, don't it happen again! No! No! He did it! No! Oh no! Please! Pink Fresh reeling back in his in chair. chair. <laughs> Two times in a row, oh, he gets oh, absolutely oh. wrong. Oh, no. This might be it. No, please. Oh. You get the re-grab. We're going for a little bit of something special right there. K24 didn't get the kill, but instead he gets oh the up B. Gosh. What a game. That was just tragic. I don't know what else to say. Nothing else. You can't really say anything else to describe that game. <laughs> that wasn't just tragic. That was a Greek tragedy right yes, there. Yes, it was. <laughs> that was incredible gameplay from K24. And a little bit of a wry smile right there. It's like, dang, I'm kind of nice with it, ain't I? <laughs> That's, yeah, take that little chuckle right there, K24. Yeah. You earned he it. He did earn that chuckle, indeed, mm -hmm. indeed. Can you do it again, though? Are we going Final D again? That's the other question. We actually there. are going Final D again. Okay. I saw it. So good mental reset potentially from Pink Fresh. Let's here's hope that the second verse is not the same as the first. Indeed, indeed. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, it's on to a combo. It's gonna pick the roll away. You get me out of there. Exactly. <laughs> the immediate roll away. Luigi doesn't have the best ground speed neither, so you can just kinda do that and just yes. get the heck out of dodge. Good jump away yet again from Pink Fresh. He's choosing really good options at a disadvantage, but yep, so but far, K24. There. Yeah, good combos. Ooh, okay. Didn't know his uh, extension. K24 has been working on his extensions a lot, by the way. Like different ways into the upbeat. That's what he told me. I, I think the uh, Witch McCall, the, the best Luigi for that on my book, easily Guy Guy. Guy yes. Guy is nuts. The minute that he hits like a weak oh hit my up God. neutral air or like an up tilt, you're just dead no matter what. Indeed, indeed. Guy Guy is a legend. Does get the forward air, can't get this air afterwards, so instead gets full stage control. Pink Fresh, great megawatt at a disadvantage yet again. Putting K24 in a two frame situation, not going for it, instead just going for the edge trap, but reverses the wrong way with a megawatt hammer. Yeah, I'm shocked we're not seeing more two frame attempts here from uh, Pink. Yeah, it is surprising. Going for the um, edge trap instead, Ooh, but gets the, the up tilt smash there. It. Was that an up tilt? That was just an up tilt, yeah. Wow. A little bit of knockback growth definitely helping out Pink Fresh in that spot. Oh, yes. Now the plunger clanking through the arm, putting them in a precarious position here. And K24 being super aggressive off stage, I'm really digging that. Just tossing down the Zare and then jumping off stage. Typically, you don't see Luigi edge guard, but uh, I think he's died twice now for that Megawatt F smash ledge. Yeah, two times in a row, going for a little bit of an extension. Not working out. Oh, oh. no! Pink, the one time where Pink Fresh decided to commit to shield doesn't die <laughs> off of combo. it though. A little bit of a mix-up SDI at the last possible second. Yes. Uh-oh. Misses the tech again? Oh, no. Pink Fresh is laughing Just again. Just laughing it off. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing you can do here. What can you do in that situation? Exactly. Gets the standard get-up yet again. Luigi recovering super low, not trying the two-frame, so instead calling out the jump of the Megawatt. Not going to work out. Good up smash, though, from Pink there. Really good uh, stuff. Recognizing how it's on safe and shield. Now we're back in even game, but... We said earlier, even game. All takes one grab. Oh. Great roll away that time. Not committing to shield. Pink Fresh guessing appropriately. Oh, good air dodge there. Not jumping. Newman was he was waiting for that jump from Luigi. Oh, he actually committed a little bit too hard right there with that second option. He didn't wait to see what Pink Fresh's options were. He thought he had to confirm. I'm shocked. So he keeps jumping from Legend, just getting past these grounded smash attacks here from Newman. Normally, like, it catches a lot of characters, which was uh, shocking me there. Great down air now from Pink Fresh, just keeping K24 at a distance. I don't think we have to worry about a zero death uh -oh. attempt. No, the grab. no grab? Yeah. I kind of want to see a little bit more walking from K24. It feels Agreed. Like he tries to dash forward when the Zare clanks with an arm. If he just walked and then shielded the second arm, he'd be good, but. Yeah, he would be good. That's a very good observation there. Oh, the parry? Oh, good from Pink, yep. 
Rising forward air, pink punished that two or three times in a row with the up smash. Yep. Just, it's usually safe. But usually. the problem is Luigi's drift is so bad. Mm -hmm. you, if you don't space it absolutely perfectly, if you end up like on top of Min Min, like we saw right there, you're vulnerable to that up smash. Oh, yeah. So there's just no getting past it. You have to be like pristine perfect that spacing. Yep. It's really hard to do as Luigi, especially in that situation. Exactly. Yes. So with no drift. Oh, yeah. All right, so back on to Final D as K24 locked in with the character and stage counter pick options. I, I respect going back to Final D. It seemed to work. It worked out just fine, Game Two. Do you think if we if we hit like a Game Five situation, there's any merit for like a last chance mix up with Marth um, or Lucina? That's another awful matchup for Luigi. K24 is up 2-0 though. True. Oh, so I'm saying you pick saying. fresh ones. This one just toss him the curveball if it's close. Ah, uh, I see. Um, I think that I think. I don't think he's going for it. going to go for it right now. I always, always got to go ahead and ask if we're doing True. the photo in here. Oh, speaking of which, 100 is the nil right now. Pink is just, oh. Zero to death. Zero to death, <laughs> yep. Nuts. Pink fresh again. Got him in the corner. Turns into a game of rock, paper, scissors, and uh, Megawatt Hammer tends to beat all those options. Yep. Good combo there from Pink there. Megawatt to Megawatt arm. Oh, good down tilt to get out the corner there, because K24 just keeps, oh, good as hard. Oh, oh my gosh, misfire. misfire. True Luigi main at heart, for sure. But uh, might have given you a second chance at coming back here. But oh my gosh. standard get up called out again. Two zero, zero to that's, that's in a row. row. Pink Fresh, if you get a JV4 as Min Min, I'm going to be losing my mouth. Oh, okay, unfortunate. As soon as I talk about it. <laughs> as soon as you talk <laughs> about it. Pink is using a lot of these down tilts so to get out of these pressure situations from Luigi because he keeps, uh, K10 4 keeps doing forward air. And so he's just down tilting under it to get out of the way. Oh, good grab. That's it. That actually comboed at that percent, yep. too. That's the worst possible spot for Luigi to get back oh, to yeah. him in that, that position. That was an awful spot for Luigi, because how is he going to get out there? All yeah. right. So, uh, also, Pink Fresh definitely answered my question. Don't go Lucina here. Yeah. <laughs> it seems as though Pink Fresh might have figured one or two things out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's getting out the corner better, and then he's just... He started locking down those edge guards, is what really happened. True. Because in the other games that he's lost, he keeps missing the edge guards. It's a little off. Not that one. And even if he's, he doesn't get the edge guard, he's gotten the ledge traps. Yes, he's yes. Two times in a row, we're just like, standard get up gets killed by Megawatt. Mm -hmm. Also, I do want to note that in these positions, typically Pink Fresh had been responding to K24's grounded pressure by jumping yes. a lot. This time, he stayed grounded. Yes, he, he did. He just did the spacing a little bit better, so mm -hmm. that he was always at the max range so that he could toss out not just one, but two arms safely. Right. Exactly, exactly. And even getting out of the corner, he would stay grounded by using down tilt dash attack instead of just trying to jump out. Because Mimmon's also still in the air. All right, Battlefield? Interesting. So yeah, I mean, you can definitely go ahead and camp on these platforms sticking away from Luigi, but this does give K24 a couple more approach options. And it after does. that last game, I think it might need it. Yes, I completely agree. That rising fair just is not working out here. That was so good for K24 early on. Doesn't get the sweet spot of the down air either. So instead, solid damage, but no stock. Still good conversion here. It's still pretty even. Oh, good grab. This will be. This is a rough spot. This is a regrab, isn't it? Oh, I did barely miss it. Yep, good edge guard again. He's really nailing, locking these down. And then you have to deal as K24 with Pink Punch's ability to just go to that top platform and burn out mm -hmm. that info. Just get the neutral oh. air, but can't get the up tilt pickup. No. Was that a missed tech for Pink Fresh and just couldn't get it? Was, on yes. It was, yes. The calculated missed tech, perhaps? <laughs> Might have been, yes. Actually, would make sense. These standard get ups keep getting destroyed by Pink. He's really got. Oh, uh, K24's timing's down here. Oh. I thought it was going to be in our pivot grab. I was kind of thinking the same thing, to be honest. Gets the jump that time. Pink Fresh just absolutely in K24's head the second this dude's at edge. Oh, yes. That's grab. grab. We're going to get the Cyclone just barely connecting. And that, because it was at that lesser height, because yes. K24 couldn't do the double jump right there, max height, Pink Fresh survives easily with that DI. Yeah, especially on Battlefield. Counterpick working against him. Oh, that was so smart. But again, Battlefield just too big. And a weak hit back air. Not going to take the stock. And that will be sure, second with the roll down. Now, we've said earlier, this game look, is you know looking a little rough, but all takes one grab. One grab. 
But yeah. you gotta get your feet on the ground to actually toss out that grab. That's and true. so far, K24 is struggling. Indeed. And then he runs back to the corner because he's so <laughs> terrified. <laughs> oh god, Pink Fresh gave up like full stage control, and yes. K24 just dashed across stage. Finally, Pink Fresh tossed out that hitbox and get the side. Oh, trying to read uh, Pink Fresh's roll out of the corner, but Pink did not, not give. Oh, up tilt not connecting into anything of that low percents, but we do have a, a potential for a lot of damage right here. Full stage control. No, Pink actually DI'd in right there. Decided not to take the ledge. Ooh, interesting jab. He's going for getting a lot more aggressive with these ledge traps now. Oh yeah, he's hitting buttons in the corner. Just immediately like down tilt into the neutral area, into the back area. Like, all right, one of these will hit, sure. Oh, that crossed up. Wow. I'm mad for pink I am, right I, there. I am too. The jab actually got the cross up. Oh, that's nuts. Uh oh. You're dead here, aren't you? Yeah, I think you're dead. I think you're dead. No, he actually DI'd behind him. That was good. Great DI, that DI from good pink. DI. That might just save him here. Yeah, like K24 did not mess up that combo whatsoever. That was a hard DI and SDI from Pink Crush to get the heck out of dodge. Still a very close situation, though. Can Pink bring it back? He does. The Zair actually gets knocked away by Pink Crush. So now K24 in the corner yep. and again calling out the jump of the Megawatt. Air dodge has been used, so Pink just needs to hit literally anything. But he can't. He can't. Those were good stalls from K24. Just barely, barely not get hit there by an arm. Stall from Pink Fresh now in oh the back air yet again. The hitbox barrage in the corner. And K24 with a massive upset. Massive, massive upset. Congratulations, to K24. Oh yeah, this would be K24's. I want to say first time in winners finals. It is. Yes, I think. It I don't is. think he's placed in top three yet. No, he is not. No, this is his first time. Congratulations. Wow. And beating Pink Fresh to get there too. Exactly. I mean, you always love to see these new folks mm -hmm. who've been putting in the time. Like uh, we, we talked about I uh, IRLC, yes, who yes. has the Kirby over here. Another player with those. I don't want to say low tier heroes, but certainly underutilized characters. Yes, yes, yes. That indeed. have been putting in a ton of work, and the glow up is real. Indeed, it keeps happening every week. Is what it seems like new players just. Turning up here at Xandu, coming through and just placing better than ever. Yeah, I mean, it is an exciting time in Indeed. Smash for sure. Yes. It's one of those people start to talk about, oh, maybe the meta solves. Like, we just saw Luigi beat a Min Min in exactly. <laughs> winner's semis. I don't want to hear a dang thing about the meta. Absolutely not solved at all. Mm -hmm. No, no way. All right, so who we got next? DJ Shoryu versus IRLC. So a little bit of Kirby action. Mm -hmm. And I, this is another character where um, I have opinions about Kirby and Luigi. Mm, I think they're they both very bad. You think they're both very bad? Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I, I think that I, I was around for like at the beginning of this game when uh, we had RK, the resident Kirby main, mm -hmm. okay. and I watched him outplay so many great players. And then all of a sudden, every single time a PR player would just like click, it's like, oh, I just don't interact with this yeah, character. Exactly. Does just, nothing. just don't do anything and then just run away. Ooh, Kirby Ryu. This would be an interesting matchup. Both these characters just want to get up close and brawl, but. Mm -hmm. Which one can do it better? So Ryu typically has a little bit of a better zoning game, a little yes, bit of better does. poke tools, and uh, we're going to see lots of shotguns too. Uh, this is this is a projectile matchup if I ever seen. Yep, there's your first one. Cuts the trip though, and solid damage on the platform. And that's a big strength of Kirby is that this character does damn it. Oh yes, gets hit once and that's that smash. Oh, good jump there from uh, Ch Ryu. So we've seen one Shaku right there and immediately gets hit out of it. It's, it's, it's so sad. Talk right. about the zoning option that Ryu has, but has had absolutely no opportunity to get anything going. Oh, wow. Good confirm there from IRLC, taking that first stock. Of course, gets the, the trip on the first hit as well. So something really important about Ryu is that Ryu likes to use a lot of focus tech, downbeat to get out of, uh, you know, bad situations, but he can't do it against Kirby because Kirby has so many multi-hits. And we've seen a couple of Shakus too getting ducked or like low yes. profiled by Kirby. Because he's just so short. And these aerial approaches too not working out. I'd like to see a little bit more like walking down tilt potentially. Yes, yes, to agreed. force out away from that ducking option. RLC spacing's pretty immaculate right now. Oh, there's no way Reg Garden Kirby there. Oh? Oh wow, falls out of it. And actually gets the pop up there so that IRLC is able to continue the combo and secure oh, the stock. What a fantastic edge guard. Does finally get the back hit, though, so not too far beyond the realm of possibility. Nah, it's it over. is beyond the realm of possibility. <laughs>
<laughs> immediate little bit of inhale shenanigans oh. off stage to end that game. Oh, man. Taking a moment, perhaps, as DJ Shorty right there. He was like, he had the 20 yard stare for a split second. Mm -hmm. Every I'll muscle was him. tense. He didn't move him Mu in a millimeter <laughs> as soon as that game screen popped up. Uh, that, that, that cheese never gets old, but it's. No. No, That's a little is. brother tech right there. Yes, it is. Taking a moment to consider his options, DJ Shoryu, and uh, rightfully so, it was a bit of a rough one. What did you mm. see in there, Gummy? What do you. Gummy. Gummy, excuse me. Yes. What do you see, actually, do you think? That, what could DJ Shoryu do to try to go ahead and turn that around? I think he needs to just stand a little, uh, you know, stay a little more grounded here against Kirby because he's just jumping a lot and just, uh, what's it called? Ours, you can see he's ducking around, ducking over things, and just. He's in the air. Every time he tries to land, he's getting hit, basically. Yeah, yeah. At the very least, if you want to get your jump ins, do short hops. Not these yes. full hops are a big problem. Exactly. No, very good observation. A little more even start here, though. Uh, he's trying to edge guard Kirby, but he just that final cover is way too big. Also, it feels like DJ Shoryu is is going through the puzzle that everybody gets when they fight Kirby for the first time. Yeah, it's like these moves are well spaced. How do I deal with them? Well, right. you don't. You I don't. see. Exactly. You just just free shield pressure. Exactly. It's like we could try to up the a couple of mana for shield, but uh, do you really want to stale that option? Right? You could also just keep it around to kill Kirby. We'll even hit Kirby when you flip pancakes. I that's I didn't think about. That. Short King privilege, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Uh oh, that was a beautiful yeah, grab, and I think dead, you might be dead, dead here. Yes, you are. He jumped, tried to jump out of the combo he instead. Did. The upbeat traded, and that's all she wrote. Indeed. Uh oh, no way. Okay. Oh, it does the uh, shock you the wrong way. Very unfortunate. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those so far. Does get the parry into the down tilt, but not too much out of it. I think DJ Shoryu here needs to confirm a little faster off his down tilts when he hits them. He's just doing a few too many, and RLC's SCI is really good here. True, at 104, this is definitely like just true Shoryu kills. Immediately. Yes, immediately, yes. Do it. Oh, that's oh, yeah. interesting. Well, you can make these comebacks, but IRLC is uh, it making it look a little bit difficult. Does get the hook, oh but crash underneath under it. it. No way. Is it scary? Oh, what a comeback. Just one string. One That's string. All that was it was. It. Just following Kirby's minimal aerial drift after the air dodge and recognize that, oh, I just, all I need to do is dunk the basketball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. That's all that's actually phenomenal play from DJ Shoryu. RLC was a. Uh, um, it's unfortunate there at the end, though. If RLC had just air dodged in, Ryu can only go one way. True. And so. Um, but you know, who's you're gonna pank in that spot very easily, so. Yeah, I mean also the the other option is that you're trying to dat DI out because perhaps he was worried about like that first hit up here mm. confirming a true shore. Sure, sure you is true, because if you DI in there, that's just confirmed. Yeah, exactly. Rough so spot I, to be in. Yeah. And definitely one of the big weaknesses of Kirby is no aerial drift and no quick aerial options means yes. it's really tough to get out of disadvantage. Indeed, indeed. Uh oh. Now we're seeing Kirby's strengths, of course, like you said, damage out the wazoo. 67 for nothing. Well, space on the back here. Actually going to be able to get something going there and even connect to the Shaku. That's been rather difficult here. Yes, it has been. Surprisingly difficult. Oh, oh again. Wrong direction one more time. That's it, yep. Until into the true Shoryu. Good inputs right there from DJ Shoryu. Yes, Curry's going to be dying super early in this matchup if he if IRC makes any mistakes. Just because he's so light. Well, that's a re-grab right there, and that's yep. going to get an easy dash attack. That easy. does hit under the edge, so it makes it a bit difficult in those positions once you've got those re-grab situations popping up. Yeah, DJ Shoryu has really uh, slowed down the gameplay here. He's playing a lot more projectile-oriented right now. Oh, good, good call, yep. Yeah, and he's just kind of recognizing these spots that if he picks his positions a little bit more carefully and doesn't just try to, like, full hop at Kirby, yes. the character is a lot, lot weaker. Exactly, exactly. That might have killed, actually, also very light character, so those slight charge on the Smash Attacks may very well send IRLC a bit of a message. Indeed, indeed. Uh oh, I think not yet, but the next one might actually be it. Good on RLC that he's still in the recover there. 
Oh my gosh, I actually hit him out of that. No. No. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> That's it. And a two stock right here. So the matchup adaptation from yes, DJ Shorty is so. playing. Start playing way, way more slowly. Start using a lot more, uh, you know, staying more grounded. No more full hops in. Make Kirby come to me. I have the projectiles. Kirby has to come to me to avoid those. Eventually, one will hit. Eventually, and that's that's the big difference right there is that you've got the time. Exactly. Like, IRLC has no ability to actually camp you out unless he just tries to like air camp you. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. Kirby air camping you on PS2 not typically something that you have to worry about. No, 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 not at all. Then we got a stage pick though. Change. Yep. Small battlefield, so similar platform layouts. Uh, I, and it's always a decent change of pace right here because I, I, I am a PS2 hater. Yeah, it makes sense from RLC's point of view because you want a little bit of a smaller stage so he can't get the, um, so he can't stay back as far as he was. Mm -hmm. Can't get the projectile pressure going as exactly. Easily. Does get one spike. We're going for double dips. No, misses out there. So, I was a little scared for RLC there. Will he ever make it off? I like that option from DJ Shore. He was posted up right there, facing towards the stage, threatening that spike yet again. Doesn't connect with it, but does get the true Shoryu. And again, sub 100 yes. is showing the weight differential between these two characters. Yeah, Kirby's dying so, so fast. Ooh, I don't think he meant to charge that. That is so unfortunate it fell out. Hey, sometimes multi-hits don't work. That's true. Oh, that was such a good... Reverse up smash from RLC. Definitely, and just great spacing right there. Indeed, Recognizing indeed. that GJ Shorty is probably going to land aggressively, probably going to toss out a hitbox and making him pay for it. I'm going to do some like fancy little platform setup right there. Mm -hmm. Wasn't he like landing up air? Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, no. It doesn't get the beer verse on the upbeat. Had good SDI to get out of the aerial, but uh, nothing much for cooking after that. Yeah. Last game was a two-stock, though, so DJ Shoryu definitely has the neutral to make this comeback. Indeed, indeed. If I was RLC, though, I'll try to make, you know, just wait here a little longer. Be a little more patient here at this point. Agree. Definitely test DJ Shoryu's yes. mental a little bit. Say, mm -hmm. hey, I got the lead. Do you actually want to run in on me again like you exactly. used to? Maybe you'll forget about that smart game plan. Oh, I was just going to say you should just do it. He toss it out for sure. But. Kirby keeps going under those F smashes from Ryu. So not enough, though, as he uh, gets true shuriken there. Oh, against the sour spot. Focus actually coming in clutch in that position. The back air not going to do it. Does put DJ in a really awkward spot. Has the double jump and the upbeat to make it back, though. Almost max rage Ryu. Max rage now. It's going to take one or two, just two exchanges, and Ryu's got it. But nope, that back air is going to seal the deal. Yep, just ran forward when he should have walked in that position. Could mm -hmm. not get the shield up in time. Perfectly placed back air to catch out that initial dash lag. Indeed, indeed. It really seems like Quiver gets a, um, the lead here, starts just running away with it right now in the set. Yeah, it, it definitely has looked a little bit rough because IRLC has been playing just as patiently as Shoryu. Mm -hmm. And the spacing from IRLC, I've been really, really impressed with. I've been very much digging it, too. All right, small battlefield being picked here again. Makes sense to me. Yeah, I don't think that the stage really played too much of a role right, right. right there. So might as well just go ahead and rock out with a familiar platform setup. Three, two, All right, game five. We're getting a lot of game fives tonight. Yeah, two winners finals or winner semis in a row going to game five for sure. Winner of this one faces off against the upset special K24's Luigi in winners finals. Things is. Uh, and, uh, never mind. No, not like this. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, he makes it back. To be honest, I'm really impressed by the Prince of Mind to get the true Shoryu input yes, right there, too. Yes, I am, too, yes. Exactly. Oh, no rage there, reason Kirby lived. But next one, next uh, true Shoryu, he definitely will not live. Oh, that, I'm, I'm loving the, like, the struggle of getting these back airs to connect. <laughs> <laughs> Just like crouching under every single one of them. Good up, nice there from DJ Shoryu. And why are we tossing on an up uh, forward smash at 19, by the way? Right. That was definitely one of those super aggressive options. Like, this will be safe on shield, right? Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Ooh. This is starting to run away from ROC here. The slow Hadoukens are just the, such a tilting projectile. You just kind of got to watch them. It cuts off your approach options entirely. 
True Shoryu the wrong direction right there, so DJ not going to walk away with that stock, but does get the double tilt of True Shoryu yet again. Oh, just goes for it. That's a little bit optimistic, but the no punish in that position. I think Rage messed up his combo there. It's so funny to watch Kirby just duck under half three of his moves. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can we get a small character instead of a big character in Street Fighter next? <laughs> That's what I want to say. Oh, it just does it. A couple times we're too over aggressive, but right there, DJ Shorty with the two stock lead. Yeah, I am loving the decision to let her rip. Indeed, indeed. Oh, wow. Can we talk about how Shaku does more damage than Focus. That's so stupid. That's actually, I didn't even notice that. That's yeah, Focus is 15 and Shaku does like 17. <laughs> really? Crazy. Yeah. Wow. Good stone there from ROC, but still looking very rough. Let's get a full combo here and the up air string off the platform. I'm digging that little reset that he gets in there. I like it too, yes. That was Ooh. a brave one. Just the point blank range projectiles like, please drop shield, I need this. Ooh, both players a little on edge right here, a little nervous. This could be a stock right here. We have yeah. the stone and isn't going to kill, though. Good DI from DJ Shore. You're just trying to go high. Land oh, to the no. focus. That's it. 94, by the way, Jeez. after the hit. That means that this man was in, in the 80s. In the 80s. Yeah, I think it's all 78. That's ridiculous. That's really <laughs> Kirby's so light. <laughs> And on top of all the other problems, mm -hmm. you have to deal with that like weight class problem. Oh, man. Rough spot, but that just means that we're going to have a battle of the brawlers in winner's finals. Indeed. Have Ryu versus Luigi, K24 versus DJ Choryu. That was losers' um, quarters, I think. Wait, that was quarters? It said semis last time. Wait, that was losers' quarters? Yes. Okay, so we did not go to winner's semis. I see, so we did one semis off stream. Yes. Okay, so Dexter winning the other side of that. So K24 versus Dexter for winners finals. I was misinformed about that bracket. My apologies, y'all. Well, K24 now has taken on and beaten Pinkfresh here. Can he take out Dexter too? Ooh, that is going to be... I don't think that K24 has beaten Dexter before. I don't think so either. I mean, we've seen a couple game fives, but uh, never never the win. Yes. Also, shout out to Apostle. Apostle's here today. I missed him. Here. Ooh, I missed him too. So yeah, we had Dexter beat Just Wu in qu quarters finals and then also beat Glory 3-0. Oh, wow. So Dexter versus K24 for winners finals, and in the loser side of bracket, we got Glory and DJ Shorty who's going to be happening off stream. As is Pink Fresh versus Just Wu. So potentially, if it's seated the if it's seated this way, it would be Glory versus Pink Fresh in losers semifinals. Mm -hmm. Be our next stream match, which would be a very interesting match because those two actually tend to go back and forth. Agreed. Yeah, yes. Glory's actually beaten Pink Fresh a couple times mm -hmm. out of the last few they fought. So. Dexter typically has a good record against players like K24 that rely on uninterrupted offense. Dexter just, I always say, just ice in the veins. He's a player that doesn't really crack too much under pressure. Uh, he cracks when he needs to recover sometimes on Tuesdays, typically. But when it comes to like offensive scramble situations, oh, disconnect your pro controllers, y'all. Who are we banning? Who are we banning? If that Pro Controller comes back, I'm going to absolutely lose it. So while the two players struggle against one of our previous competitors, I'm just going to go ahead and take a pause and say thank you all so much for stopping by in chat. I see a few folks. Sirk, good to see you, my man. Thank you so much for tuning in. Edition Stitch Facer. We got a couple of the old school homies. See you in there, Oolong, as well. All right, Dexter versus K24. Let's get it. Starting off on PS2, as is tradition in MDVA. Good spot dodge immediately from Dexter. Recognize in the K24, always going to try to go ahead and get that confirmed. I feel like the first one, Luigi's always go for Zare grab immediately. And then the second and third time, that's when they'll actually start with the mix ups. All right, be back. Thank you. No problem, no problem. All right, looking at Dexter starting off. Pretty commanding lead here. Oh, commanding stock. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's, it's just the Dexter special right there. It just applies pressure continuously, gets you in the corner. It's like, all right, you're not getting out of here. Never. Oh, yeah, never. A couple up bears trying to go in and maximize those combos to Dexter, and then he immediately backs away. He's like, oh, string's done. I'm out. <laughs> we'll talk so about smart. this in a minute. Makes sense against Luigi, because Luigi has that frame one combo break. Mm -hmm. Not greedy whatsoever in this match of his Dex. 
please hit a button, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> just neutral air, neutral air. You know you want a standard getup, don't you? <laughs> he tried it again, but that time missing it looked like the jab attempt. Oh, man. K21 first cannot get anything started. Yeah, because, I mean, typically you think Luigi also has, like, good out-of-shield options so he can start out combos even if you just tap his shield inappropriately. The problem is Dex ain't doing that. No, he's not. These forward airs are safe. They're safe while space. Everything is safe while space right now. Dex are just playing this perfect balance of respect versus, um, you know, what, extending. Not being greedy in, in the slightest. Not being greedy, being optimal. Exactly. That's what you need against Luigi. Yep. This man punishes the sin of greed every single time, either with that frame one down B or also just the neutral air as well. Yes. Oh, my oh God. gosh. <laughs> the jab check, too. He gets hit once, and then he just fade back back airs. <laughs> You're good, but I little, just a little bit of a body blow to go ahead and open you up for that big old uppercut. Man. Nasty way to go ahead and start this one off. Yeah, I'm curious to see um, what Dadaption's K24 makes, because there's a lot that's going to have to go on here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Dexter's patience and just, like we said, balancing that fine line here in this matchup, just balancing it so well. Um, and I want to talk about how big the come up is from K24. I looked yes. up his Twitter in between the matches. He just basically, he popped off a couple weeks ago, like a month ago actually, in mm -hmm. February, for getting a game off of Pink Fresh Min Min. Really? And now he's taking a set Damn. off of Pink Fresh Min Min. Wow. So yeah, Fulton Chower asking who K24 is. He's just kind of that dude, I guess. He's been one of the quickest up and comers that I've seen in a minute. Oh, yeah, no, he's been grinding. I remember when um, I play a lot, he would all, we'd always play a lot. He's been working hard for months now, but finally the fruits of his labor coming through. For sure. Here in Winners Finals. A little bit of that Gimmer Tech right there from Dexter, the old footstool <laughs> to get the heck out of disadvantage. Also Smart. Smash tag. Uh oh. Is it? Great DI from Dex. The, the air dodge in basically made us that. It was Garrett. Wow, what a read. I, yeah, I'm pausing any kind of analysis right there. K24. <laughs> Anytime a Mario player, like a Mario Cast player, just holds that up smash, that's like you, you've read their soul. Uh oh. Fell out? Looked like a little bit of rage. He was on the ground mm. a little bit earlier than K24 was ready for. That makes sense. K24 really stepping up here. No, oh, Sander, oh, get him. No, please. please, no. no. Dexter was terrified right there, holding shield oh. the entire time. Okay. I thought that was about the uh, edge guard here. Nice corner pressure from K24, but gets reversal. And this is Luigi's biggest weakness. Yes, it is. How does he get out of the corner? And when every option can be beaten on reaction, there's no aggressive hitboxes. He waits it out and actually <laughs> outpatiences Dexter in the corner. I don't think I'll take it on town. Nope. Town's no, a super high ceiling. Oh, good air dodge from Dexter. Air dodge, Dexter's air dodging in twice now, and it's gotten away with it both times. Yeah, if I'm K24, I'm looking to punish that the third time. Exactly. What a reaction, too. Is, is it just me, or does it look like K24 is like reacting to the forward tilts? I don't know, actually. I think I think he's just getting the timing right, but like it looks like he's reacting really well. Good DI out again by K24, so it wasn't getting hit with that forward air uh -oh. follow-up. But... Uh-oh. Yeah, I think you're right. Rage is messing up these uh, Luigi combos here. Yeah, Dex has been holding out hard, and K24 couldn't get the drift on it. No turnaround grab either for Dex, and then he goes for the back air in a really odd spot. A couple of uncharacteristic misses, but does get that neutral air and a dash attack. Fox 2.0. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Now Dex is trying to slow the pace down as much as he possibly can, just trying to make sure K424 doesn't get an opening here. Oh, good. Remember when I, we, we were praising Dexter for not being greedy, and then yes. he almost just dies for being greedy? Oh, I think he's going to die for being greedy. I think you're right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I had to watch that because the DI looked right on my side. It's like, maybe? Yeah, good recognition right there. I mean, rec recognizing that was the perfect percentage in the perfect position on that stage. Indeed. Oh. Yeah, good, good in K24, though. His conversions have gotten a lot better as... um. Like, we talked about that earlier, but Convergence have just been getting better and better and better. They're reacting to the DIY just the right moment, you know? Yeah, and even, like, 
it's it's hardening to see Luigi's win and get those huge combos when they don't get the grab confirmed. Mm -hmm. Because it's two times in a row where Ketsu 4 could potentially have killed Dexter off of a grab, but either because of rage or misinputs, he wasn't able to do so, but he mm -hmm. still wins. Yeah, that just exactly. means that the neutral is there, and that's typically not something you see from Luigi. Agreed and greed. Oh, such good weight there from K24. Good parry from Dex, though. Has an opportunity to go in and punish K24 in the corner. Get up attack, not going to be the answer. Has to recover low and gets the misfire, actually. Does that give Dexter the opportunity? It does, but great tech from K24. Indeed, indeed. Ooh, wow. Can he get, can he get down? Nope. <laughs> now, answered your own question right there. Dexter, I'm more than happy to oblige and solve that riddle quickly. No double jump, but K24 backs off. Oh, man, he had to confirm there, too. Unfortunate. That is the one thing that I, I don't like as much from K24. He definitely, like, Foxtrot's away. Sometimes yes. in positions where he could just, like, go in. In some of those, like, some spots right there, it's right there. really good. But, right. like, if you're at mid-distance and Dexter's firing off a laser, you're just giving up space. Exactly. And just getting, taking some free laser damage, too, in the process. All right, Dexter's patting the ledge trapping coming in. Can't get the two frame yet again. K24 stalls have been great. No but way. Yeah. He just kept attack was so low to the ground. Okay, I think he's getting this one. Oh, wow. Let's see what Dex can make out of it. Some Simply a down throw into a ledge trap, but it's never simply anything if you're stuck in the corner against Dex. Exactly, exactly. Now K24 on his last stock. I love that. The Zare attempt at Dex is like, no, put that away. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> it's like, you can have full center stage control if you want, my dog. I'm going to be out here in the corner until you can come over here. Dexter is just constantly switching between defense and offense, defense and offense so quickly here. K24 is not keeping up. Gets the roll in, but actually just charge that a little bit, perhaps betting on a spot dodge. Looking kind of rough here for K24. Can't get the up smash, though, so K24 has an opportunity, but goes for the dash attack, so now stuck in the corner yet again. Great use of the tornado indeed, right there, recognizing indeed. that Dexter smelled blood. Again. Not not going to kill, though, because it's stale. Oh, wow. Go ahead, Dexter, to up you there instead. Dexter outpatients in K24 here at the ledge. Down throw definitely won't kill in that spot, but forces K24 to recover low. We're going for two frame. No, we go for Trump up air. Interesting, Interesting option. Interesting option, yes. Oh, that's probably it. That was so good. Dexter's ledge trapping is on point. He just right now. stood there and watched. It's like, <laughs> I know you're going to hit a button. I'm going to be able to punish a jump with an up tilt, and I'm going to be able to punish the roll with a back throw. I am locked in at the spot. Impressive stuff from Dexter. Again, again, it seems like um, what's going on here is it's really just can I get K24 in the ledge long enough? Mm -hmm. That's what Dexter's trying to figure out here. And so I, I feel like as the set goes on, K24 just going to get stuck there more and more and more as Dexter gets used to his habits. Yep, definitely min-maxing the advantage state mm -hmm. right there. I mean, this is... I, I think a lot of Wolves have portions of their game plan that they will try to focus on. Yes. Like, I think that um, back when ZD did it, it was the top of it. His yes. extensions were insane. Jackal, I think Jackal's relatively similar, where he does things out of advantage that I never would have thought of. Yes. Agreed, agreed. But Dexter, I think... I genuinely think that Dexter might be the Wolf with best ledge. I also agree there. Yeah, he's just... Just so hard to get off Legends, this man. I like the longer stage pick here from K24 because it means he's going to be on the ledge less. True, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and literally anything to avoid that situation. To be honest, I think that Kalos is a pretty, pretty decent pick too for Agreed. that exact option. Yes. I think Dexter's probably banning it though. Agreed. Oh, good up Oh, wow, actually. Oh, wow, didn't actually kill. Yeah, surprise too. But still, solid damage right there and with a good lead as K24. Back throw? Oh, gets out. I was thinking the same thing with the back throw, too. I think we were looking for one or two more pummels to make sure it would kill, and Dexter having none of it. 
Here's a spot where I'd like to see K24 do a little bit more of fading back. Instead, he was aggressive and now gets stuck in the corner for it. Indeed. Uh, jump away, but the up air and then the up smash, and all of a sudden that lead that K24 had worked so hard for has frittered away. Yes, vanishing in the thin air. Oh, but that down B? Well, oh, good DI. Barely not dying there for next year. Yeah, Dexter just waiting for K24 to just throw options to the ledge here. K24 getting a little impatient trying to get these kills. Yeah, Luigi definitely one of those characters where it just feels good to hit buttons with Indeed. sometimes, and so I, I understand it, but Dexter definitely exploiting that weakness for sure. Yep. There comes his ledge trapping yet again. At 156, Luigi has tons of options that'll do to take this stock. I'm pretty sure Nair will do it. But K24 is trying really, really... Oh, wow. That would have been... Uh, Wow. Was that a B-reverse that killed him? Yeah, it was. was. a B-reverse that killed him. <laughs> so unfortunate. I don't think he meant to do that. Yeah, as soon as I saw him jump away, I'm like, he don't got no double jump, does he? Nah, that's a good combo there from Dexter. Let's trapping on point, like you said, over and over and over. Yeah, two stocks in a row from it. Now K24 has the opportunity for a little bit of a combo and said Dex breaks out. Yes, K24 is getting very antsy with these downbeats this game. I don't think a single one's landed. Also surprised that Dexter seems to be a lot less consistent than he used to be with those two frames. I don't think we've seen a single um, forward tilt hit yet. No, K24 is doing a really good job mixing up the True. time and space of his recovery. Oh, well, just as, as we say as that. Said, yeah. <laughs> Definitely a commentator's curse right here, and that is, oh, that is unfortunate. not even going for the back, yeah, back through. Excuse me, back air. As I stutter through that last bit. Yeah, normally misfire is a nice thing to get, but in that spot when you get stuck in the wall, right next to the ledge, miserable, miserable. Yes. Yeah, I was kind of curious if we were going to go for the um, back air and see if it was untackable, mm -hmm. and 100 percent the right choice from Dexter, not even to give him that opportunity. Indeed, indeed. Well, good stuff, though, to K24. Taking a game off Dexter now, taking a set off Pinkfresh, and sitting here in Losers Finals. So we might have another date with his arch rival, the Min Min Main, in yes. Pinkfresh, potentially. But Pinkfresh first has to go ahead and fight through a few of folks in Losers Bracket. It looks like the match between Pinkfresh and Just Wu has not been reported yet. I'm going to go ahead and try to refresh that. Just Wu is a Sonic Main, so probably Pinkfresh is going to be taking that matchup a little bit slow. Yes. And Glory DJ Shorty also hasn't finished up. So yes. both sides of Losers Quarters are locked up. So Glory is a very patient player, so that could also be going very, very I would not be surprised. Yes. <laughs> so you know what that means? That we have the opportunity to go ahead and pause for station identification. Let the folks know who we are and what we do. Yep. So if this is the first time that you are stopping by, y'all, this is The Grind. Thank you all for stopping by. We start Hello. every Friday at 7.30 p.m. That's right. And if you are enjoying the content, definitely tune in for a few of our monthlies. we got another one coming up next Saturday, Xanadu Homecoming, March 30th. That's going to be our ultimate monthly. April 6th, we've got the FGC BNB. And then April 13th, Xanadu Legends, April Homecoming not quite announced yet. Keep your ears open for that one. And if you're looking for where to find that news, hit us up on social media at VG Bootcamp on Twitter, and that's when the announcements will be live. Yes, yeah, Zandu Homecoming, Zandu Monthlies are always a special time, really special place. Also great food. And True. Yes, and so always a fun time to come out. Always really enjoyed going to them. I highly recommend it. And also, if you're a commentator, I always have a commentary application open. We're trying to go ahead mm -hmm. and get as many folks from the region and outside as well. So if you ever find yourself in lovely Laurel, Maryland, That's right. then uh, go ahead and hit me up, and we'll make sure that you get on the mic. Indeed, indeed. So I did it. Yeah, I mean, we've got so many commentators, too. Shout-outs to um, uh, Just Raff and Patch, yes. who are now traveling to a C-tier event in really? Tennessee right now. They both got in there. Oh, wow. Exactly. So we got a few of the MDVA ETS casters. UConn, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Really? Yep. I didn't know that, actually. How, how long you been in this area, then? Two years. Okay, so not too long. Mm -hmm. okay, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, they, they made it in there, so Congratulations. The, the MDVA commentary roster continues to dominate. We've had a yes, few right. folks that made it. Uh, I think, um, I want to say Raph is. I don't know if Patch is making it down to Stick Drift, too. And that's actually, geez, that's only in two weeks, isn't it? Yes, oh, I think God. so. Wow. So many events coming up. It's, yeah. It's always something to look forward to. It's one of the great parts about Smash, really. It that, feels like in this region, too, we are spoiled. Yeah, yes, I think so. I absolutely agree. Mm -hmm. And also, another event we got to talk about, too, because we just had uh, the 100th extra credit. That's right. So if you are interested in a little bit of um, grinding, trying to go ahead and up the skill level, definitely tune in for that one or stop by because it is the lowest venue fee in the region. Yes. It's like five bucks to get in. Yeah, it's just five bucks to get in. There's multiple games. You have Rivals. You have... Um, 
melee, you have other traditional fighting games, if, you know, people come, and then you have ultimate, and then you can, you know, they have redemption bracket, and then they have round robin redemption, you just get to play and play and play and play and play, so if you want to get better, that's the time to come. No better spot in Indeed. the region to go ahead and try to level up your game and extra credit on Sundays. Mm -hmm. And hundred of them too so we are yep. it is no longer a proof of concept tournament it is one of those where it is here to stay indeed indeed let's see what we got here so we have just Wu. i'm going to go ahead and check out the run right here knocked out cheddar actually 3-1 Ooh. as well as pawn master two old squid plumbers I, that's, I didn't even know squid plumber was here how did squid plumber make it to lose his bracket that early let's see who knocked squid down this is one of our pr players knocked down early by K24. Ah, wow. K24, oh. that matchup is awful. Belmont and Min Min. Yes. That, is, that makes that run even more impressive. That makes it, that's such an impressive also, run. Also, that tells me also that K24 was underseeded if winner's round three is running into Squid Plumber. Yes. And on the other side, Just Wu actually knocked down into loser bracket by Dexter. Mm. Knocked out Boat, which was, that's a heck of a round uh, round three match, too. This, this bracket is freaking stacked. It's such a stacked bracket, yes. Yeah, exactly. Kim Boyachi was also here, another one of the Sonic mains, and Kim Boyachi fell to IRLC 2-1 earlier in loser's bracket. So it does look as though we are still awaiting on those two. Just Wu, yeah, that was the only loser bracket. So Just Wu actually did make the winner's run or tried to do so. Indeed. What a breakout performance in K24. I do really want to highlight just how impressive that is. Yeah, two PR wins in a row and yes. making your way into uh, winner's finals. With an awful matchups, too. Yeah, Actually, exactly. awful matchups. So that means that we have a guaranteed third at least for K24, and yes. I would not be surprised to see even more. Speaking of other Ks, we have KML stopping by right there as he is doing a little bit of work in the background. I believe right. that coming up in like a week or two, we got Hitfall, too. Yeah. Tomorrow, actually. Hitfall's so tomorrow. I'm, I'm an idiot, so don't, don't listen to me. <laughs> so, yeah, tune in tomorrow for Hitfall. I know K24 is going to be doing a little bit of a streaming here. I already see the title slides popping up in the background. So, Hitfall, this is 2.5, so relatively smaller one. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I mean, we're going to have Hitfall 3 eventually. Probably this summer. Probably, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't wait to see the news there because I don't know about if uh, if you did you ever play much of Rivals 1? Um, I've been playing a bit of Rivals 1, actually. I actually mm -hmm. played it at um, X Trail 100. Yeah, and um, I went to, but it was it's a lot of fun. I really, really enjoy Rivals. And it just so, feels good. It just feels really good to play that game. Mm -hmm. Your movement in that you know movement so crisp in that game, and your movement really is what matters. And then there's a lot of expressive play in that game with the combo system. So game I really like. Yeah, definitely one of those where I, I feel like you you get a lot less characters like say Mario, where it's like down throw up air up. Right, right, up. right. It's it's it, expressive is the perfect term for it. Mm -hmm. And I've been excited to watch the meta develop for, for not as a commentator but just like on the background watching a couple of those matches yes. it has been fun to check out on and now that I see like the gameplay the slow drip of Rivals 2, 2 content oh, it's like, I'm, I'm so excited I am very interested so, I know I'm so excited for Rivals 2 everything I've seen from that game looks phenomenal mm -hmm. um and don't be surprised that if when it comes out you'll be seeing it here at Xandu oh yeah for sure I cannot wait to see um see what happens on that one I think uh, I, I would not be surprised if we get a if we get more info too, to be like drip fed yes. through that, I, I'm I'm looking forward to like what the next characters are. If there's going to be some like new mechanics shown off, they added shields, which is interesting. Yep. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Shields and grabs. Yep. And um, and the ledge. And Crag apparently is exploiting that with the DK cargo throw nonsense. Oh no! Did you see? Did you see the recent uh, major where they they had like a, a a test build of Rivals Two available? No, I missed it. I haven't. Basically, Crag could like cargo throw you off stage and then just like throw you down to kill you. No way! So a lot of the top eight was like Crag's doing. Leffen hated it. Leffen was <laughs> in it and he was tilting off a cliff, and I love it. Oh, there oh, we go. Really? KML hey. resident Crag main. <laughs> but yeah, I saw, between that and I saw what was it? A uh, Loxodon. The, uh, the new character that they revealed, oh, which okay, has okay. like the a, a big body heavy with a blade, big old oh. axe, and it looked like almost a um, a Gordo esque projectile. Oh, okay. So, so I was very interested in seeing what that character can do. Sounds similar to the DD, but it can't fly. Potentially not. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm very very curious. I'm very to curious. See how that, that sounds very interesting. Because because I mean there have been decent big bodies in rivals. Yes, there have been. So Smash has never had a big body be like anything beyond mid tier. Yes, agree, agree. Low high tier. For Sometimes some like basically for the anti meta picks in Smash Four. Yeah, like you had Bowser DK and DK. Bowser, but that was it. It was purely just because they were good against Cloud, who was like a third of the meta. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dark times when pivot grabs would cover a third of oh the stage. Oh my gosh, I remember that. And I ironically bring that back though. <laughs> I love me some big body grapplers being good. I was on the receiving end of those in Smash 4 for like about for like a year and a half. That's when I started playing Smash 4. 
Gotcha. I do not have good memories for that, actually. No, I would I'm, I'm be okay. I'm okay that they took that away. <laughs> no, I, I played Luigi. I love those matches. Oh, okay. You know, that's fair. That's fair. I was sitting there like, y'all want to play grabs? I could do that, too. I can do that, too. That's right. Oop, got him. <laughs> so we are still waiting on the results of those two. So thank you for for hanging around with us while we prattle on. Uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying the tournament matches so far. And I, I mean, I saw that a few folks Qubit saying good run for K24. Indeed. Definitely not over. Waiting in that losers finals match for the winner of our next match. Eventually. Eventually, yes. Oh, absolutely not over for K24. He's going to, I'm sure he's going to tear it up in losers. Mm -hmm. So, out of curiosity, are there any uh, bigger tournaments that you're planning on going to in the near future? Um, right now, not really, mm -hmm. actually. I've just been taking a little bit of a step back. I've been going to college for IT. And so, oh, nice. uh, yeah, that's yes. right. We, I, we did yes. talk about that last week. I do remember now. I, I've been trying to um, I've been trying to watch a couple of the tournaments on my side because I haven't my basically I'm going on a bit of a trip uh, on my side and because it's not for Smash I have to watch my vacation time right, so right, right. I'm trying I unfortunately haven't been able to make it out to majors like Collision mm -hmm. which was phenomenal watching experience right there shout yes, out to yes. 3K they always do a great job they always do a phenomenal job with your, yes. but um you heard we're just going to announce is Riptide again. Ooh, nice. So, yeah, so we have a few more big tournaments on the back end. Nice. I'm curious for what the next big major is going to be. I'm like, are we going to get another Summer of Smash? Are a few of these events going to start to taper off? Right. I mean, we had a couple events out west that unfortunately got canceled. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. But um, everybody in MDVA, I'm sure, waiting for uh, the announcement for SmashCon. If SmashCon's going to be coming back right there. Right. I'm pretty sure it will be, but... I certainly hope so. I hope so, too. They're yes. a great team to work with. I had a blast working with them last year, so... Yeah, Smash is such a good event. You get to have so many different games. You get to so many people coming together. People come from all over the world to that venue. Oh, yeah. And it's a great venue, too. Lots of space. The Expo Center just, you know, you know, has food and... Um, it's like a ton of vendors, the yes, artist yes. alley, a lot of retro games too. Mm -hmm. It really feels as though SmashCon, what makes it a special event is that it's a celebration of the game. Indeed, And indeed. of the scene as, as itself. It's not just a tournament. And there's yes. been a couple of those that VGBC used to do where they would theme their tournaments really well. Yes. Like you had the FGC version of Glitch. Oh, you had yes. the Pokemon Missing Go version. Uh, you have they, the Belmont version. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. So they, they did a really good job with theming and they'd bring in like other side events too that made the events even more hype. Yes. I, I love those. But I did because too. we haven't had a major for a while in the area, it's like getting a little bit antsy here. I'd be going to go ahead and get back on the uh, docket. Yeah, no, I'd love to see more glitches again. Those are my favorites by far. Mm -hmm. Like you said, the theming was cool. Like, it's like really this, like, it felt like a celebration of Smash and of the characters. Definitely. And so, and when you go into SmashCon, you look at them the, at the top of the ceiling, and you see banners for every character when they came out in their respective game, when they got added to Smash mm -hmm. across the entire venue. You're like, wow, what, a, what an experience. Mm -hmm. And I've definitely seen a couple Pac-Man players playing both Pac-Man and Bracket, and then heading over to the nostalgic That's corner right. and playing Pac-Man on the on the cabin. I'm like, is there a power up right there? Is that is that a detect right there? You go ahead and play like Street Fighter Alpha Three on on one of those arcade cabinets, and then come over and just wreck with Ryu and Ken. <laughs> <laughs> I will actually say though, something I've noticed is that when you have an affinity for your character in Smash, like you've played their game, you mm -hmm. like the character, you really feel with the character, you will play better as that character in Smash too. Agreed. Actually, um, put Zangief in Smash, please. <laughs> That would be fun as heck. I mean, we need a good grappler, but Dengie hasn't been a good grappler in years, though, unfortunately. Yes, unfortunately. He's, if you want a good grappler, he's not, unfortunately, not quite the guy. No, he's, uh, I, I hate, I'm struggling. I hate, I, it is propaganda to me that people say that, like, oh, if a grappler is good, then the game gets on fun. Entirely propaganda. Because mm. it's, it's, that you can make grapplers good without making them busted. That's true. And, and yeah. for you to say that, oh, if you make them good, they immediately get broken. Right. It's like that's just bad balancing, bad game design. Exactly, exactly. You can make these characters have the ability to have like um, punishing options, yes. like SPD for for Geef that yes. aren't just like super overpowering. It just makes it like Luigi does in this game, where you can't be greedy against them. Right, exactly. Because if you have an if you leave an opening in your combo, I'm gonna be spinning. I'm gonna be spinning my stick. I'm gonna get you with that 360. The character in this game, I like who they made a grappler. I really like how to design Incineroar, actually. I agree. Yes. Um, I, I feel like he's um. He has a few issues where um, it does feel a little bit as though he's very exploitable in certain ways. He's very yes. much like min-maxed. Yes. But it's min-maxed in an interesting way. Agreed. Like, revenge Agreed. is such a cool concept. Indeed, indeed. Revenge is such a cool concept. It's, it's a risky but very, very high-reward option when you do land it. And, I mean, he also is, he, he leans into that, like, WWE-esque yes. play style where not only is he a heel, but he has these incredible moments, like getting the Alolan Whip off stage, oh, yes, like, so overcommitting for it. Like, Sky J is a lot of players' favorite player for a reason. Oh, yes. He'll go for those Alolan Whips, go all the way to the tippy corner of the stage, and just got him. It's like, yeah, what are you actually doing that? you got to yep. tip your cap in that spot. Exactly. Should I hand it to him? 
All right. So let's see here as I continue to just like mash refresh on my bracket. Here. <laughs> it looks like we have Glory 3 2 over DJ Shoryu. So Glory advancing right there in a nail biter, uh, which explains why we were waiting a little bit. And Min Min versus Sonic is unsurprisingly taking a little bit longer. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder why. Oh, well, I think it's Pink just got up. Is he heading over to the stream there? Let's see. It does look as though he is not reporting. Yes, he is not reporting, so... Moment of suspense. <laughs> exactly. I'm sitting here like we are, we're We're trying to go ahead and divine what is happening right here. As uh, as we're waiting to see if uh, Glory is going to be facing off against Pink Fresh's Min Min or Just Woo Sonic. Just Woo, I think... I actually had a curiosity. Have you seen much of uh, Kimboyachi and Just Woo? Um, I have not. I've been not seen them super recently, but I've seen them progressively over a mm -hmm. few months. Not like the last two weeks, but I've seen them over the. They've been getting better and better and better. Out of curiosity, who do you think has the uh, the edge uh, in that and between the, like the player skill and those two? The player skill, I think that Just Woo has the uh, edge there. I I'd give it up there for, as well. I think Just Woo might be the best Sonic in our region. I think so. Like A, a B is definitely like the labber, uh, and Kimboyachi is. I want to say a little bit more well-rounded, but when Just Blue's on, he's just so freaking good. Oh, agreed, agreed. I think all three of them, though, work together, by the way. They yeah. all, all three of them will get together all, in voice calls. All, all the Sonic mains are conspiring. Yes, they are conspiring. They are all conspiring. I promise you all. <laughs> it is. I've listened to it. it. It is unfortunately true that all of the Sonic mains are just conspiring to go ahead and hold this region down. Oh, yes. No, just, just, just you wait. I Mark my words. If you all don't learn this matchup, you will have three Sonics in top eight. And I'm week. stunned that we don't have a single, like, big name Steve yet. MD has not been generating Steves. No, it's not. It's, it's actually, just Sonics. It's very interesting. I actually think that um, the reason that no Steve is actually part of why, um, like, I think here, how do I explain this? It's part of why there's so many diverse characters here. Like, you see Ridley, you see Belmonts, see you see so many other characters. There's no Steve. And Steve uh, kind of checks some of those characters. But without him, you get these really interesting... Uh, brackets in terms of character representation. True. Yeah. Yeah, it, it does feel as though th that Steve is a character that definitely checks a lot of the mid-tiers, and they're yes. also, like, if you look at the top characters, a lot of the top characters aren't really represented in MDBA. No, they're not. Um, my biggest thing was, back in the day, we used to have this this player named Seagull Joe, yes. who played Palutena and did not make mistakes, <laughs> and he was the ultimate check against all the mid-tiers. Yes, he was. He was the alpha dog against every single mid-tier player. Yes, if he was. you want to go ahead and play a big body character, you're not getting top three. No, because you're, not. you're gonna get run against Seagull Joe, and he's just gonna look at you. I remember those days. Yes, I remember those very well. <laughs> exactly. So Joe left, and then Palu got nerfed a little bit. Yes. And then we we didn't really have. We had ZD and Dexter. It was kind of the same thing that they were just playing Wolf and Fox and just checking the mid tiers. That's correct. And now because we've seen a lot of these mid tier players work so hard mm -hmm. to get so much better, and we haven't seen somebody of that player caliber arise with one of like the top five characters in the game. Right. That we just we allow this d diverse meta in MD. It's actually like very You go down to VA yeah. and it's like four Steve's in top eight. Yes, not yes. here. No, not here, no. There's actually a reason why we don't consider Sova as part of our PR anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, so it does look like Just Woo knocked out Pink Fresh. Wow. In a game five nail biter. So we have Glory versus Just Woo. And uh, buckle up, y'all. This is going to be a phenomenal set. Indeed, indeed. How's the first pick? Interesting, interesting. I think this is a phenomenal save for Sonic, actually, because whenever he does spin dash, he can spin jump to the platform and not have to worry about being off stage. Yep, doesn't necessarily need to also do like the down air cancels, too, because mm -hmm. you can just go ahead and jump cancel on those flats. Exactly. It's a little bit safer. So you talked about a little bit how patient Glory is as a player. Yes. Just Wu is also a very patient player. Yes, he is. How, how much you want to bet for the duration of this bot? Oh, plus or minus 30 minutes. Plus or minus 30 minutes? Ooh. That's a good question. I'll put here. five on it. Put five on it? All right. We got you. Shake, what, what do you got? Plus or minus? Minus. Okay. Under 30. Let's go. Under, Let's under go. 30. But barely. Barely. All right. <laughs> All right. So I, I would not be surprised if we see a lot of the match being this right here. Is where Glory's going to try to go ahead and get a little bit of projectile pressure going because that is the edge that Pit has in this matchup. Yes. The problem is that if Just Wu can use that mobility to dodge around these projectiles, then it's really going to be Glory's playing a slow character trying to chase down Sonic. Have you Indeed. seen that tail happen a million times before? Yes, Pit being not quite so fast. He's not like slow, but not fast. It's going to be really rough for him in this matchup, like you're saying. That being said, Glory is actually keeping it pretty consistent, pretty close for here right now. 
Yeah, and when it comes to kill power, like that back air is a fearsome threat. We've seen Glory toss out a couple times. Oh, a good DI from Glory there. Good Great parry. pair of down smash, too. The max range of that down smash. Good presence of mind. I forgot that it springs a projectile. And then it being able to use the side B yet again because the projectile. That's right. Look at you trying to whip punish pit. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely cannot, not. Cannot do that. This character is like. Excuse me? That was a very tragic trade. Pit boxes coming out. In full display there. Yeah, multi hits not working out for sure. More pit boxes. That four air missing. Oh, it's unfortunate. Warriors need to start going for the neutral airs a bit more here. Can we also talk about how these arrows are just ever so slightly too short? Yeah. To hit Sonic and Spin Dash, it looks like. Yep. Wait, does Spin Dash beat Orbiters? Um, I actually don't know. It looked like it did right there. I and think if it, it did, did yeah. Then Spin Dash might just be the best move in the game. Just nothing beats Orbiters. Yeah, I, mean, I know, right? Nothing beats does. They, they, they claim you can hit that foot. You can. I know you can. I know you can hit the foot, but they. It is a very difficult hitbox, but yeah. I am K rule. My up air is good. I have hit the foot multiple times, and every time the pits get angry at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, I can punish it. I'm not a low tier, maybe. Yeah, we're seeing less orbital usage because you're right. Spin Dash just keeps going through and beating it. Yeah, as I said, I'm stunned that Sonic has that good of a tool in this matchup. Oh, I know. Does be able to use that off stage though, and that's I think going to be the big mix-up that you can still toss out because you're not be you're trying to kill with Spin Dash off stage. Right, right. Oh, oh my gosh, Kyle's saving just through there. Because that will have killed Crunch in our stage. Aggressive up B, and that time not safe Ow. on shield is the down smash. Can't quite whip punish it, but you can punish it out of shield. Yes, you can. All right, it's still a very, very, very close game here. He's up to Just Blue to try and get some extra credit, though. If he can get any extra credit here, that would help him out massively. Oh, speaking of which. Quite a bit of damage in that little string right there. And yeah, this is kind of, this is where Sonic wins matchups. Yes, this is exactly where he wins matchups. It's like, oh, you're trying to kill me? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and let you flail, and I'll get my damage bit by bit. Good. Talking about flailing, Glory hitting them buttons all of a sudden. I mean, I don't blame him. He needs a kill very soon if he doesn't want this to uh, spar out of control. Although there are three minutes left in the clock. Yeah, I don't think we're quite going to go for timeout right here, but uh, it is a threat if Just Move really feels like locking down this defensive game plan. Right. Oh, and everyone's stealing Aphrobat's homing attacks here. <laughs> true, true. I'm, I'm seeing it in Jesu's play. I've not seen this before. But he's been, they've, the three of them have all been talking to each other. The conspiracy yes. continues. Rolls through and then uses that down air to cancel the spin dash yet again. Starting the platform potentially. Goes for the up smash, so a bit of a commitment right there, but Glory not quick enough on the draw to get a punish. He was trying to shield poke Glory, I think. Oh, that backer's... I thought it wasn't going to take it because it's Kalos. Yeah, it looked like he jumped into the blast zone potentially right I there. think he did jump into the blast zone. Yeah, usually you can get away with one to just try to go ahead and uh, extend the angle and yes. go directly from the corner, but he might have actually jumped one too many times. Mm -hmm. I think so. Got off the top. All right, well, good start from Just. Who was pretty competitive close game, though. Um, I'm shocked that Glory's playing Pit, though. I would be, I'd want the faster arrows here of Dark Pit. True. I mean, you do get the ability to go ahead and angle them a little bit more. So That's true. Just go and angle them lower. Yep. I'm curious if the... It does look like the animation's a little bit different, so maybe these are actually wide enough to, to threaten Spin Dash. Yes. Well, they are a little bigger with Dark Pit, too, the arrows are. Okay, yep. Well, here it's Dark Pit. Yep. Yep. They, uh, there they are. So there's our answer right there. Cannot Spin Dash underneath those, and that is going to be a big tool. Yes, it will. Yep, more nairs now instead of uh, forward airs or other aerials. Makes sense. It's the only move that was hitting <laughs> just move, frankly. Oh my god, the pressure after the spin dash is just so nuts from just it move. Is. It's like four buttons and Glory just has to guess. Yeah, but Glory off to a strong start still, regardless. Guessing right, maybe potentially. Yeah. Yep, that was such good from Glory. Yeah, great shield pressure for sure. From the ledge, too. 
Oh, I don't think he went through that. Yeah, I think that was definitely supposed to be like a dash back B reversal. Yes. No, oh, good DI from Jesu. Not getting hit there. And the way that Just Wu is playing, we've seen one of Pitt's best aerials and back air be almost like completely absent. Yeah, I know. It's just not useless. How are you going to hit Sonic Fit? Oh, but that was not sure you're going to hit. Good scoop there. Also, can we talk for just a brief moment about this music counter pick? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot about that. I had, I've thrown, like, <laughs> this is definitely one of those. It's like, oh, you want to go ahead and slow down the pace? Well, I got something for you. Oh, my, yeah, exactly. It's like the roofs on, uh, Town City. Or Electroplankton. Yeah. This is the other counter pick yeah, that that's the other one. people go for. Environmental noises. <laughs> oh Anytime as a commentator I hear environmental noise, I'm like, you're doing this to me specifically. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, good follow from just um, Glory. Just can't quite make a max damage combo here, but I mean, if we could... I was just about to say, if we could preserve this stock, it'd be crazy. Yeah, like, agreed. Not able to do so right there. Only 37%. This is nothing to sign. This is one string. Yeah, this is literally there. just one one combo. Oh, this is a little more, though. This might be... Oh, okay. Went for the kill. I dig it. No, That's I about it, the yeah. back hit of the down smash. Uh oh What? Why did just we run across the stage and then off the stage? Had to be an input. I was going to say, it's like, it, it, can you... You're a top player? You need to explain this to me. I'm just a <laughs> foolish commentator. I'm just a replaceable asset. Oh, that, that, that would... <laughs> <laughs> A lot of ledge oh gameplay God. right there. Like, both players just using that invulnerability and trying to go in and toss out aerials and bait their opponent to being over aggressive. Yeah, both these characters are good at playing Ken especially Pit. Oh, that was a very big overcommitment there from Just Wu. Are you dodging? Yeah. Oh, barely misses it. Oh, wow. Well. They didn't kill? Keller Mee surprised too. Man, Pit really struggles to kill. That's going to be the hard part, too. Oh, wow, good uh, orbiters. Yeah, you wouldn't think that a character with like the fastest overall smash attacks in the game right. is going to struggle to kill, but he just kind of does. Yeah, he really just does. He has no way to really set it up other than like, some really, really niche setups. So you just kind of got to get the straight hit going. Yep. Oh, there's a kill. Gloria playing locking down as neutral right now. Really, really just locking down his, uh Like, just going tit for tat, not taking any big hits here, and that's going to work out for Pit. Yeah, this is why I took the over right here. Is I think these two players are very well matched. Oh, uh, yes. I would not be surprised to see this go for a game five. Oh, I'm sure it's going for a game five. That's what I'm expecting. Good parry yet again on the aggressive Ooh. option. Just who taking a ton of damage right here. Wow, jab. Yeah, I, I did not expect that at all. That's one of the few moves that Sonic has. It's like it's not even subpar, but it's only solid. Yeah, exactly. A lot of his moves are like B plus. That one, solid C. Yeah, just a solid C. But got the job done. I think Justin needs to go for more F smashes on these uh, pit uppies. That, that pit uppie is very two frame rule. Sure. Oh, good parry. Two times in a row, just who ate hard punishes after mm -hmm. bouncing off of the shield, a little dash forward up smash. One of Pit's stronger options, too. Yes. Just who definitely got to clean up that option. Is It is not proving reliable. No, too many homing attacks right now. When when you play against someone who really knows how to deal with that move, it um, or has a character that deals with it well, it becomes a uh, liability, frankly. Exactly. It's a good mix-up, yes. but it... it Every now and then, it's like you can recognize that, oh, they're just going to... This isn't a spin dash. Who would have right. thought? It's a homing attack. Right. If one your opponent can, like, differentiate between those two very similar moves visually, yes. then it becomes a lot worse. Yes, it does. Indeed, indeed. All right. So, locking it in. Dark Pit, definitely the pick right there. It yes. just felt as though Just Wu also couldn't get around those arrows nearly as easily. We saw a lot of the times in the first game that Glory couldn't angle them down enough to prevent Spin Dash from just being a full screen approach option. I very much disagree, disagree with this pick on Just Wu's part because these arrows are locking down straight lanes and there is no, there's only one lane now to lock down this map. I don't know how uh, Just Wu's going to be getting the control back from uh, Glory here in neutral. And considering that D Glory was dominating neutral in the previous game, like yes. anything to make neutral harder. And this is basically saying, I think I'm better than you. It's yes, like, think, exactly. It's like, I think I'm going to seize control of the game and then never let it go. Good arrow, yep. I'm yeah, loving the arrows, arrows at disadvantage. I like his arrows too, yes. 
the full, like, double hop away from Glory to, to respond to the charging spin dash. Look at that. It's like, I'm just going to go above you, and this entire approach option isn't going to work out. Exactly. You're just going to put yourself above me if you really want to be aggressive. Ooh, a dash attack, though, catching Glory, trying to land aggressively. And you wouldn't think of it from a character with five jumps, but that is a weakness of Pit. His character struggles to land. Oh, the what snipe, a snipe. though! Oh, that's going to be punished. Never mind. Yeah, a little bit of rage perhaps making that yeah, a bit Yeah, I think tighter. that's what happened. Yeah, these arrows really locking down Sonic's ability to just run across the stage. I honestly think Dark Pits just tends to be better because of that. True. I mean, there are some characters with vulnerable recoveries that Pit's better against. Right. But that's, that's about it. Yeah, exactly. I'll take Pit against Captain Falcon, perhaps, but right. not in this matchup. No, not in this matchup. That is an interesting option. The run up to them from across the sc screen the and then pull out your projectile. Oh, man. This is, the glory is almost lapped. Um, just with here. Just no answer in neutral right now. Exactly. Like you, you talked about it immediately when you saw the stage pick. It's like this is a, a difficult decision from Just Wu, and he has yeah. had no room to run. At all, yes. No room at all. The one place he can run. Always an arrow there. Always. An arrow or an aerial? Oh, what a, what a call out. But will it matter? Doesn't seem to quite yet, but we do have a lead trapping situation. To roll in dash tag yet. Sonic, it feels like, is one of the characters that gets off of ledge a little bit easier than a lot. Oh, yes, I agree. He just has so many movement options. He's just bound to be able to. And Glory playing super patient here with his landing, super patient with his neutral. And just using those multi hits, too, to just even if you go ahead and mm -hmm. spin dash in, it's going to be a trade at worst. Oh, yes. Oh, we're trying for the max extension. Yeah, but the orbiter's failing. Glory out in that spot. Oh, yes. I don't blame just for going for it, though. He does need something like that right now. Oh, agreed. Oh, barely misses that one frame there. Oh. Missed the tech, but it had a couple extra jumps to get the angle right, so... Glory very nearly an unforced air right there, but instead, back in center stage, back in full control right here, and Trap again catches a roll, but just rolls out of it right there. Wasn't ready with the punish. Oh, good Gorbiters again. Glory really on point with these Gorbiters right now. Oh, okay. That's so smart. Glory perps is taking that hit to get closer to the ledge. Agreed, yeah, not even going to burn any of his jumps either. <laughs> Just down smash for damage at this point. Uh, yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, stale as heck, but it definitely a threat. At 128 right here. Oh no, the homing attack very nearly betrayed Just Move right there. We just need to see a solid minute and a half of like flawless neutral, and we're not going to see a second no, of flawless nope. neutral. Just another down smash to take it. These down smashes are putting in a lot of work, like a surprising amount of work here from Pit. Just like, I think down smash was like, what, 70% of that damage there? <laughs> it felt like it. We definitely saw like five or six in that last stock and a half. All right, if I were just who, I would absolutely not go back there. Yeah, agreed. I, I think that that was, you called it out immediately, and Glory showed us that. Hey, yes. it turns out, Gummy knows his stuff. <laughs> I'm curious as to where we are going then. I mean, I, I'd Kalos, potentially, if it was open, I'd definitely go ahead and... Mm -hmm take that opportunity. So let's see, locking in that dark pit, pit. Yeah. Oh, we're oh, going right we're going back. We're going back, okay. I wonder why. Yeah, yeah. I just, just, just we were saying that, hey, I have a game plan, it could work, I just need to go ahead and execute better. I see, that makes sense. Also, I was definitely, I had to check on that down smash, frame five actually, so yes. very, very quick there. That's probably why he's using it so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the up, the up smash is a little bit quicker because it cancels the shield animation, so that's uh, frame six. But right. I think the, the range on the down smash definitely, like, much better. Exactly. Because yeah. Sonic's always on the ground in this matchup. True, true. A little overzealous with that dash hack there from Glory. Just about to say the exact same thing. Great, great call out. <laughs> Couple more parries here from Jesu. A lot less errant spin dashes as well. So that's perhaps the plan here. Play a little bit more in shield. 
Ooh, good Gorbers again. Just who actually got the forward air on the Orbers last time, but for some reason it didn't work there. Oh, what? Spin Dash beat Electroshock? I don't think it has a ton of armor. So perhaps what it would just the, the multi hits right there, chop through it? Maybe. Or maybe. I know sometimes you can beat it if you hit before it comes out. Yeah, true. So on startup, that could be it too. Good little pivot grab right there. Force just would recover low and does not hit the two frame or the get up with that down smash. All right, this stock right here is really, really important, and just who loses it? Not yeah. good for him. Definitely, definitely not good for him. Definitely. This is one where Glory very much could go ahead and lock this in with one solid string. We really just need to see if, if you can get just with like 70 before you lose your stock, I'm, I'm calling it Glory. Yeah, I agree. What I'm saying, agree. He only has 12% left to that 70. Oh, oh, there it is. I was going to say, it would, it would have been pretty hype to leave Just Wu at 69 right there, just to prove me wrong, and then he takes the stock. And then he takes the stock. <laughs> that had to be, uh... Oh, a miss input so low with this spring, yes. it looked like. So this is the exact spot where Sonic can struggle, a character that typically likes to play from ahead and uses movement options to open up his opponent. When you're down by a stock plus, it is... Rough. Incredibly difficult. You have to play perfectly. Yes, so, you do. So, are we ready, Gummy, for some of the best neutral you've ever seen a Sonic do? We'll see. Uh, for for Jesu's sake, I sure hope so. For Game Five's sake, too, I also hope so. We we're hoping it'd be Game Five. Dash attack again, cannot quite catch Sonic, and this is exactly what Just Wu needs to do. Use that mobility, use that speed to go coast to coast and wait for Glory to start flailing. Indeed. I don't like Glory's uh, chasing him down so much. When yeah. It's far ahead. I agree. This is definitely toss out a couple more arrows, my friend. Those arrows have sure been putting in the work. All right, there we go. Does get the pick up with the down air, but not making too much out of it. A trapping situation, and Glory's been giving a ton of respect to Just Wu when Just Wu's getting up from the edge. Yes, he has been, which makes sense actually, because of that. Yeah. yeah. Recognizing that the aggressive back here can certainly be a threat, and only 74 here. This is that was a great stock from Just Wu. We just need to see another one like it. Ooh, not a good spot for him just right here. I think this might be it. Oh. Wow. That's it. Yep. Such a brutal disadvantage position right there. Glory taking it over Just Wu and punching his ticket into losers finals mm -hmm. against K24. Wow, this is gonna be a very interesting set. I'm really interested to see Glory versus K24 actually. Yeah, I'm I'm this is two characters with completely different mindsets. Yes, completely different. One is very, very neutral base, very I'm just gonna win these neutral directions, get you off stage, edge guard. The other, I'm going to get this one big opening. Yep. yep. I'm gonna hit you once and make you regret picking up the sticks tonight. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, in addition, this might be one where we go pit. Just yes. because um, the weird thing about Luigi's side B is that if you just go ahead and interact with it with anything with a hurt box, including a projectile, just that it isn't transcendent, it just stops. It just stops, just oh, stops going. Yeah, so this is a very bad matchup for K24. A bit of a yes. bad draw. We have potentially, mm -hmm. like a potential for top two position. Now you're in a very bad matchup. But I mean, Luigi has a lot of very bad matchups. Well, another interesting thing to think about is um, Glory actually beat Dexter to get here. Mm -hmm. And so if Glory also were to happen to win here, could he take the tournament? Ooh, that's a good point, actually. Yes. Wait, Glory beat Dexter to get here? Pretty sure he did, right? Uh, Dexter's in winner's finals, I believe. Mm, wait, yeah, wait, Dexter, wait. Dexter oh, wait, hasn't wait. lost yet. Oh, wait, I, I he get beat, it. He beat, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, um, Dexter beat Glory. My bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Glory beat DJ Shoryu. And wait, then... so both of these players have lost to, Glor uh, have lost to Dexter. Yes. Dexter is the the reaper of this bracket. Yes, he is. Yeah, Pink Fresh took out Deathless. Ah. K24 took out IRLC. Glory took out Cheddar. And Dexter took out Just Wu on the mm, winner's side. Okay. So yeah, Dexter's run actually has been pretty impressive. Yes, it has been. So we had, um, let's see, round one was Falafel into Guap, into Just Wu in winner's corners, into Glory in winner's semis, into K24 in winner's wow. finals. So okay. Yeah, that, is a, that is a run. That is a run right there, yeah. It's definitely one of those smaller brackets, but all the good players are out. Yes, yes. Like, like Boat, Just Wu, Glory, K24, and IRLC are all threatening to take make the PR right yes, now. Yes, that's the R, actually. 
I didn't even think about that. Wow. Really? What an exciting time. All right, lock it in. K24 versus Glory. And Gummy, who you got in this match? Who do I got? Hmm. That's a good question. That's just the matchup itself, pretty even, frankly. But if I were to have to guess on a player, I would say I think Glory is favorite here. I kind of think I agree with you, but K24 just like so, shown so much extra today. I think that after you beat Pink Fresh, anything is possible. That's very true. That's fair. But Glory, Glory is just so phenomenal with his edge guards. That's what has me worried about K24. Yeah, K24 ain't never getting back if, if Glory <laughs> has the opportunity. <laughs> exactly. So far, this is the tail of the matchup right here. Glory having the edge in neutral, and K24 struggling for that one big hit so far. It's a Zare, but can't get the up tilt afterwards. Gets the neutral air up tilt into a big string, and all of a sudden that lead is gone. Ooh, my, that stock might be gone too. Good match from Glory. That's the second time tonight that we've seen somebody match out of K24's grabs. Yeah, I think he just let it rip earlier. Agreed. A little bit too greedy. That is insane to me. That actually is. Agreed. Sonic Spin Dash beats that move, but Luigi Dash Attack doesn't. He was really diff. inside of him too. Three times in a row getting that downbeat. Hey, if at first you don't succeed. Do it again. Big opportunity there. Great recognition on KG4 to back off after that up tilt. Glory playing very scared here with Luigi. It seems like there's like, lots of respect here. A little over respectful. I understand why, but. But yeah, eventually you just gotta be like, listen, I I'm better than. Exactly. Like, I've got the better frame data. I've got the disjoints. I I I'm not so afraid of you. Exactly. And at 68, you don't really have that much to be afraid of. A good recovery from K24. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be the pivotal part of this matchup is how many Indeed. times can K24 make it back off stage. I, I can't imagine that that was the correct yeah, option. Absolutely. Yes. I'm I think that was a, trying to do a turnaround up B. I'm sure it was a, tried to be a turnaround up B. Very unfortunate. But very funny. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> yep, baiting out the down B. Also trying to wait out for a down B there too, but K24 is smart. Just wanted to mix it up. So one thing the K24, oh no. Oh no. I, I had to wait. It, on PS2 maybe, but definitely not on this stage. Yes. One thing the K24 can do in this matchup if he decides to be a little bit spicy is you can duck under and approach those arrows. Oh no. Oh no. Still, still kept his double. Oh, I thought I died. Wow. I thought he body blocked it. Oh, what an aggressive option. K24. So These two are slugging on each other right now. I think it's a re-grab. Yep. Glory struggling and usually uh, hard to get these edge guards. It's not typical of him. Yeah, so far, K24 is doing a great job of mixing it up. But yes, he is. You gotta wonder how much more tricky can you be. Yep, and just like you said it. Yeah, there's only so many cards you can play in that position for exactly. sure. Exactly. So unironically an even game now. It's both players have the ability to kill them immediately. Just who's gonna get the big hit. Not looking so even anymore though. K24 at zero. Woo. Oh that pressure. Was, that was so much, so much pressure. Do it again? Yeah. Broke it, yep. No orbiters for a little bit. Good just recognition by Glory that you can just go ahead and commit to that option too. Yes. On that platform, a lot of other pits would just have dropped in. Yes, and would have died. Oh, no. reversing. Oh, Toss him off stage, yeah, back yep. there immediately. Now we got an ledge guard opportunity. No, is that head trapping? Oh, the multi-hits have betrayed Glory in a pivotal it's position. Such a huge position for that. Oh my gosh, I hope he doesn't lose for that. Good DI. Oh, he lost for it, no way. My gosh. Oh my god, K24 got back to stage and is like, all right, we'll bet <laughs> we win these. <laughs> that is so tragic. That is actually one of the, like you said, we've talked about the multi-hits, but I think multi-hits actually really hold Pit back sometimes. Just the fact that he has to rely on so many of them. Yep, and Pit, and we also saw it with Kirby. It's like yes, sometimes yes. like characters that rely on multi-hits for aerials that can't have consistent strings, it just makes the characters so much harder. It does, yes. I mean, it, 
SDI got tuned down quite a bit, like an incredible amount for Smash 4 Yes. Like but it's still really good. It's still really good, Which yes. just tells you how nuts uh, SDI is like used to be. Yeah, and SDI used to be crazy. It's crazy to me that like in Smash 4, SDI was also turned down from Brawl. Brawl, yes, where it was even crazier. Where multi-hits literally never functioned. If you yes. had a multi-hit smash attack, you would never get the strong hit. Yeah, so you just never use it, basically. Yeah. Diddy Kong forward smash, you could SDI out of reliable. Yep. I remember that. All right, K24 taking the first game. Ouch. A little bit of a war projectiles to get started, but Glory does land the first big hit. Off stage is K24, stuck in a lead trap, but can't get the back air, so we're back to scrapping. K24 loves his scrap. If you try to go too close to him off stage, he will just scrap his way down with that forward air. Just something he's very good at. Oh, that was a nice little jump over the gap attack. Boom. K24 is being much more aggressive with his lead trapping. It feels like Glory just gives up the lead trapping half the time, actually. Yeah, it feels like Pitt's lead trapping isn't particularly phenomenal because of how long his moves last. Right. But you still kind of just want to go the Dexter route and be reactive. Exactly. Don't hit buttons. Wow, what a recovery. <laughs> and very nearly sending your opponent a message at the end of it. Did he touch the ground? I don't know, actually. No, we did not. I was oh. I was very curious about that, but Glory, the unforced error following K24 to the depths. It's very unfortunate he got that angle wrong. He has no drift after his upbeat. No, none whatsoever. Very odd decision, actually. Fox-esque, actually. Yes. It's like Pit, Fox, and Ridley all have really, really bad drift after their upbeat. Yes, they do. <laughs> I love the little, little Luigi checks right there. Run forward, one hit. Wait for the reaction. Ooh, so good from uh, K24. Amazing light trap there with that new flare. Definitely a powerful tool in Luigi's kit right here. Again, just light trapping not actually punishing K24's get up attempts. Yes. It's like he's scared of like, getting reversed or something. But at this point, you can't be. Yes, very smart by K24. I mean, he's going to die for it, but I think that was 100% no, the right No, I option. think that was definitely the right option. That Absolutely. was the match right there. You have to have the confidence to go for that in those options. And if you get the execution error, if you make the mistake, it's like, sure, I'll get it next time. Exactly. And we're talking about it. This match seems to be, right now, a uh, match of confidence, frankly. Yeah, who gives the other their opponent too much respect? Yes. And so far, it's kind of been glory a little bit. It has been, yes. Like, we haven't seen any of the Luigi Zero to Death shenanigans. We've seen a couple big strings, but... Uh-oh. Not yet. Next grab will probably be it, though. Bit of a panic situation resetting to the edge, but good DI out right, after yes. that weekend neutral. They're not getting caught with that option twice. Keeps on for just wailing on Glory. No fear. Maybe you should have a little bit of fear now. Maybe a little bit of fear, yes. I that, thought I was, was going to suck in the stage again. Yeah, not getting stuck in the stage. Instead, the misfire definitely bailed K24 out. And he got stopped. No way. The wow. misfire intercepted with the arrow and glory. We talked about it before the match. That's yes. all you need to intercept Luigi's recovery. Yep. Wow, that is crazy. And again, like we talked about as well, Glorious needs to start landing these edge guards. Mm -hmm. That's really what the match is going to come down to. How many times does K24 get back? And you know the messed up part is that I think that Misfire might have killed K24. Like if it, Misfires have a longer animation. Yes, they do. So he might have been stuck there for more mm, time that than makes had sense. he not misfired. Wow. That's the worst when a Misfire kills you. <laughs> that actually is the worst. This is a nail by a reset here. All right. Game three, PS2. Interesting. Actually makes sense to me. This is typically what I would pick against Luigi, just in general. I feel like the, it's really easy to hop between those platforms. Yeah, I feel like K24 really likes this stage, though, because just the, the the fact that it's a little bit broader and that it gives you that lip to be able to recover under, Yes. it gives a couple options to Luigi instead of just getting caught in the corner and punished continuously. Fair. That makes sense. Never thought about that. Yeah, it's like if you're confident in your wall and ceiling techs, then this stage can't be solid. Are you going to get the upbeat? No, instead just a Cyclone and great DI from Glory. 
Down air? Oh, that's there. Oh, I, I swear he meant to down air. I was so confused. Like, he's going to die for that. Yeah, that's definitely a too long of an animation to be playing down that low. So now just basically trying to get that single hit right there is K24. But I'm, I'm loving the respect that K24 is giving to Glory in his decisions to box. In yes. Like, he's not just going for zero death cheese. He's willing to toss out that forward air and get 40% and call it. Yeah, exactly. He's willing to just get these nice, I mean, this is still a lot of damage. These conversions, they just don't have, have to be the best one. Yeah, he's not fixating yeah, on exactly. the, uh, the zero to death or the, the throw confirms. Good parry there on his air. Oh, wow. And look at the damage here. How does Luigi get down? Apparently, neutral air trades with up air. That's the only way back. That was actually a cyclone. A thing. cyclone? Yeah. yeah. Just before the invulnerable came out? Yes, it was. Oh, what a, what a spike. It's up. He's certainly vulnerable to those. And Glory tried an odd angle with K24 ready with the intercepts. And, and, indeed, indeed. Glory with a big opportunity right here, but aggressive out of disadvantage is K24, and that was definitely the right option. Speaking of aggressive, Glory's playing a lot more aggressive for Liege as well. Just in general here. He's really trying to seal us out. Uptilt not going to connect. Trying for those big combo starters is K24. It's a back off right there. It's like, all right, you, you can go ahead and toss out that smash attack. I don't want any part of it. See if we're going to make it back. Oh, wow. On the stage. What a good mix up. Just a little bit of sweet chin music right there. I respect it. That was so smart, getting, just getting that damage. I, I'm fairly certain there were more optimal things that Luigi could have done. Like, he could have done, like, a falling nair combo, but god dang, was that more satisfying. It was more satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> Good commitment to shield right there for Glory, recognizing that you can react to the attempt at any kind of a grab right there with the plunger. Trying to end it right there with that down air. This is actually really scary for me right now because this isn't really a good percentage for Luigi to get a kill or a combo. So K24 has to play neutral, and Glory is winning every neutral interaction. Indeed. Is, is he going to can in this ledge trap here? Oh, nope. Just reversal off the ledge. That's oh, it. no, the That's air dodge. It. An immaculate stock from Glory. Yes, indeed, indeed. Start really just trying to push these uh, edge guards here in these ledge trap situations. Like we, like we talked about that earlier in the first game, I think, where he was a little hesitant at the ledge, a little hesitant with his edge guards, but now Glory's just full sending it. Yeah, pedal to the metal. Yes, and it's paying off. You talked about Glory potentially giving a little bit too much respect to K24. The respect yes. is gone. It is absolutely gone. <laughs> I, I don't know what that Some, was. Somebody is very unhappy about Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> I heard, I think it was a get that Luigi off the stream. That's what I think it was, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Glory got the homies in chat, and there are no fans of Luigi. No love for the grappler. Oh, you used your double jump. That's you it. need a misfire, I think. Misfire, one more. Should one attempt. Oh my gosh, no way. He is a true Luigi he is a main. a true Luigi main. Every now and then, Sakurai blesses someone with a green cap and a little <laughs> bit of extra luck. This is this is seeming like we're going to game five right here. I think if I'm, so. If I'm glory, so. I'm tilted. I don't know about you. No, I completely feel that. <laughs> Slowly, Glory slowly just advancing, taking more and more space as K24 just keeps giving it up. Yep, and again, more aggressive than his lead traps now. Getting that down smash to connect in that spot, not going for a two-frame. Just pivoting around and being patient mm -hmm. again, not yes. hitting the button until Luigi whiffs an area. Dan's going to kill. It will indeed, and Glory takes his first stock. 94-2, actually a pretty good percentage to be at, because you're not going to die down to a Cyclone. You're not going to die to any Commissar. You just have to play this carefully. Yeah, we haven't really seen any any attempts at something like a down throw up B either, so it yes. might be a little bit awkward percentage-wise or drift-wise. 
Yep. Good DI yet again. Yeah, yes. that won't kill to like 150 or so. Yeah. All right, we're getting close to that 150 mark, though. And K24 tried to go for it. Stay oh getting open. Up. I don't think no, he's double jump here. No double jump. Oh, oh, Glory didn't recognize and went too low. Good bait, though, and the whip punch. Attempt. Yeah, this nice. is. We are. We are relying on the Cyclone a little too much in this position. Yes, we are indeed. The fact that Bale has up smash. Oh, what a side B. Two stock lead now for Glory and for K24. It's looking like it's a little op too much aggression in these spots. Agreed. He's getting, I think he's panicking right here. He just doesn't want the, you know, so far, such a run just to lose it here. This could probably go through his head. This is an even game with one grab, though. We can it never is. count out that Luigi X Factor. Absolutely and not. And nobody knows it better than K24. That's right. Oh, this is the percentage, too. This is the best percentage for Luigi. 11. Oh, okay. That is an interesting option. Cyclone in that spot. And they're committing to shield again. Glory just recognizing that, hey, it does not matter what Luigi wants to do if he can cross you up. He's just going to do no damage if I stay defensive. That's right. Out by the neutral air into another edge trap situation. This is a rough spot. Can you make it back out here? You do. Oh, a chance. Definitely not. No, no we're not gonna go now. Dash attack might on this stage in another like five or so percent though. I think so. That's gonna take it. Oh wow, I'm wrong. Wow. Everybody think that thinks that move kills early, but it's really just because of the throw. This was, that makes sense. All right, I can only describe K24's run so far as magical. Yes. We <laughs> gotta see if he's got one more card up his sleeve right here. Can you get that grab? It's all he needs right now. Oh, barely missing it. I got grabbed by that. I got grabbed by there too. Off stage has full suite of resource right here. Has burned the double jump, and the orbiters will that block was so it. So good. What an edge guard. Glory saving that little special something yes. for the pivotal moment indeed, in that match. Indeed, indeed. Wow, what a play. Wow. That was, I mean, props to K24 for making a couple phenomenal upsets. Indeed, Squid indeed. Squid Plumber and Min Min get knocked down to this Luigi player's mitts, but uh, Glory would not be denied. No, he will not. He wants that run back with Dexter. Zero, um, zero deaths, by the way. Yeah, I noticed that, actually. None. None at all. That is, that is crazy. The anti-grab game was on point. Indeed, indeed. That's what you need against Luigi. Mm -hmm. You yeah, really do. You need to recognize what his win conditions are and do not allow him any opportunities to grab. Mithra, interesting. That yes. actually makes a lot of sense because um, Glory tends to just do really well against Wolf, technically. He just tends to play really well against that character, but Mithra is so fast, it's very hard for Pit. Huh. All right, so we have seen the secondary here on Dex get more and more play as of late, and he does have a full set to play with here in Grand Finals, so we'll have to see if this DLC FP2 character yes. is going to be the X Factor that Dexter needs. Indeed. Good roll from Dexter trying to get out there. Something interesting about this matchup is Pick gets a lot off grab, and Mithra is going to uh, have slower dodges to grabs because of Foresight. Foresight does not go through grab. Oh. Huh. Yep. Well, that is true. Yeah, I, I get that. So, yeah, the platform does get hit with that up tilt, but Dex could not quite extend the combo. Pit, the, the part that I've seen Pit always struggle with in this matchup is just landing. Even with Orbiters, Mithra's so fast. How does he get down? Yeah, that, that is a, a very, very good point. Like, I, I can't imagine that this is a fun matchup for Pit. Good God. Yeah, Mithra must be miserable. All right, the Pyro Switch is on board now. Dexter just trying to end it there with that down air. Four throw, that fourth throw is actually surprisingly strong. And then just watching Pit try to recover. And watching just. Pit recover with a side B. No reaction from Dex. <laughs> Just taking it. Right on the chin. Oh, no. Uh oh. I thought that he was about to be a down air. Is there nothing? 
Okay. Okay, there we are. I was about to say. I was sitting there, like, is there nothing this character can do about orbiters? It turns out up here beats orbiters. Yes. Answered immediately. Oh, this is a really bad spot for Mithra. Really, really bad spot. Barely misses the arrow on that double jump. That would have taken it. That jump a little bit errant right now, so Dexter off stage. Arrow doesn't intercept and no two frame opportunity here. Jumping from edge, though, this should be an easy punish. Yes, yeah. it should be. This should be it. Rinse and retreat. Now you're just dead here, yep. Doesn't even need to go ahead and toss out another arrow. So now we're going to need to see quite a bit here from Dex to make this comeback. I feel like that's kind of one of the weaknesses of Mithra Agreed. as a character, is that this character just does no damage, so when you're down this much, you're going to be clipped if you're not perfect with your new team. Agreed, agreed. And because you already want to take the initiative of her. Seeing a lot more power here at the ledge, though. Pit really struggles to get past these hitboxes. Oh my gosh, he couldn't even run away from that down here. Oh, good. Combo's on point there, down tilt up air. Good spot dodge too, but now we're starting to see the, the problem with Pyra is that this character's a little bit too slow to capitalize. Agreed. Pitt's actually going to have the mobility advantage here, but that down air is just absurd. That hitbox is nuts. Yes, it is nuts. So you're that talking down about air is absurd. Is absurd. The hitbox is nuts. And evening of the game. Real talk, it's it's just Pitt's down air too. It has a really similar, like, just the yes. arc definitely below him, but uh, Pit could never. No, just <laughs> massive Pit down air. Imagine if Pit actually had a sword. All right, Dexter, evening it up slowly but surely. Yeah, 5 to 10% at a time right here. If it works, it's all you need. This or pits. Orbiters are not looking good in this matchup. No, they, no, because even when you... Do them, Mithra just swings again. The lead has vanished. So now Pyra out for blood, just needs this one strong hit. To go ahead and end it. Back to another edge trap here as Glory recovers and actually Dex gets the tech. Good tech from Dex. Might that saved him so much. Necessary. Oh no, that was an edge. That was a put, absolutely. Good recovery there. That's it. Nope. Uh, too high. Too much percent, actually. Will Dex make this comeback? It's it's very... just, he just tossed it out them big old hitboxes. One of them will work. Yeah, one They're of them also work. safe, by the way. Wow, what a hard-fought comeback from Dex. Really, really well played. Yeah, that was a... That was a brutal one right there for Glory, because yes, you got the early stock, mm -hmm. and you figure, okay, now I have a lead, I can play a little bit more defensively, right. but you saw how bad the matchup looks. Yes. The Orbiters were neutralized time and time again, and then Mithra was just an overwhelming force in neutral. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mithra was just over, like we like I was talking about earlier, when Mithra's overwhelming neutral, overwhelming when you're trying to land, too. That's the other hard part. It's just really, really tough, because you Orbiters, and then you just get trapped anyway. It does look as though the record here does favor Dexter in the last four matches. Dex has won every single one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So this could very well be a bit of a difficult spot here for Glory, trying to go ahead and make the comeback against the counter pick character. Yes, indeed, indeed. So we have some nice single music out here. Appreciate that very much. Oh, yeah, definitely the music counterpicks. It isn't the, uh, what is it, 85 meters nonsense that we were dealing with yes, before. Yes. <laughs> Good angle there from Gloria trying to avoid that two frame. <laughs> the neutral air for neutral air. Uh, these characters really do have quite a few hitboxes that yes. are like very, very similar. Very similar yeah, I didn't even except think about Mithra's that. just better. Good DI there, Glory. Up and in to make sure that he didn't get uh, down tilt too uh, F smashed. Like even their dash attacks are really similar too. Yes, they are. I didn't realize how similar these characters were in terms of hitboxes. This is this is a homework copying character. Yeah, let me see them notes real quick here. Sure. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. I think you're still dead. Yeah, there's no drift at the end of that. Yep. Good edge guard there from Glory. That's that's what Pit has in this matchup though. That is the one save of grace. This is another saving grace that Pyra has, yes, though. It's it like is. Fall from the angel platform with a big hitbox. Surely this will kill. Max damage combo right there from Dex. And yes. gets the two frame, too. But Glory really good in these DIs in these two frames. Up and in. 
Make sure to not get down until that smash. Forcing either an up smash or just another aerial. Falling out the jab. That's Why is it that Pitt's multi hits don't work? And I've never seen anybody fall out of anything that Mithra has for multi hits. Sakurai might just hate this character. I think it's weird because he even <laughs> developed Pitt's game. Well, I mean, how many of the uh, Kirby cast characters are good in this one? That's true. I didn't think about that. Didn't Sakurai voice D3? He did. He also developed help with those games, too. Mm -hmm. So maybe just Sakurai, he gives his artist challenges to his favorite children. <laughs> No up be out of shield. Instead, just a platform drop up till such an interesting option from Dex. Indeed. And boy, did it pay off. I think that's it. Yep, yep. It's just air dodge too low. Yeah, that's definitely one of those where I, I mentioned this last week. I think when we commentated too, I have never seen Dexter use the down B as a um, as a air dodge. Yes, he needs to start doing that. Frankly, if I'm Pit, I'm just going over into ledge and just exactly. Like, I'll take the corner. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I know your edge trapping is good, but anything to get me the hell out of here. Gosh. That's just trying to end it there. No double jump, no double jump. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, just the aggressive up B, I dig that. It's I quick that enough too. so that Dexter, um, Dexter can make it back before Glory can react to it. Exactly. So back to a last stock, last hit situation right here. Same as the last one here, where Dex is just going to toss out these safe aerials until Glory is going to have to find a way through this hitbox barrage. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Oh, no. I wouldn't Providence oh, no. game. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate teleport to the blast zone. I like the idea from Dexter, but ever so slightly off. No, Dexter, uh, Glory actually had had it covered. Dexter was just trying to pull a little too back to avoid it and just... Ah, I see. There was no... no Couldn't pull back any further than he did. So. Yeah, he pulled back, back plenty. That's for yes, dang sure. That's for sure. Just using your character to body block your opponent is one of those, like, big brain options. Yes, it really is. Like, some characters like Krom, you can't do that to Krom. But Pithra, thank God. Yes. If Pithra's upbeat... Dra or Myth Pyra specifically, if Pyra's upbeat dragged the opponent down, this might be the best character in the game. Oh, easily. I know. I agree. They made sure to not have that happen. Thank oh, God. Thank yes, God. Agreed. Thanks, Sakurai, for that one thing. I that agree. one thing about this character. <laughs> all right, we have all Bastion. I don't think we've seen a Sage all night. It's definitely one of my favorite Sages to play on, actually. Yeah, I think this is a really interesting stage. In I stages. agree. It's like a lot of characters like it for completely different reasons. I agree. And it's actually very different from Smash Bros. Pain, too. 100% agree on you there, right there. Like Smashville, I do want another small stage though for Smashville. Agreed. I, I don't like how if, if you ban Smashville, there are no like tiny stages left. Agreed. I 100% I agree there. But this stage is like nice mid side stage where um, it just feels very neutral, frankly. True. That's why what we need is if we need another counter pick small stage, unban Castle Smash. I actually agree. Oh my god, another, another believer. <laughs> There's so few. Every time I every time I say that, my co-commentator usually looks at me like I'm a match. No. It has issues, but it's definitely the best of the small ones that are left. Uh oh. Okay. Good saving your double jump there, Dexter. Up throw two to go ahead and extend the combo and again exploit Pitt's inability to come down. The strength yes. of juggling. Started to do very well for Dex in this game. Rolls in and immediately into the down smash on that tech situation. Glory trying to go ahead and get the dash grab, but ever so slightly off. Definitely had the right read, just not quite the perfect execution. No double jump. It's just it. No recognition either. We didn't switch over to Mithra. Yeah, exactly. This feels like the opposite match, that, or kind of like a continuation of the match that Glory just played. Where it's like, yeah, I'm kind of going to lose if we have to play neutral, but um, if I get you off stage, though, you just die. Exactly. That's how I frankly think that if you can play up against Pyramithra, you should be playing up against Pyramithra. You just treat it like a two and a half stock game. Yeah, or, th this is definitely one of those characters like Sheik where they're going to hit you a million times. You just kind of have to deal with it. Exactly. Like, yeah, that's just what the character does. Yep. Take the edge, don't get greedy, and then eventually you'll get a chance to play the game if they make a mistake. Which they have to eventually. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for them not to. It usually comes when they're trying to get the kills. Exactly. Ooh, very interesting option from Dexter. I respect it, though. 
That orbiters again, and Glory reacting viscerally to that one. He was definitely speaking to a few folks right there. Yes, he afterwards. was. And I don't think we can uh, sub that one. No, we cannot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting caught right there with the neutral double jump expended. Oh, neutral air dodge missing. ever so slightly off. Great drift from Dex. Slowly racking up this extra credit here, Dexter is. You know, I am honestly might want to play as Pyrrhon these, in these high percentages situations. I agree. I just feel like tossing out the big hitboxes is so low risk against Glory's pit. Yes, And in is. this spot, it's like, yeah, you can go ahead and get like better neutral in general, but if you make a mistake, you're just dead. With Pyra, it's like, I hit the down air and drift away. There is no mistake to be made. Exactly. Bigger moves, and you have the lead, so you can just actually play like a real sortie. Yeah, like a real sortie. Exactly. Wow, what an aggressive option from Dex here. We're really getting him out of that very precarious situation. Down throw into the forward air, it looked like in that position. Now Pyra on deck, trying for the kill in the corner. Doesn't get the jump out, and now... That was aggressive from Dex. Oh my gosh, Pyra being so thin, she cut out that combo. You're dead? Oh, wow. You're dead. Switch, please, Dexter. I'm begging you. Get the switch. No. He's got to learn to switch. He has to learn to switch. A hundred percent. That's one of those spots where in two positions, either just doing it as an air dodge yep. or putting it, just swapping to Mythos so you have access to the side B yeah. or the better drift on the up B. Mm -hmm. But both of those times, Dexter's still thinking as though he's playing one character. You have to go ahead and use this similar to Pokemon Trainer. You yes. can't be a Squirtle main. You have to be a PT player. That's correct, exactly. That happens a lot of these multi-character characters like PT, Pyramithra. Mm -hmm. I will only have those two, but both of them, ha those mains, mains of those characters don't have that problem where they just prefer one or the other. They have to learn to beat play as one. Yep, they have to have the fluidity to go yes. ahead and swap between the two immediately. Just Indeed. recognizing this situation calls for this character. Yep. Instead of thinking, I am at high percentages, or I'm at, they're at high percentages, so I go for the character that kills. Right. Because there are other options there. Now, I've seen Cosmos actually go on Pyra at low percentages. It's just because they have access to the side. Game. Exactly. Uh oh. There's no double jump here, so we have to side B immediately. Oh, he should have just jumped over that. There was no way for Dexter to get high enough. Great grab in that position right there. Gonna go ahead and get a good bit of damage. And then the Pyra and the medium Mithra swap. Just saying, hey, I want to toss out an up air. Oh, wait, no, I can't here. Whoa, what was that? I've never seen that before. Yeah, it, I think it was like a ledge cancel. It looks like a ledge cancel thing, yeah. Yeah. Same pit mains in the chat who know what that was, let me know. All three of them in the world. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a character that we do not see typically at this late in bracket, but there's no double jump. That's it. That's it. Yeah, Glory showing us that he belongs in grand finals. That's right. I do believe the Glory's won his Andu before, too. So. He has won his Andu before. Over Pink Fresh. That's correct. He's won a couple over Pink Fresh, I think. Yeah, they're actually 6-6, six and six, so they have an even record. Yep. Crazy. Oh, it's probably, oh, good uh, glory, but just keeping this going and going. No bad DI there in that back air. I mean, I wouldn't have been ready to do that one to That's survive fair. in that spot, That's too. Fair. It's like, oh, the, the weak hit or the late hit of back air randomly killed me at 120. Huh. <laughs> Must ju just mit Pithra things. It's crazy, because we were talking about how Mithra's damage output is pretty low, but it feels like Glory has hit Dex for so many times, and it's only 47% of the board. Yeah, both characters have a little bit of the, the sheet guide is there, just yes. low damage output per move. Great empty short hop right there. Typically, you don't see these slower characters like Pit get away with that too much. Yes. Good hold on the orbiters, too. We like You talked about it earlier, how Glory just knows to hold it in spots where a lot of Pit mains would drop it. That's it. Dexter on the last stock here of this first set in Grand Finals. We may very well see the reset here if Glory keeps playing this well. It feels as though the, the Aegis was good for game one, but not so much for the rest of the set. I really like those little neutral air one hit ones that reverse people back onto the ledge that Glory's been doing. 
Glory just doing a lot of, I'm there first against Pyra because Pyra's moves are so slow. Uses uh -oh. the double jump and again, no swap into the interception. Yep. Wow. Yeah, 3-1 in set one for Glory. He just won game one and then never again. And that last one, it did not look particularly close. I would not be surprised if the space animal comes out here. Agreed. That's exactly what I was going to say. Wolf is probably flying in right now, so to speak. Back to PS2. Smashville for game one of set two. That means the wolf is probably coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Dexter loved to say just wolf. Whoa. Oftentimes banned against him because it just becomes, oh, I get a back through at 30. Oh, now it's uh, ledge yes. trapping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I went there one time against him. Never get. I never got a I, I, that's. I think this is K Rule's best stage. I went K Rule Wolf once. And this, I'm just like, never again. Yes. Get me the heck out. <laughs> All right. Starting off now. If, uh, curious to see how Dexter, what changes here. So far, we are seeing the traditional Dexter Wolf, which is perfectly positioned forward airs, and then threatening the edge traps in two frames. A healthy diet of these disjoints, actually throwing Pit for a loop. Ooh, had that read in the roll in there, just barely missed the execution, though. Good high up for side B. Interesting delay right there. The deck didn't feel like he was ready to, or didn't know if Pit had crossed him up or not in that position, so he was reluctant to go for the grab. Still has a double jump in this spot, but just going to go aggressive with the Wolf Flash, and the down smash actually hits with the back hit, so not going to knock him away. Oh, so good for Glory to jump above that. Oh, my gosh. Glory, Glory kind of cooking all of a sudden. He is hooking. The stage playing against Dexter. Dexter actually struggling to land here. Actually, beat, the beat is for now. Uh, I, I will. I have stopped being surprised at the number of things Wolf back air beats. You know what? I should. I should. Do. <laughs> it's one of those where like it's like maybe I'll be shocked if it beats like a cloud back air, but right. I, it barely. Oh, no jump, no jump. Perhaps not a recognition there from Glory because it felt like Glory like faded back to hit trap instead of yes. trying to overextend. That just can't land in this. No, it cannot. It's just too, stage too small. Oh, oh no, no. Dex. The, the traditional Dexter classic of just minor misinputs off stage into SDs and brutal spots. Yes. Goy really feeling himself right now. Oh, he actually got through that up air string. I really thought Dexter was going to connect right there, but instead it was Glory. He's just in the right spot at the right time so often. Glory is. His timing is actually really impeccable right now. Just all of his options. Yeah, he's just with punishing Dexter so well. This is not a character that's typically easy to do. No, agreed. The grab again. Look, that was there was another back here coming out. I saw the future on that one. Yes. And I thought that Glory was dead. That's it. Yep. Wow. Yeah, little tip for folks looking to improve their wolf win rates. That move, the hurt box travels before the hitbox. Mm -hmm. So if you have any kind of disjoint, you can challenge it. Glory definitely knew that. That's correct. Yeah, I, I, him. I have uh, beaten that out before with Mario Neutral Air. It's like, <laughs> I, I feel so smart right now. <laughs> so yeah, Glory, very brave to go ahead and challenge that because I, I have seen Glory challenge it once or twice and he's gotten unlucky and just died and just died because that move with the neutral air of Pit is not continuous. No, it's not. So there are little gaps right there and every now and then Dex will find one of those gaps and just kill you at zero with the side beat. But definitely the correct option going off stage when you have that full stock lead. All right, for some reason somebody picked a uh, song from Platoon. But. Muck Warfare. I don't think I've ever heard this song before. I don't think I've ever heard it either. I play this game a lot. So far, Glory on a four-game win streak against Dex. Let's see if that continues. Indeed. Good DI from Glory. Again, just fading out. Glory trying everything he can to make sure he doesn't have to up B into a down smash. Because that's going to be a big issue that in this matchup. If he gets sent too far, just dead at 60. Yes. 
Down here, cutting through the platform too, interrupting whatever shenanigans Dexter was trying to set up. If I'm Dexter, I'm trying to get aware that Glory's not going to upbeat the legend and just straight jump there and dive and jump for it. Yep. He waited. Yeah, you called it out. That's the deck special. Just a little bit of patience goes a long way in those situations under the platform. All right, so now Dexter looking to widen this lead right here, just about lapping glory in percentage. I am, uh, this has been a bit of a change of pace. It feels like Dexter may have needed that one game because he's not treating Wolf like Aegis. Like his Aegis, he was being really aggressive, tossing yes. out a ton of four days. That's exactly what we saw at the start of the Grand Finals reset, that he just came out swinging and Glory just like, bet, I'm going to fade back. Exactly, and then just he took it over and over. And I think Smashville actually worked against him, but this age, with a little more space, just a little more space, is working a lot better because he can actually fade back. And now a two-stock lead, and you have to wonder, it's like, how did Glory make that look so easy game one? I know, right? Finds a forward air off the ledge, but still, this is a rough spot. And again, these fadebacks like you've talked about. And now he's starting to toss out the uh, the, the neutral B. That gun is going to be a big game changer if he can start to reliably punish Glory's dash-ins. Indeed. Well, we can't DI it down. Can't DI it in that. Always just DI out and down throw. Mm -hmm. It's just a mix-up. It it's it's mix -up, never yeah. true. Yeah. Or at least not a kill percent. Yes. Oh, you said the blaster coming out now. Ooh, good side beat, but. This has kind of been a solid stock from Glory, though. Dexter does manage to land. That's usually a recipe for disaster here. Is now Glory in a bit of an awkward position. Dexter trying to go ahead and open up with one of these weak hit neutral airs. No double jump. It's dead, yeah. Good call out. Oh my gosh, that crab actually missed. A little bit of a gimmer tech, and I think that that was purposeful right there. Okay. Yeah, I think so too, actually. You're right. Actually, just use it to jump away and get the edge for free. Yep. Knew it. Yeah, we talked about earlier, Dexter just has to know that Glory's not going to not gonna be. going to try and jump over onto an overledge, basically, because he doesn't want to get down smash. Yeah, and Glory right there is definitely going for a little bit of that planking mix-up yes, that yes. he's been getting away with for quite a while. And Dexter just time, he was at roll distance. He's like, I don't have to worry about the hitboxes, so you just go ahead and spend all of your jumps indeed, indeed. hopping in place. I got them boots. They're going to be waiting. <laughs> waiting they were indeed. I've also, I've been kind of like cracking up at this. Both players always take a minute directly after the game to adjust their glasses. Yes, that's true. <laughs> it's like two or three true. times in a row. It's like they win. It's like, all right, now we got the adjustment period. Now we're going back in. <laughs> All right, FD. Interesting. I wonder what the purpose of this stage is. Do you have any ideas? Uh, if I'm Glory, I think that I'm recognizing that the biggest strength that I have in this match is that Dexter has a hard time landing mm. if you can toss him up. So perhaps just trying to min-max that right here. That makes sense. The problem is that Dexter has also got a pretty solid uh, juggle game. Yes, it may not so be as thinking. good as Pits, but uh, definitely worth exploiting. Swift punch again. Dexter keeps DIing in on these down throws, which to be fair, at that percent makes sense, but. Also, the characters with five jumps really feel like they love Final D because they can just exploit their verticality. That it's really sense. hard for people to like catch pit when he decides to like triple jump up on the stage. Oh, nice that angle. I, I mean, I hate to look for a correlation here and when we've only had two games, but it does feel as though when Dexter suicides, um, he, it's a hard match for him. <laughs> Agreed. Throwing away a stock may not be a recipe for success. Maybe it is, though, because that backer sure going to take it. I kid, I kid. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I had to take a minute. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, only 11% here. I, I've been chastised. Dexter's out here trying to show that he, that he gives away that stock for free because he's a very charitable man. <laughs> Good fake out there from Glory with his uh, Corbiters. Neutral air to Rapid Jab for a solid damage. Indeed. <laughs> Just beating out Pit Neutral air. 
That back air from Glory had to be a missing play. It's crazy to me that you can parry that move and it's got so much hit stun. Like, you're in parry animation for so, so long. Yes. That you just can't do a dang thing about it. Nice and Glory just dying away, going to ledge, not getting hit there. Oh my gosh, Wolf pancaked under the, the pit up smash. Just waiting again. He actually flashed the reflector there too, so I'm digging that option. Yep. Waiting for the Glory to swing. Yep, exactly. Glory getting a little antsy here. Oh, great oh, charge right there. I think he had the right idea, but Dex able to get the shield up in time is a little bit too slow. Yeah, right idea, wrong execution, unfortunately. Awesome off stage yet again. Dexter setting up for another lead trap and potentially trying to go ahead and go low with that back air. That was a very optimistic back air. That was I wanted the game to be over now, <laughs> back air. Indeed. With this rage, back air does kill. Dexter knows just as well as I do as he's tossing them out. That's true. I think about that. Point blank range with the neutral B, and so far unable to make too much out of it, though. Once again, protecting yep. Pit and the dash attack yet again, catching Glory so reluctant to get two frame that mm -hmm. instead he's been getting hit in the teeth. Every time, yes. It's been three times now. Like, the last three of six stocks have been just that dash attack. So there was an interesting question in chat here between the games saying that the idea that Pit is honest is propaganda. Interesting. What do interesting. you think about that? So I think after the buffs, I tend to agree somewhat yeah. because um, the Orbiter buffs really did make it so that being able to block in the air is not frankly honest. Yes. Yes. But the rest of the character is. Yeah, the character definitely feels like that one thing. It's like it's it's, it's a new, it's a disadvantage skip. Yes. If you have if you have any kind of skips, if you skip neutral, the combo game or the disadvantage state, then you're not honest. Right. And now he's got a disadvantage skip. That's Orders correct. has been really tuned up. Yes, it has. Like but, other than that, if you get hit by pit, it's your own damn fault. Right. Right. Because he doesn't have any way to like get in other than like crossing up with the aerials. Correct. But uh, but yeah, orbiters are orbiters are enough to make this character a little bit dishonest. I agree. Bit. I agree. Whoever said that in chat, I agree with you, but you next time. All right, Dexter, yet again, getting crossed up with that pit neutral air. Safe enough on shield to make it hard to punish. Ooh, nice reverse neutral air to put Dexter back on stage. Just a little projectile war here going on. <laughs> yeah, both players tossing out, but I feel like Wolf is going to go ahead and get the advantage right there. Yes. Shine having that frame one activation, plus the fact that uh, Laser does a little bit more damage than Arrows. Yes. Dexter trying to get that back here there, but missing it because he lands on the platform. That's unfortunate. He had the right read. Toss him off stage yet again here, but Dexter unable to get a lead trap going. The B reverse off platform of the neutral B. Interesting option. Definitely caught me and Glory off. Yes. Oh, Dexter doing the. He loves to do that. Sometimes he'll just jump into me air dodge down. Got him off ledge there. You see it for like once or twice a game. I mean, it's that. It's definitely just a mix up. It's a big, yes. big mix up. Ooh, good four throw. We'll take it. Can we get a game five? This has been a very fun set to watch. I hope we do. Is that like a little like edge cancel with the aerial? He immediately slid off. I think it is. It? That's we should, an interesting option. We should ask him about it. Oh, wow. Dexter slightly delaying the up smash, knowing that it wasn't true, but that if he just waited, there's a good chance he drops you. Yes. That's unfortunate for Blurry. Solid damage out of that, and now we're at that lovely like forward air into forward air into forward air string yes. percentage from Dex. I know this is only for a lot of up throws. It makes sense because the forces pit to either go to ledge or just land, and it's not. Pit has been struggling to land. Glory hasn't struggled to land here. Yes. Neutral air is disjointed enough to beat arrows. That is crazy. Yes. Wolf neutral air is like unreasonably disjointed. I agree. Real talk, do you think that Glory has been a little bit too afraid of getting two frame with the I upbeat? think he has been, yes. Because we saw it right there, yeah. The reason why I think to that is because you can actually have a lot of mix-ups in the timing with the upbeat. 
Um, as long as you're not far away. Well, if you're too far away, yes, you're it's over. But ooh, speaking of over, that up smash will end that stock. Potentially the last stock here for Glory. We got to go ahead and make something happen. Wolf off state has to go ahead and shine, and then uses the up beat. I don't think we have enough distance on that side. No, for not sure. enough at all. So zero zero last stock. Glory not allowing Dexter to build any kind of a lead right here. So this is anybody's oh. game. Can we get a game five here? I'm very. I think we can. I think we can. Look at the damage right there. That's 44 so out of the rapid jab. <laughs> Trade with the intangible projectile of this neutral B for Wolf. Regrab there. Does it in a different way, though, at least. Yeah, with the side B, I think Wolf was like pushed too far back to get anything going there. He was, yes. Uh oh, no. Why? Glory was maybe ever so slightly off. Like, he had the right idea going off stage to challenge that, but if you're going to challenge it, make sure you get your feet set on it. Yes, team. indeed. Oh, that's a heartbreaking way to see it go. But still, fantastic run to so many players today. To Glory, to um, K24. IRLC. IRLC, yes. Mm -hmm. Knocking down a couple of our PR players like Pink Fresh significantly earlier than we would have thought, yes. as well as Squid Plumber making yes. the early exit. Also, good run to Just Woo as well. True. Yeah, this was definitely a matchup where we saw a ton of brackets be upset. Yes. With folks like Boat dropping early, folks like Squid Plumber dropping early, mm -hmm. K24 surging yes. at the top of the bracket. I mean, what more can you ask for exactly. than a, ending your week with an exclamation point as we saw a ton of phenomenal matches tonight. Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. This was my favorite brackets uh, watch, actually, yeah. yeah it's been yeah. a fun one. This, has this been. is one of those where it's basically just like, all, we, we got nothing to do. Yeah. We just get to sit back and be like, yeah, these matches are good, good. as hell. Yeah, these are good matches. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so y'all, I think that's unfortunately going to be it for us, but mm -hmm. if you're looking for some more Smash action, we're going to be back on Sunday with extra credit, but tomorrow, Hitfall 2.5, some Arrivals action yes. going to be streamed live from the BGBC and KML which channels. In addition, we'll be back on Tuesday for Smash at Xanadu, Wednesday for uh, FGC, Thursday for Melee, and Friday, next Friday, yet again, we'll be have the grind. All right. So it has been a pleasure, as Indeed. always. Always fun to cast always with you. Always fun to cast you too, yes. And y'all hope you enjoyed the content. And if you did, hit us up with a sub. If not, well, catch you next time. All right, you have a good one, all.